So, because we don't want to die and lose like all the shit that we got. So now we want to fish on lucky days, and today is a very lucky day. So we'll do just that. Good plan, Gertrude. I hate that I've told you guys my last name now, because you will just never and never let me drop it, will you? It's like that episode where Kramer reveals that his first name is Cosmo. And they just, like, give him shit for it. All right, I gotta find Krobus, because I gotta find these mystery letters, so that I can get... One of the mystery letters will give me... Well, two mystery letters will give me the strange doll. But I actually already got one of the strange dolls just through, like, random chance here. So this is actually important that I do this. Eep! You caught me! He's gonna, he's gonna skitter. There he goes, he's skittering. I am very excited for Saw 10. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that some people are excited for Saw 10. Now, if you ask me, I could have saw 10 movies that were better than it. Gertrude, you gotta watch the Scott Pilgrim anime? Um, I don't think I do. I don't really think I have to do much, to be honest with you. Good one. Thanks. Gonna go to sleep early. Have a fun day, Dolan. Hope you get lots of clay. Ee-hee-hee-hee-hee? <laughs> Once again, with the ee-hee-hee-hee, <laughs> you must have some, like, you know... Whatever. Enjoy your night. I hope that you sleep really well tonight, because you're gonna need it. You're lucky that I actually caught a fish, and I need to focus, so that I don't just keep looking at the camera. Is there a hot spot around here somewhere? I feel like, in the nicest way possible, you could put your axe away and maybe the sword for inventory. Um, I use the axe and the sword, though. I'm definitely going to be using the sword once I unlock the skull caverns, and I use the axe occasionally to clean up my farm of wood. You guys think I can get a perfect cast with my eyes closed? Hang on. By by sound only, try to get a perfect cast with my eyes closed. Let's see if I can do it. Willy! I was going to a store. Alright, after this fish, I'll try it. Alright. Eyes closed. Damn it. What was I? I think I was too sh I think I was too early on that one. I think I was too early. All right, I can do it though. I can do it. It'll be easy actually. It'll it'll actually be really easy. All right. All right. Damn it. Okay, it started going down there cuz I heard it go like whoa. Okay, so I heard it going down there. That was too late that time. All right, let's go. Ah, hot spot. I think probably, like, this will be good. Yeah. Okay, a little bit more than that. I can't do it anymore, because I actually have to, like, focus on hitting this spot. Ah! And it's got a chest. It knows exactly what I need. I believe in you? Well, I can't, like, do it anymore, so you have to, like, remind me later. Amphibian fossil! Alright, cool. Wait, can I do it with a max? Oh, shit, I can do it with a max cast. All right, hang on. I'll try it. All right, cool. Well, that's, uh, 42. You know, I didn't really think you could get many things straight up. Oh, no, that's fair. No, that is actually how it happens. You just get things straight up from it. I thought it gave you, like, an artifact trove, and then, like, you open that trove. All right. What about this one? Rusty Spur, I've already got, sadly. And I got bait. Damn it, that was short. That was so short. God damn it. All 
Alright, here we go. That had to have been close, dude. That had to have been really close, that one. That had to have been, like, right on. Do you get treasure chests more often when you got the hot spots? Because it definitely fucking seems... Or maybe you're getting more fish faster and therefore more treasure chests at a normal rate. Like, I don't know, man. Geode. That's good. Oh, it's gone. Well, whatever. We took good... We, we, we took advantage of it. I think the luck is higher. It must be, man. Because... Like, not only are you getting more fish, but, like, I feel like the treasure chests per fish are higher as well. Alright. That was probably a little short, if I had to guess. When you get a perfect catch, what does that do? I think it increases the amount of XP that you get for every fish that you catch. Because when I played with the UI Info Suite mod, which would always tell you when your XP goes up for certain things... I always noticed my XP going up higher when I did a perfect cast. Like that one I was too short on. What are you doing, fuckface? What is he doing? Get out of there. He's gonna go fuck Willy. He wants that Willy Willy. Get chests from three-fourths of those casts. You did at least the same before that in the hot spot. With no chests. Well, now one chest. Yeah, I don't know. It definitely feels like it's more lucky, right? He's having a hot sex in there. I don't know. Should I, like, go bust in there and see? Ooh, Ancient Sword is another donatable as well. I missed the fish, but that's fine, because I got the Ancient Sword. Nice. All right, so fishing is actually proving to be pretty good. Fishing is proving to be pretty good. Let's keep going. I just want to clear up my inventory. And also see if they were having hot, steamy sex in there. But they weren't. Maybe they, like, heard me coming and they were like, No, stop. We gotta stop. He's collecting the Seaman tax. Yeah, that's probably it, actually. You're right. Yeah, I think that's actually true. Same thing with when you get a perfect, like, reel in. You get more XP, I think, as well. They did not hear you coming. Hmm. I don't know if Dag played Seaman. I think it'd be funny. I was talking about that weird um, Dreamcast game with that microphone attachment on the controller. And it was like one of the first mainstream examples of like voice recognition software. You'd be able to like tell your fish their name and shit like that and they would respond to you. Talking about that weird-ass game, that costs, I think, $300 when I saw it at a local game store, and God knows how much a Sega Dreamcast costs anymore, and the controller and the microphone attachment, oh my God. It'd be like a $500 investment to play that game. Play a scary game? I am playing a scary fucking game, because Clunt exists. Thanks for the two months. Uh, 11. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. That's a ludicrous price? That is ludicrous price. Ludo! Hmm. <laughs> Brother gotta keep enough lettuce to support your shoe fetish. Lifestyle so rich and famous Robin Leach would get jealous. Stardew legit feels like a horror game sometimes. When it rains, it's so awful. Bro, shut up. Dude, would you relax? You can't tell me, bro, shut up, and then immediately after that say bars, man. What one is it? Am I dropping sick bars, or do I need to shut the fuck up? That doesn't make any sense, man. I'm a ma mother catch? Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. Freestyle rap on camera right now. No, I know someone who streams that has a channel point redemption for freestyle rapping. And I can't imagine a more mortifying thing to do in front of your audience, your very judgmental audience. Now, keep in mind, he's about 10 times bigger of a streamer than I am. So about 10 times the people and about 10 times the amount of people to laugh at him when he fucks it up. I can't imagine a more mortifying thing to do than to freestyle in front of a random group of people on the internet. 
And he's white as well, which doesn't help. I don't know. Thanks for the hydrate again. Holy fuck, please add that? No, I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable rapping established lyrics, let alone making up my own on the spot. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. No. Very good. Us? Judgmental? No, no, no. Yeah, you're right. Let me just go put on my bright orange shirt and see what you guys have to say about it. Surely nothing, right? What's your favorite song? That was the fucking stupidest ass little hot pawn spot that I've ever seen. Oh my fucking god. What a waste of my time to even go over there and give it the time of day. It is just a normal shirt. Thanks, Ray Darling, for the 14 months. Holy fucking moly. Thanks. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Dag's favorite song, and I want you to go fuck yourself for saying this. My favorite song is probably Fruit Salad by The Wiggles. I want... Oh, man. What do... What fate bestows that chatter who would fucking say something like that? Wow, I'll have to really think about that one. You know, if you show up to the next stream with the um, lack of ability to chat, then I, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised is all I'll say. Because, oh, doggy. Wow, I can't believe you just said that. Fruit Salad is a great song. Yeah, but to imply that it's my favorite song in the world of fantastic songs. Hey, a cowpoke. 50k. Ah! Is insulting. And I don't even know what the hell that song is, to be honest with you. Hot Tamale? Dude, the best song ever is... Do you like piña coladas? That's the best song ever, dude. It really gets my goose when it plays at karaoke night with the boys. You know what they played at bowling two weeks in a row now? Do you guys know what fucking song they played at bowling two weeks in a row? Now, mind you, there are geriatrics in this bowling league, and they're out here playing Fat Lip by Sum 41. Two weeks in a row now. The only two weeks that I've been in the league have they played that song. And they get to the part of that song where it says, The doctor said my mom should have had an abortion, 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 abortion. And I, like, look over to the old people to see if they react to it. I haven't gotten a reaction out of them yet. I mean, as if, like, I'm the one playing it. It's the only bowling song ever? Is that really a, a bowling song? Like, is that common? I don't know, man. Anyway, I, like, look over at the old people and I'm like, man, what do they think of this? Willie! His ass, I need more fish. Or I have more fish to sell to him. He's probably going to the pub. His ass is going straight for the pub. Are you the youngest in the league? No, my teammate is younger than me, but I might be the second youngest. Um, we're, he, He's like 20, I'm 27. And I honestly don't know if there's another person in the entire league that is in their 20s. I think that the youngest, the next person might be is like 35. Because, dude, and like, I, I look around. I'm looking, I like people watching. And I'm looking at all these people and I'm like, I don't think any of these guys are like in their 20s. Other than my teammate. And so I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of considering not going back. No, I, I will go back, but like, maybe like, I don't know. I'll probably still go, but I don't know if, like... I don't know if it's, like, the social setting that I really thought it was going to be. I really underestimated how many... Or overestimated how many young people really like to bowl, I guess. Because, uh, not a whole lot, as it turns out. Which is not to say I wouldn't, like, be friends with old people. No, I absolutely would. I, I am decent friends with some people in, like, middle-aged. 
But, you know, there's like... A certain familiarity you have with people your age. Where you can usually make a reasonable guess that they'll like more or less the same things that you like. Get stuff that you reference because they're sort of in that same age range. Basically, you can make jokes around people your age way easier than somebody who's a little bit older and might not be as in the circle, you know? So, like, I'm not saying I can't make friends there, but I'm not talking, like, you know... I don't know. You know what I mean? Hang on. Oh, I missed the fucking treasure chest. I wasn't even paying attention. I think the fastest way to finish the museum, IMO, would be use Jojamart to unlock the desert and late game area, grind the desert mines for Omni Geodes, trade the Geodes for artifact troves. All Geodes and artifact troves would be enough, I think. Okay, so the best way to complete the museum is exactly what I'm trying to do right now. Because there's a secondary purpose to why I'm fishing, and that's, of course, to make money. To fund the desert bus with which to go to the desert. I've already done the Joja route. I've already turned the community center into the Joja warehouse. And I'm gonna go as soon as I get 40 grand or however much it is. I'm gonna go to Morris and I'm gonna say, hey, fix that bus, motherfucker. And I, I'm perfectly, I 100% agree with you. And that's kind of what I'm doing. But also, yes, the treasure chests that you get from these can also give you artifacts as well, straight up. Now, do you guys think that, and this is a very serious question that I want very serious answers from, for, that Omni Geodes that I get from the mines, the Skull Caverns, is it worth trading them for artifact troves, or do you think I should get them popped at Clint's? I think... My assumption is that I get them popped at Clint's to start, and then once I get all the minerals that you can get from Omni Geodes, then start trading them for artifact troves. You think half and half? Pop half, trade half? Maybe. I think Clint's first, yeah. And then once I maybe get all the minerals, because like Prismatic Shard, I'm planning on getting from an Omni Geode. But of course, you can get that from, um, for example, mining iridium in the Skull Caverns, which, yeah, maybe that'll be how I get it. Who knows? There's a lot of, as it turns out, there's multiple ways to get everything in the museum. So it's kind of hard to plan for how you're going to get all the things when you could just end up getting it some way else, you know? Like, fishing is not really how I had anything in mind for how I was going to get it. But it's how I've gotten a few things now, so I think I'm going to keep doing it. Would you drink Joja Cola in real life? No. Skeletal Tail. 44. And the spot's gone. Well, that's fine, because honestly, I've had my fair share of fishing for today. Yeah, I think get all minerals from the Omni Geodes, and then start trading them for artifact troves. I think is how to do it. I think you're right. No. I would not drink a Joja Cola in real life. Especially not one that I got from the trash. Or one that I fished up from the sea. Personally. I mean, what's a Joja Cola a real life equivalent? Like, RC Cola, probably? It's not good enough to be Coke or Pepsi. It's probably like RC Cola. Would you drink an RC Cola? I don't know. Alright, don't sell the sword. Don't sell the geode. Sell that. I've already donated that. Don't sell that. 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 Don't sell that. Sell that. Very good. Do not do RC Cola dirty like that. Y'all like RC Cola? Uh-oh. Ah, the owl cutscene. Remember that used to be, like, really rare? Remember when that used to be like a microscopic chance of that happening? Alrighty here. Definitely fish worth more. Definitely fish being worth more is better. Kroger brand Big K Cola? I don't know, I've never had Kroger brand anything. I've never even seen a Kroger, to be honest with you. 
uh, a wood chipper, all right? That breaks down... Oh, squid. That breaks down hardwood into regular wood, right? Where'd the owl statue go? Can I sell that? Is that worth anything? It's not clear where this came from, but it looks very fine. What do you mean, fine? What do they mean by that? Like, damn, Stone Owl, you looking fine. Something like that. I'm also biased because I'm Southern. Well, if you're Southern, do you know... It's not just in the South, but do you know the grocery store chain Piggly Wiggly? In fact, that goes for anyone. Have you guys been to a Piggly Wiggly? Because I think that might be the best grocery store by purely by name in the United States. Oh, Piggly Wiggly. Ah, his ass just knocked a maple seed out. What the fuck? Now I want to? Look up your closest Piggly Wiggly, see how far away it is from you. Maybe you can take like a road trip to the old Piggles. I had a Piggly Wiggly. It was the most run-down, nasty place I had ever seen. But I love it, because it's called Piggly Wiggly. It's pretty cool, but Bucky's is better. Well, Bucky's is a whole different thing. Isn't Bucky's like a truck stop? Piggly Wiggly's like a grocery store. You don't donate the Nautilus shell. There is a, there is like a Nautilus shell that you do donate, but it's not that one. It might be like a Nautilus shell fossil or something like that. There's Piggly Wigglies in Houston decades ago. Okay. You like used to live in Houston and so that like hits close to home or something? It's the Wegmans of the South. No, the Wegmans of the South is Harris Teeter in my experience. Alright, that should be 40... 44, is that right? I guess, I'll trust you. Fuck it, I'll take the goddamn stupid-ass things. Let's see here, let's do a count, just to make sure that we're right, and just kill time before Clint's opens. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 26, 27, 29... 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 44. Alright, we are correct. 51 to go. That is kind of like crazy to think that we do, we are not even halfway there. Like, I feel like we're really starting to slow down because of how like harder and harder it is, of course, to get all the things that we still haven't donated. But that is something that we still need. It's kind of crazy how. We are not even halfway, and the pace of this has slowed down so much. I'm hoping that changes once we get the Skull Caverns, but uh, it's definitely slowing down a lot. But as long as we keep chicken away, chicken away at it, chipping away at it, then I guess that's okay. Like, I don't, I forgot everything I was about to say. But wait, we started today with what? 36? Okay, so we've made 9 worth of progress, which isn't bad, really. That's not bad. In, what, 2 hours? That's fine. I think, at least. Thomas R. Wegman? No, it's Robert B. Wegman, dude. What's your favorite game to play by yourself, not on stream? really like Terraria. I really don't know if I like streaming Terraria. I think I like... Playing Terraria in my own time more than on stream. Can you fuck off? I want to get rid of the... Why wasn't... It... it insists that you just don't get rid of some things? Why? So I can put it in a chest and not use it? Irk. Really irks my urkles, I must say. Alright, we only need a thousand more to fund the bus, so... Let's just get this last a thousand and let's go to the Skull Caverns. It's like a gas station, and there is one that there's one that looks like a grocery store. You know, I've heard great things about Bucky's, not only from like the customers, but also the people that work there. Apparently, it's like a really good place to work as well. I don't know. That's what people say. I'd like to visit a Bucky's. 
I can give you the diagonal seal of approval, but we don't have a Bucky's anywhere nearby. I have to take a road trip for one, quite a long one as well. Yeah, see, this is why you don't want to forage in the winter time. It's because you get winter roots and a bunch of shit that you don't need most of the time. What's up, boy? Give him a pet. It's very overstimulating. And I have to keep that in mind, then. <laughs> Make sure that I, like, uh, am mentally prepared before I enter the Bucky's, then. Probably closest to you is Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, that's kind of menacing how you're telling me what my closest Bucky's is, which means you must know where I live. All right, if we get like 600 a day from the mushrooms and shit, then we should definitely get to 40,000 by the before winter's over, right? Clean bathrooms too? Well, that's always a plus. Can't shit in a dirty bathroom. I forgot that these are every day and not every other day, which makes me happy. Yeah, see, that's what you get most of the time. I was assuming you said you live in PA. I do live in PA. So what's the closest Bucky's to Pennsylvania? Is it really all the way down in Tennessee? Because I don't really think I'm going to go to Tennessee just for Bucky's. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's going to be straight up with you, chef. I'm not doing that. And the traffic by Bucky's, oh my god, it's so not worth it. No. All I'm hearing is more reasons to never go to Bucky's. He's heeping. Oh, he's so eepy. I mean, if I'm ever in the area for any reason, then I will maybe try, but it's not high on the priority list. Tennessee, you're the only 10 I see. You really mean that? Do you really mean that? Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thanks. Have you gone back to Tears of the Kingdom since you accidentally deleted the save file? I didn't accidentally delete the save file. It was all a joke, a ruse. Sorry to report, I had never deleted my Tears of the Kingdom save file. What if there's something in here I could donate for like a quick buck? Like, surely some gold. I don't think I need... Maybe I'll keep five in case I ever want to upgrade something. And then, like, fucking, I don't think I'll need this much coal. What if I donate, like, all this coal just to, like, give myself a little, like, money boost here? Like, keep a hundred. And then give me, like, some of this. Well, now I can't end it on a fucking, like, there we go. I gotta, gotta keep it on a nice, clean number there. Oh, that was Clint's request to get uh, Emily and Amethyst, which I'm not doing. I like that. I like that request because Emily assumes that you got it for her and it's not a request from Clint. Yeah, there we go. So you totally like fuck over Clint over the course of that request. All right, we're up to 34,000. Fuck off. What do you want? Yeah, how about you go away? Yeah, you give... So Clint is like... Wait, do you get do you get anything for winning that ice fishing thing? I wonder. Would that actually be worth doing, I wonder, from like a monetarily standpoint? Hmm. I already donated that. No? What do you win? I can't remember. Do you win like a th if you win like a thousand, I should maybe consider it, but no, you probably can earn a thousand. Yeah, I think you just earn like a hat, right? I was like, if it's a thousand, I can maybe consider it, but no, probably not. You get a better hat? My hat is fine. The Squire's helmet, it's really good. Sailor's cap. 
I don't want a sailor's cap. I want a squire's helmet. Which reminds me, change your hat, bestie. No! I need money to fucking buy the bus. I don't need money to go goofing around a hat mouse. I need money to buy the bus. Money is very critical right now. You understand? We don't care. Well, you better start fucking caring. Alright. Uh... Sell the copper. Sell, like, a half of all your things here. Fuck it. I'm getting impatient. It's taking too long. I saved all that for reasons that I don't even think I'll need, but I kept for... I don't know. What's wrong with his hat? That's what I'm kind of say, dude. Night hat is the best? Excuse you, you have never seen trash can hat. Dude, I've been trying to get trash can hat. I've been trying. My ass has been trying for trash can hat. But it's not showing up. I must have goofed like a thousand trash cans and I haven't gotten the trash can hat yet. Alright? Imagine this takes as long as the AC and H one. Well, that would be about 10 times the amount of time that I've put in. It'd be about eight times the amount of time that I've put in by now. And I'm almost halfway there. So, I mean, it'll definitely slow down once you get towards the later donations, but I don't anticipate that happening. I have a trash can hat for the first time after 400 hours. Well, have you been like religiously like, pummeling the trash cans in that time? Because you have to. I always go into the trash cans. So you can get some good stuff from there. You can get some good stuff from there. Like, every day at the beginning of the game, I always go to the trash cans. Or, like, I pass through, and I always happen to check them at least. Let's see if there's any forgeables down here. It seems like all the forageables come out on Sunday. I feel like, and maybe correct me if I'm wrong about this, but maybe we have a misunderstanding of how forageables spawn? Because it seems like every Sunday, like, 15... Okay, that's a little bit much. But, like, a bunch of new ones pop up all over the farm. And then, like, every day that isn't Sunday, there's no new ones. I feel like Sunday spawns, like, a shit ton of forageables. And then over the course of the next few days, they, like, either, like, they, they like, go away. Yeah, it resets on Sunday, but, like, does it spawn a shit ton on Sunday? And, like, nothing on the other days? And really, Sunday is the best time to go farming them? Sundays go crazy. So I've been trying to do it on Saturday, and nobody's bothered telling me that that's not the right way to do it? Well, shit. Alright. I guess that's good to know for the future now. Because, like, yeah, every day that's not Sunday, like, nothing... Okay, well, I get one new one here. But it seems like Sunday is the big day for them. Seems like it to me. And if you haven't collected them by Sunday, then it wipes them out. We wanted you to be independent? Well, you know, there's being independent, and then there's like, hey guys, how do I do this? I'm specifically asking for it. You guys are cruising for a bruising, you know that? I come back and it's already winter. I mean, I did say that I wanted to get to year two today, so... Then again, I might not, depending on how quickly I can get to the desert. We only need 1,000 more. I think it's 40,000. Nobody's corrected me. Go fuck yourself. Although, if I had one of those and I have collected some, I would give it to him for probably easy payday. I only need 1,000 more. Oh, fucking come on. Six common mushrooms when I only need 1,000 more? That's going to be like 200. Oh my gosh. Wait, hang on. I saw another one. I saw another one not on my screen, but through my OBS preview window, weirdly enough. Even though that one's literally worth nothing. What's up, Kristen Simmons? How are you doing? Alright, that'll probably be, what, like 200? Yeah. 
240. You're brilliant. All right, 700 more. If it can get like one purple mushroom, I think that'll be enough. One purple mushroom and like two reds. The rest can be commons or chanterelles or morels. And that's no, not going to be good enough. Saturday, though. Let's check our dig spots tomorrow. I baked macarons today. Those look really good, but I've never tried them. Never had them. Be careful of sliding glass doors. That's all I'll say. Is that a threat? That really words like a threat. Our dig spots. D-I-G. What did you hear? You can say it. Okay, so there's one on a Sunday. And, I mean, it's not that good, but still. Traveling merchant. Oh! Is there anything in the traveling merchants that I can use? Probably not, right? They only sell you, like, crops and furniture and shit, right? Hey, that would have been good, like, yesterday here. Spotted dick, delicious meal. You're talking about, like, the pudding, right? And you wouldn't be implying something disgusting, right? The pearl. Oh, that would be good for making money. But sadly, this is the day that I'm going to get enough money for exactly what I need. Unfortunately. I think at least. 575? I think that's enough, right? 40,000? Alright, good. Alright, we have 40,000. That should be enough to buy the bus repair from Morris. Wonderful. Ooh, well that I already have, but at least it's something that isn't a snow yam, which is kind of amazing. I don't want to Google that. No, Spotted Dick. It's like a British delicacy. It's like the tastiest thing the British people have ever made. I guess it's like this pudding with, um... Uh, um... I don't know, but it's spotted. Something made it spotted. Maybe like a fish in there or something? I don't know. Not enough for the ticket, though. Well, we can hang out for a little bit and collect some things. That's a good point, though. I am good. Well, I won't be struggling. Once I do one Skull Cavern run, I'll make enough from every run where I don't need to worry about ticket prices. How much is a ticket? It's 500, right? Or, like, a couple hundred? Is it a thousand? I don't remember. Nothing here. Never had spotted dick, but I heard it's good with custard. Isn't also British custard not the same as, like, custard that we we have over here? I think you guys' custard is a lot different from what we have as well. Yup, it's a real dessert. Yeah, I mean, like, dessert is subjective, I guess, but yeah. Mm, okay, fair enough. Like a treat. It's 500. Well, we've definitely collected 500 worth of forageables, and I already have 249 on top of it, so we'll be fine. And every run that we do to the Skull Caverns, I reckon we'll pick up enough stuff to where we'll be just fine. You know what I should do? And I have the luxury of being able to do this because I don't really care um, the date. But I should only go to the Skull Caverns if it's going to be a lucky day. I should only go to the Skull Caverns if it's going to be a lucky day because then we can get... Well, usually people do it for, like, um, getting holes, right? Getting holes in ladders very easily. Which would be convenient for getting down to lower levels and therefore Iridium and therefore possibly a Prismatic Shard. So, that's a good idea. Doctor Who had British people slash Tumblr users dipping fish finger slash sticks in custard in like 2012. That sounds disgusting. Alright, we're good, right? It was 40,000. Yes. Bus. All right. Very good. Excellent. We'll get the workers on it tonight. It should be ready for you by tomorrow. I hope it's Shane. I hope it's fucking Shane doing it. I want Shane to be the only person fixing that fucking bus. 
I want his ass grinding until 5 a.m. fixing that thing. I really do. I guess we'll see in the cutscene, right? That's a prisonable offense. Same with people who dip fries into McFlurries. Oh, that's fucking delicious. Come off of it. That's fucking amazing. What are you talking about? Dipping your fries in an Oreo McFlurry? Or any McFlurry for that matter? Is fucking amazing. What are you on about? Nope, nada? Oh, well, okay. I hope you enjoyed living in your own little ignorant world. Oh, he's actually out there supervising it. Wow. Yeah, that's good super. That's you know, Most managers wouldn't do that, you know? You know, most managers would not do that. Morris is kind of built different. You like Tame Impala? Why do you keep asking me to beatbox? Drop like a beat? Do a Jerry Seinfeld impression? Do you like Tame Impala? What's your favorite song? What's it to you, man? All right, well, the bus is good now. Uh, now we just got to wait for a lucky day. Because you're our little clown. Yeah, I'm your little, like, 20 questions guy, right? Yeah. Uh, fortune teller. Okay, that's the best fortune. Tame Impala got me my most viewed TikTok to date. He smelt an iron bar and bring it to me? No. Didn't think you noticed it was me the whole time. You guys think I'm stupid. You guys think I don't notice, like, who posts what and who has a tendency to do what. I have a mental... And this is... this. I, I want this to sound as threatening as I'm going to make it sound. I have a mental, like... idea of how all of you act. I have a mental idea of how all of you act. I know what kind of comments you post. I know how you act in my chat. I basically have all of you guys, all you motherfuckers. I got like a predetermined thing that you are going to say and how you say it because of your past comment history. It's like if AI like trained somebody to like study a person. That's kind of like what I do just so I know what to look out for. Call it weird, call it creepy, but like, I, I I see what you guys post, I see the name next to it, it's just conditioned learning. That's all it is. That's all it is. Alright, now I just gotta wait for the pamster. <laughs> even me? No. You don't even know me? Yeah, I know you. Sometimes some of you don't post enough for me to know anything about you. Which... I, I want to be very clear. You're the best kinds of chatters. The ones who don't post enough where I don't know what you're about to say because I, you don't post enough. I don't have enough, like, memory to make, like, this chat member picture of you in my brain. You know? I haven't built enough data. Listen, man, I just think that you're fun to talk to. Thanks. But I like chatting? Oh, no, I'm not saying, like, I don't... I'm not saying I hate the chatters. I'm just saying you have to respect someone who doesn't chat. They just watch. Your biggest fans are people who don't say anything sometimes. The ones who just sit there silently supporting you. Every stream, every YouTube video... Every everything, every tweet that you post, every everything that you do. I don't know if you're I don't know if you're here right now, but if you are and you do all those things, I appreciate it. Yeah, like lurking, exactly. Should we all just lurk? No, that's not what I'm saying, man. Come on. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I have a special respect for those people that do that, you know? But seriously, do you remember when I helped you solve a puzzle in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon after you were stuck for like an hour or something? Like how good is your memory for your chatter's usernames? No, I don't remember that. Maybe I only remember the bad things. Alright, Pamster, let's get a move on here. And good. 
All right, here we go. We're going to go... Well, we'll look around the desert first for forageables. And then it's straight to the skull caverns with me. Wait, where's the lady? There's a lady in the tent. Where is she? Is she not there right now? Oh, son of a bitch. Hey, guys, should I bring a coconut back and give it to Haley because she's cute? <laughs> no. Go fuck yourself. You remember that one time I said, hi, Dagnall? Yeah. All right. She's at the night market. You're right. She is. Just happens to be a coincidence. I was like, man, is there like a date in the week that she's not there? Wednesdays? Like Pierre's ass? Don't need to go to Sandy's. Okay, there's a palm fossil. It's our third one today, I think. Oh, I see another one. You can give a coconut to Penny, though. Yeah, but like... Ooh, a secret note. Okay, right, so these secret notes are gonna start popping up now. I only care about one secret note, and that's the secret note number... Hold on. What secret note is this? Strange note number 18 is the one that I want. Normally, it'd be 17 and 18 that I need, because that's how you get the green strange doll, is number 17. This one, all I need is number 18. Have you found my secret in the dark tunnel? Right. That's not the one that we want. We want... 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. We want this one right here. That'll tell us how to get the other strange doll artifact that I haven't gotten yet. Alright, well, to the skull caverns. Yep. Let's hope I don't die. Let's get our shit right here. I can't eat coconuts. Alright, we're good. Alright, so we want Omni Geodes and um, Iridium, which can therefore give us... Uh, okay, that's good. It is a good luck day, so that, you know, we did specifically choose a good luck day for a reason. Uh, I already don't like the fact that there's two serpents here. I already hate this. I leave. Just leave. Oh my god. Jeez, I lost half my HP just in that one fucking floor. I, I'm gonna fucking die before I'm even started here. Be careful. The serpents hit hard. Thanks. I will actually use a bomb on one of these guys, at least. Like... You. Because you had a lot of rocks around them. Alright. Wait, what was that? Curiosity lure? What the heck is that? Increases your chance to catch rare fish. What? I've never seen that. Is that like a rare drop from those guys? Also, I really should be mining rocks, because that's where you get the Omni Geodes from, huh? That's where you get the Omni Geodes from, mostly. I think. I don't know, I always remember, like, coming out of the Skull Caverns with a shit ton of Omni Geodes. And I'm trying to think, like, what I do to do that. You Normally, I just, like, go for ores and shit. So maybe I should actually, like, try to mine ores? Whatever happened to the Forklift Certified tag? I think your ass is about, like, three months late. Oh, I guess maybe these crates as well would do it. Yeah, it's a good luck day today, so we should have pretty good chances for poles and ladders and shit. I didn't lose my certification, okay? I'm still certified because it never expires, all right? Stardew's museum is so much smaller that- ooh, ooh, what are you doing, stupid? So much smaller than AC and H's. Yeah, that's so true, actually. Yeah, that's so true. There we go. I heard a serpent coming, so it's probably best. Um, I think just get out of this floor as soon as you can, right? Although, maybe hoeing the dirt would be a good idea? Have you ever actually driven a forklift? And it's so, is it scary? Yeah, and no, it's not really that scary. I mean, it's heavier than your car. 
Um, but like, I don't know. It doesn't go that fast, so like, can't be that scary, right? Yes, very good idea. Okay, that probably tells me that's not, because it didn't sound very serious. Um, Holly. To Haley and Emily. Okay, that's just telling you what their love gifts are. I got that thing for Rasmodius, so I wonder if I can give that to him. A little bit extra cash. Yeah, it's like a very heavy golf cart, essentially. Like, is a golf cart big and scary and intimidating? No, not really. You know, there's places in Florida where, like, that's the main way to get around is a fucking golf cart. He felt five levels. You guys believe that? You know what I do like when those guys drop is the spicy eel. Well, it's a Pepper Rex! Wait, Pepper Rexes can drop some good stuff. Pepper Rexes can drop very good things. Notably, like, a lot of, like, bones and shit. Like, a dinosaur egg! Like that! There you go! Alright. That's usually one of the bigger pains in the asses to get is the dinosaur egg. Alright. And we got more Omni Geodes. Alright, cool. Yeah, Pepper Rexes are very good. Um, there's some floors where, like, that's all you see is Pepper Rexes. And that's really valuable. Although, I don't know how much more I need because I got the Prehistoric Tibia. I think I might need a few more Prehistoric Bones from those guys. I'll have to see, though. What's up, Sage? How are you doing? Yeah, getting the Dinosaur Egg is very, very good. How much health am I at? Not much. Alright. This is gaming. Yeah, this is actually, like, pretty good. I mean, that- <clears throat> if you told me I'd only get a dinosaur egg in this trip, I would have been like, that's a success. So, anything after this is just gravy. Anything after this is gravy. Okay, this is nat- Yeah, I mean, that was sort of an ambush, dude. Now I just have to hope I didn't lose both my Omni Geodes and my Dinosaur Egg, and I can only get one of them back. <clears throat> I lost six items, including the Dinosaur Egg. But luckily, nothing else that's that useful, so... Luckily, I can just get it back from the guild. But I have no money. So... That's a problem. Um, okay, so here's what you do is, um, uh, here's what you do is, um, I have an idea. Is anything going to be open with the night market in town? Like, is Marlin, oh my god, fuck off. Like, is Marlin, okay, do you... You can go later. That's what I was wondering, is can you go back later and get it? Like, it doesn't have to be the same day that you die, right? Is what I'm wondering. It doesn't have to be the same day that you die. Alright, well, there was something good that came out of this. Rusty Spoon. No, okay, it didn't have to. Alright, well, that's fine, because I will just stumble my way back home. And we'll get it uh, the next day. Problem is I have to wait until 2 p.m. to get it, because Marlin's stupid ass doesn't open until 2, which is annoying. But if you die again, it's gone, obviously. Yeah, so just don't die again. I say, as I'm perilously close to dying. Call an Uber? Nah, dude, I'll just walk home. I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you sell things at Joja? Because I was like... I was thinking about it. What I was going to do is I was going to go to the Adventurers Guild and sacrifice my magnet ring to sell if it meant enough money to get that egg back from him. Because, of course, he charges you for getting the, the item retrieval service. It costs money. But I was thinking if I could sell my magnet ring 
maybe I could do that. It's kind of like when an athlete goes broke after they retire and they have to sell like their world championship rings. All right, I don't need that. Don't need that. Eh, I don't, I don't really care about Rasmodius, to be honest with you. And the uh, chest, the rest of the stuff. Bro's health is minus four. It's clearly ten, all right? Relax. Hey, Brightness Dawn, thanks for the two months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks. Appreciate it. They need a thousand for the return service? Mamma mia. What the fuck? Well, I'm halfway there. Maybe I can wrangle up some vegetables or something. I have a mountain of gold at level 25. Actually, that's very doable on a good luck day. I got Alex as my... Oh, man, I got old Alex. Oh, boy, what's he want? Probably not a rusty spur if I had to guess. Level 25 is very doable, and if indeed I'm promised a mountain of cash for it, then that would be very nice. My ass can't even afford to go to the day. Well, no, I can, with 10 money spare. You need a new thing to say when people sub. I'll keep that as that's call that duly noted. All right, I'll call that duly noted. All right, duly noted. I'll keep that in mind. I'll log that for human resources. All right, how's that sound? How's that sound for you? I can sell stuff to Pierre's, right? And then, yeah, I'll have a thousand probably. Slave four red slimes? No. What's up, Taco McDonald's? How are you doing? When is his ass open? Eight o'clock? I'm enjoying my... Yeah, like, I want you to enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. And I, like, very much stress the fact because ads on Twitch are so fucking obnoxious. So, I mean, I'm kind of, like, being genuine with you when I say that. Also, I gotta get these geodes cracked, but they're only 25 per, so fuck it. I can do that. I can do that. Let's donate what I have as well. Yeah, like, thanks for the money, nerd. I hope you have a terrible time watching my stream. That doesn't sound as very, like, caring, you know? Like, dude, no, I, like, get it, but... I don't know. What a weird thing to say. Also, it highlights, every time I say it, the benefits of subscribing, so that if someone is like, Oh, should I subscribe? What are the benefits of doing so? I don't know. There you go. You just heard it. I really wish you could still watch ads when subscribed because I really want to support Twitch as much as possible. I mean, what is like an anti-ad blocker called like an ad allower or something like that, which maybe will let you do that. That'd be kind of cool, right? Like an ad allower. Like, allow ads. Like, if someone's, like, if you have, like, a, a premium service to something, and that premium service makes it so that you don't get ads on that service, it puts them back. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I'd really like that. Alright, let's go. Process geodes. Okay, I don't need that, but at least I can sell it again to get enough money to have Marlin retrieve my shit. Same thing with that. That, I think, is new, right? Yeah. And then, that is stone. Alright, we got one new thing. It's not bad. There we go. I love supporting billion dollar companies. Yeah, dude, I think, like, how... I don't know. Like, I think it's a reasonable thing to say, like, how is Twitch meant to, like, get money if we don't watch ads? I think, like, I don't know. Don't clown on them because, like, I think they're kind of on to something, you know? I think they're kind of on to something. I don't think you should poo-poo the idea so easily, you know? Like, these companies, like, I don't know. Like, you think about it, and it's like... If I'm not seeing ads on the sidebar for, like, Amazon, for example... 
then how are they going to stay in business if everyone turns on their ad blocker when they browse Amazon? You know what I mean? Ooh, that is also new as well. Very good. I'm actually over halfway now, which is good. All right, and then we'll get him to retrieve my things. Wait, that happens at 2 o'clock, so I might as well go back and donate. Oops. Thanks to the hydrate. It's just an innovative idea I've been spitballing is all. I don't know. People are so quick to poo-poo ads, but whoa, your services wouldn't exist without them, so I don't know. I don't know how else Amazon would pay the bills. Twitch goes hungry if you don't watch their 60 seconds of ads per stream. Well, I definitely go hungry because they support me too. You don't want me to starve, do you? Thoughts on AC&H fishing mechanic versus Stardew Valley fishing mechanic? Well, Stardew Valley fishing mechanic is so much better. Animal Crossing, you just hit a button. You hit a button, you hit it fast enough, and you catch the fish. I wish Animal Crossing, despite the fact that I like fishing in Animal Crossing. It's not to take away from the fact that I like fishing in Animal Crossing, but if they were to innovate it for the next game and make it something that's more of a mini game like Stardew Valley, I'd be a, I'd personally be in favor of that. Maybe I'd be alone though. I don't know. I like it. Red Dead 2 has the best fishing. What do you do in Red Dead 2? What's the mini game? I don't know. I would like it better if it was more skill-based than just hitting it at a certain timing. Which, even the rare fish in Animal Crossing are not even that hard. Really, the biggest thing in Animal Crossing that I struggle with for fishing is pulling it up too quickly. The bullbear. And that's like, I don't know, it's not even the game making it hard. That's me making it hard on myself, you know? Gotta play it and find out. Oh, well, I wasn't planning on it, so I, you know, I guess I'll just, okay. I like games with fishing. Yeah, if a game has a fishing mechanic, it, I don't know why, but it seems like every game with fishing mechanics, it's always like an overpowered way of making money in that game. Like in this game, in the early game, it's probably the best way of making money. Before, you know, you get your farm up and going. Your first harvests start and stuff like that. But in, like, in Animal Crossing, it's one of the best ways. In Terraria, for a long time, it was, like, far and away the best thing to do. Now it's just pretty good. Alright, item recovery. Give me my dinosaur egg back. Kind of kind of cross that I lost that uh, curiosity lore as well. I was looking forward to trying that out. but And that wasn't even a thousand at all. That was, like, what, 250? That wasn't bad at all. Should I get Stardew? Yes. Takes a fair bit of time for a fish to catch on the bobber, and you have to reel it in properly. Interesting. Yeah, it actually takes some strategy. Well, that's good to know. I don't like it when it's reaction time based. I mean, I don't mind it, but I prefer the way that Stardew does it, where, I don't know. I like how it gets easier the higher your skill level is. Like, it's hard at the start, but it's easier the lower your skill level, or the higher your skill level is. I really like that. It rewards you to keep doing it, you know? That's what I like about it. I guess more than, like, having it be a fun minigame, it's also, like, something that evolves over time as you get better at fishing as well, which I think is really nice. Alrighty. Now we will go to bed and then go back to the desert on another lucky day. What type of bait you use matters? What, in this game? Alright, let's go get a dinosaur egg first. Alright, cool. Uh, I'll hang on to that until... Well, today might be a lucky day. Let's check. It is... It's okay, but, you know, I might as well just keep on going until I get, like, the luckiest day, right? Might as well. No, not weather. Okay, that is the worst day as far as luck. Fishing in AC over the years made fishing in real life, though. Made... 
fishing in real life, though, it's therapeutic to me. Are you talking about, like, are you trying to say that Animal Crossing got you into fishing in real life? That's kind of cool, I guess. I was actually, I begged my parents to go to an aquarium when I was a kid because I loved Wild World so much. And I wanted to go see all the fish from Animal Crossing Wild World in the museum. And I did, and it was fucking awesome. I still kind of like that because of Animal Crossing. Red Dead 2 got me into fishing IRL. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh my gosh. It's like, there's five different looks, right? Terrible, pretty bad, neutral, pretty good, amazing. So it's like a one in five chance every day, right? Okay. Oh, it's a Feast of the Winter Star. Oh no, Alex ain't getting nothing, dude. Oh no. Poor Alex, what's he gonna do? Poor, poor Alex. Come on. <sighs> I'm almost tempted to just do it on a day where it's like the second best luck. Abandoned again. Wait, what do you mean again? Is his backstory like he got abandoned as like a child on the side of the road by his parents? Oh shit, it's spring again. Oh, my farm's gonna be a fucking mess, dude. Oh no. Oh no. My farm is gonna be a fucking mess. Oh my god, dude, it's a one in five, for God's sakes. Unless it's not. But I certainly fucking feel like it is. Man, the farmer hasn't been in town for like weeks now. What the hell, is he like depressed? Man, they're probably, like, worried about me. Oh my good lord. The dude literally just sleeps 23 and a half hours a day. I think he's got some trauma like that. No, oh, poor guy. There we go, finally. Alright. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's Kent. And also, my farm is disgusting. Alright. Um, well... You know, could always clean this up later, right? We don't have to worry about it now. Pick up, watch the telly, and hit the hay. Yep. Ask for some hardwood. Okay. Feast of the Winter Star. Yep. Could you catch one for me? Yep. Uh, right. Price has changed. And apricot. Got it. Duly noted. All right, finally, we got a good day. So we'll donate the dinosaur egg and then get ready for PM. All right, go back to the desert. I think his dad left and his mom died, so that's why he lives with his grandparents. Hmm. I've never bothered. Not only, it, it's really not even anything personal against Alex. The dude is just really hard to give gifts. Doesn't he only like, like two things that aren't universal loves? Like, a complete breakfast or some shit like that, and then, uh, fucking... Like, that might be it? Like, a football, maybe. Eight o'clock. Like, the dude doesn't like anything, man. I've never bothered getting my friendship up with that guy, because it's hard. He likes eggs. He likes a fried egg, which I guess that's not hard if you got chickens going. But that takes a little bit of setup time, you know? He's... Yeah, it seems really annoying. And you, also, he likes eggs. That's not a loved gift. Like, his loved gifts are, like, pretty much nothing. Come on. Complete breakfast and salmon dinner. Wow. New reward. What do you get for that, I wonder? Oh, you know what's another pain in the ass that I am probably going to struggle to get is the Ancient Seed. That one is pretty rare. That might be one of the last ones that we uh, struggle with. Hi, Penny. <laughs> she says, sorry. 
She knows she's lame. Hey, what's up, Alex? Speaking of. All right. Nice talking to you. Ooh! All right. Well, that'll be very good for the mines. Base value for daily luck is randomly generated from minus 0.1 unlucky to 0.1 lucky. The value is increased by 0 0.025 with the special charm. The value is used in numerous ways. Though it looks like a percentage equal to 10%, it is in fact treated differently in every situation and may have a minuscule or enormous effect depending on activity. Alright, good to know. So, theoretically, if 0.1 is the luckiest possible, could you get like 0 0.099? Or is it only 0 0.1, 0 0.5, or 0 0.1, 0 0.050, minus 0 0.5, and minus one. Is there like anything in between there? So like a day where you have the best luck may not be as lucky as another day where you have the best luck because maybe that value is like a little bit higher. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Penny is not lame. Back to my lurking now. Well, that like dialogue about, oh, the weather's nice is a little lame is all I'm saying. Don't take it so personally, all right? Interesting. So I wonder if today, my lucky day, is maybe not as lucky as maybe my last lucky day. I guess it's possible. Something to keep in mind. I think we go straight to the mines, dude. Don't even worry about it. Maybe pick up a fruit along the way. And don't die. If honestly, like, bail out if it, like, is, like, one of them fucking ambush levels like we got. Fucking just get out. Take the hit of not being at the same level, but it's fine. All right, that's good. Six levels. All right. Seems tame. No serpents will be all right. All right. We might get to the 25 bonus, Mr. Key's bonus. That'd be fucking amazing. That'd be fucking awesome. What do we got? We're already at 14, and we got an Omni Geode. This is going great. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm getting out of here, dude. Oh, you kidding me? I'm not fucking with that. Uh-uh, no way. No way, Jose. You're shooting down through this place. Dude, I might do the level 100 challenge at this point. Jeez, Louise. I bet in the tiny-ass room like this, we can maybe even get a hole. Since there's not many rocks. Eight levels? Youch! Dude, we might start seeing Iridium soon. Might start seeing some fucking iridium. That'd be nice. Not for the iridium, really, but for the chance that you can get a... It'll be a pretty small chance, but a chance regardless of getting a prismatic shard from mining iridium ore. That'd be very, very delicious and tasty. He likes diamonds, omelet, chocolate cake, pink cake, cookies, survival burger, pale ale. Those are his likes, though. Like, I don't know. His loved gifts, is what I'm trying to say, is not very many. And also, half of those are, like, universally loved gifts, aren't they? I don't know. You think I could give him those cookies that I found right next to the trash can where he lives, and he'd been like, all right. Penny was my first NPC spouse. I think she's a lot, because I don't mean anything by this, but I, I think she's a lot of people's first spouse in this game, because she's kind of like... I'm not saying, like, baby's first marriage candidate in this game, but, like... Kind of. She's I'm not saying she's, like, basic or boring or milk toast, but, like, I don't know. I feel like... She's a lot of people's, like, first candidate until you realize that you could do better. Like Emily. Three levels. All right, well, we got Mr. Key's thing. Um, Is that... Do I redeem that now? Well, these are all yelling at me for other things. Do I get it in the mail tomorrow, I faintly remember? You get your reward? How much is the reward as well? Stop this blasphemy? Wait, do you like Penny? 
I thought you liked someone else, Owls. Maybe I'm not remembering. Didn't you like Lelia or Haley or something? I faintly remember you liking not Penny. Yeah, Leah, but Penny is good, man. I guess. She's alright. I'm not saying she's bad. I'm just saying she's just a little milk toast. That's it. Nothing by it. Ah, hole. Yeah, male. Okay. Ah, Iridium. Alright. Well, that's... Oh, my health! I Oh, man, I've been falling all these stupid fucking levels. That it's been, like, draining my health. I'm like, how do I have no health, dude? I'm like, how do I have no health? It's because I've been falling down these stupid-ass levels, and it's been hurting me. I probably... That's actually probably why I really shouldn't hate that second one. That's actually probably why... I think this might be a crab. Yeah, I was about to say, he looks out of place. I don't know if he can drop you an Iridium. Or a Prismatic Shard. But I got Iridium. That's why. Because I've been falling down all these levels. That's why my ass is almost dead. That's what you get for the Penny Slander? Uh, slander and... He's, she's alright, okay? But, like, that's kind of it, you know? That's all I'm saying. You take it so personally. I thought that was Iridium, but it's Aquamarine. See you. Please unlock a hole, because... Oh, man, there's a lot of stones to mine here. And I'm out of bombs. Sam was my first? Sam's also kind of hard to give... No, 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 no. Actually, Sam's really easy. You want to know why? I'm pretty sure one of his at least light gifts is a Joja Cola. So if you're like me and you fish in the early game a lot, you can just give his ass all the Joja Cola junk that you fish up. He's really easy, actually. I don't know what his love gifts are, but I think one of his light gifts is just a Joja Cola. Yeah, exactly. Abigail is my go-to. He loves warm river cola and trash cola. Yeah, dude, you get so many. Oh, here we go. This is the Pepper Rex level I was talking about. From this, that's a little dangerous. It's a little dangerous, this level, because these guys can be kind of tricky. If you're not extremely skilled at the game. Oh, shit. Jesus. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I need a prehistoric vertebrae. Also, I have a secret note. Okay, I don't care about that one. It's probably the most useless one in the game. Oh, but it's cute. It's lore. Alright, prehistoric vertebrae. And I want to say that there's another um, thing that these guys can drop that I haven't gotten yet. Maybe like a... I got the tibia. I think it's a scapula that they can drop. I want to say they can drop like a prehistoric scapula that I need as well. Alright, trying to eat the purple mushroom. It's only 420, actually. So we got plenty of time. Also, yeah, these give you uh, health as well. Oh, an iridium bat. Um, one at a time, please. Kind of hard to deal with two things at once. We're managing, though. Do you have a copper ore to craft more bombs? No. I mean, I might have picked up some, but I don't think I just have any on me. All right. Um, oh, I do have copper ore. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right, good. You know, I haven't get, been getting a lot of Omni Geodes, but I also haven't been mining many rocks. So maybe that's my fault. All right, good. Good, 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 good. I have no more room. And this level kind of stinks because, yeah, I mean, look around you. I right, got cave care, that's good. Just just the serpent, please, thank you. Alright, and then bomb all these gold. This is stressful. Alright, very good. Hope you've been having a good day so far. Yeah, I have. Thanks. Appreciate it. Alright, eat that. 
then uh, I guess I'll take the ruby for money. It's probably better than like quartz, for example. And then the cave carrot. All right, then we're good. I wish I could marry Richard. Uh, can you remind me again who Richard is? And slime. Your day is about to get a lot worse. Why is that? Am I gonna die in the caves here? Am I gonna die in the caves here? That'd really make my... That'd make me real sore, you know? That'd make me real sore. So if that's what you mean by that, then yeah, that would make my day a little bit worse. You know what's my favorite thing? I don't know how many... I also just spat. Because I got, like, a little excited. I don't know how many of you guys are, uh... Redditors. There's one thing that really, uh, gets my goose on Reddit, though. You know that subreddit, r slash mildly infuriating? You would think that something that is mildly infuriating would be like, Aw, shucks, I, like, stubbed my toe today, and it really hurts. They'd be posting some stuff on that subreddit that's like, My wife cheated on me with my best friend of 40 years. r slash mildly infuriating. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I'd be a little bit like... I'd call that, like, absolutely fucking furious, if you ask me. That's a little bit more than mildly infuriating, is, yeah, is what I'm trying to say. Hello. Anyway, I just thought that was funny. Honestly, try to find a hole without having to go over where those guys are. Can I get a time check? 7.30? blow his ass up. Please reveal a hole. Thank you. Ooh, two holes. Three levels. I wonder if the other one would have taken you further or if they both would have done the same thing. Dude, I'm gonna get to like 50 without even like using stairs? That's kind of crazy, actually. Do you tell your bowling buddies you're a Twitch streamer or do you thousand yard stare them when they ask you about your life? Oh no, I told them. I only, I only told one person there, and that's my teammate at bowling. But he's, like, my age, so they all kind of, like, get it, you know? Or he kind of gets it, at least. If an older person asked, I'd probably be... So this is what I generally tend to do with, um... This is what I generally tend to do with people who I don't think would understand Twitch streaming. Is I usually tell them something vague, like multimedia or something like that. Basically try to be as vague as possible when you explain what you do. Something that doesn't get a lot of, like, questions, follow-up. I hate follow-up questions. Like, oh, what do you do? And I say, like, oh, multimedia. And they're like, oh, okay, what kind of media? And then you're like, no, 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 you were asking too many questions now. That's usually what I tend to do. And they're like, so basically I try to phrase it, NICE! Oh my god! Oh my god, I must just shit my pants. Okay. Um, I don't need topaz. Alright, well that's amazing. I don't think I need to tell you. A prismatic shard. That's why we wanted to get to Iridium. Absolutely huge. Yeah, fuck it, kill these guys. They drop Iridium too. Not that I need the Iridium itself, but... And I guess I don't need the ore anymore now that I got, like, the best thing that you can get from it. And also, somebody mentioned this, like, earlier in the, uh, run. Like, maybe the first day. What the hell? I've got a whole-ass Iridium bar? Shoot. Get out of here. I mean, for selling purposes, that'll be amazing. Oh my god, in a hole again? My, my HP. But also this? Peach sapling? Huh? I don't want this. I want like a fucking hundred Omni Geodes. Huh? This is stupid. Fuck it, I'm eating spicy yield, dude. I know that like I'm really pushing it with time, but I do have a warp totem, so it's all good. I do have a warp totem to the mountains, so I can kinda go until like probably like twelve thirty and be just fine. The more lizards I get though, the more it slows me down. Okay, I'll definitely take a big old bomb. No, that wasn't a cue for another one to fucking spawn. Alright. 
Honestly, I might need to buy the next backpack. I'm going to get like a big old influx of cash from getting to level 25. I might want to use that for getting the next backpack. I don't know. Or just hang on to it to fund future trips to the fucking desert, I guess. He's locked in. I kind of am now because I'm at like level 57. This is actually like a really good run in the caves. For like not trying to get too low today, you know? The only thing I could do better at in this run is getting more Omni Geodes. That's why I don't know why I'm like poking away at these rocks here. You know what maybe I should do is smelt some of this iron and get a better pickaxe if I'm going to do this. Because that's like the big thing that it's like makes me not want to break these rocks is how long it takes. But I can probably get that fixed up. Also, that's a luck upgrade, this spicy eel. So like maybe I'll even get luckier than I am. I don't even want the Iridium, but maybe for money I will. I want to get to all those crates in the middle, because God knows what they'll drop in here. Yeah, the spiral floor. It enrages me. At least I got a ladder. It enrages me, but you get to that middle, you get all those crates and shit, and like there could be some good stuff in there. Alright, come on. Omni Geodes. Or just straight up things that I can donate would be nice. It's not listening to me. It's Jover. Cave carrots, though. I do need some HP. Okay. Um, Just for the second, I'm going to drop these. Alright, don't freak out. It's 12 o'clock, so I should probably, like, make this my last floor, or next to last floor. Let's go one more floor. See what we get. One more floor. And maybe just, like, pop a bomb in the most rock-heavy spot and see what we get. I know it's getting late. Don't worry, I have a warp totem. Yeah, that's a big, that's our big rock spot right there. Come on. Okay, more Omni Geodes. Can't be mad with that. And then one more floor. Uh, just one more. What's one more? Oh, no. Get out. Time to go. All right. I'm not dying. Mm-mm. All right. Cool. That was a very successful day. I don't know how much better that could have gone. I feel like I got so much stuff that the counter isn't even right now, because I got, like, overwhelmed there. Yeah, that was a lot of serpents. That was one of them ambush floors right there, the ones that you kind of want to just get out. But that's fine. It's probably time to get out anyway. Alright. Yes, I know. It's very late. Put all that in there, and then very carefully... Peach sapling, jade we don't need. Aquamarine we don't need. I can get rid of one prehistoric vertebrae. I've already gotten two prehistoric tibias. Goodbye, goodbye. Don't need, don't need, don't need. Need, don't need. So that'll be good money. Don't need. I'll keep the iridium. If I am in like a money pinch though, that'll probably be like the first thing that I sell. Alright, level 6 combat. Level 6 mining. And I can make big bombs now, that's good. Holy shit. 6,600? Oh, for the iridium bar and the diamonds. Yeah, okay, that's probably why. Your guy needed to touch grass. It was good that he got out after sleeping for basically the last month entirely. It's good that he got out and about. Hi, Emily! Hi, Emily. Uh, I like Emily. You seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. Ooh. I don't know if she meant that. So, you've been here a while, and I'm sure you've acquired some cloth. Oh, that's why, because I got cloth from the mummies. Yeah, okay, she's going to tell me how to use the sewing machine now. Don't tell her, dude. Don't tell her. I kind of like her. Okay. Give me my money. 10,000 G's? Good. Googly moogly. All right. Love to see that. All right. Then we can clear out our farm for a little bit. Till uh, the museum in Clunts opens. Hi, Dag. Nothing bad... Nothing went bad over the weekend. Nothing at all. Certainly not the biggest music festival disaster this century. Nothing at all. Wait. 
Did a music festival disaster happen this weekend? Not that, you know, I should have any reason to believe that based on the way that you phrased that message. You clearly are, you know, trying to tell me that nothing bad happened at all. Wait, what happened, though? Worse than Fire Festival? Yeah, I don't know how much worse you can get than, like, Fire Festival. Oh, wait! Burning Man? But wait! I thought Burning Man was, like... Wait, you didn't go to Burning Man, did you? Bur yeah, Burning Man was last weekend. If you're talking about this weekend, what the hell happened this weekend? I don't think it was that bad. I don't know, I've just been hearing a lot about it. I don't actually know what happened at all. You know, it's the only music festival I've been to is Carolina Rebellion, and I didn't even like it. My friends wanted to take me there. Yeah, Burning Man, I don't really know if it's even like a music festival. Isn't it like a bunch of people do drugs and shit? Just found your channel, you seemed cool. Drop the follow. Thanks. Appreciate it. By the way, Brightness Dawn, did I thank you for your subscription? I appreciate it. Alright. Yeah, the thing opens at 9. We'll be in time. Been to a few raves? Seen a few jaws swinging was enough for me? What does that mean? I just went to a dog surfing competition. Hmm. Is Pam gonna tell me? Wow, I'm surprised. I'm surprised Pam's ass would tell me to stop doing that. I feel like she'd love that. You just... You're really down on your luck, kid. You gotta look anywhere for a gem. Alright, we got three Omni Geodes. It's an art festival that a lot of people save forever to go... Is it really, like, a lot of money? Okay, I think I need that. Right? Yep. That's, I guess, sure. And I need that. Alright. Alrighty. No, of course not. Not one very close to my area. Not Blue Ridge Rock Festival. Not ec evacuating 50,000 people during a hailstorm in line for six hours. Not the lack of water in only one station that is a half mile from the entrance. Not the staff going on strike due to literally not being allowed to shower or provided food during the often 15 plus hour shifts. Not quite literally blocking admissions to paying customers and lying about it, being the weather when the skies are clear because they were broke. Well, I'm glad to hear that that didn't happen to you. Really, that sounds like a nightmare. Alrighty, look at all this. Prismatic Shard, not the least of which, amongst those four things donated. Alright, let me count here to make sure my counter's right. She'd say some shit like, Bless your heart, honey buns! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 45, 47, 49, 51, 53. 53 things donated. All right. Great news. That's pretty good. If my luck is good today, I'll do another Skull Caverns run. Because I kind of, like, really enjoy doing Skull Caverns. You know, be another thing to do is minecarts, if I can afford it. How much is minecarts? Because that'd be really convenient. It's not a necessary expenditure, but I would like to. How much? Minecarts is only 15,000. Oh. Oh. E. Oh. Or the bag upgrade. Oh, man. Man, did Joja? Yeah, I should. Joja's better for the purposes of this speedrun. Hmm. Let's see how much the bag is. Isn't the bag like 25,000, though? I remember it's a lot. Or is it just like 10,000? Oh, it's only 10,000. That's fine, then. Yeah, let's do the bag. Alright, cool. 
For the Skull Caverns, I'm learning to appreciate the value of more inventory space. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll make that purchase. Is there special dialogue for choosing Joja? Yeah, I think so. Um, I've found... Yeah, I mean, I've run into, like, dialogue that I've never seen before because this is the first time I've ever done the Joja route. Just, like, bits and pieces with, like, Morris where you wouldn't otherwise see him. What's my luck today? Not, it's a little late. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck it. I'll, I'll do the next full day with good luck. And then that'll be it. <laughs> it's gonna be, like, another five minutes before I find another one, am I? Doesn't Pierre get really depressed or something? Well, you're only making me want to do Joja route again in the future, if that's the case. That only makes me want to do Joja more. I kind of wouldn't hate it if, like... <laughs> if Joja put, like, Pierre out of business and his ass moved to, like, Zuzu City. That'd be kind of funny, actually. It'd be kind of funny. I watched this video today by Wendover Productions about how, like, Dollar General is, like, taking over America. It's kind of crazy. See, that'd be funny if it happened in-game. It's not funny in real life. Alright, there we go. Egg Festival. Wait, that's not today, right? I think that might have been a week ago on a Sunday, right? I really hope that's not today, because it is Sunday, and doesn't the Egg Festival happen on Sunday? Ooh. I really hope that's not today. No, it would have, like, a little festival icon up here if it was today, right? Yeah, not today. I guess it's on a Monday, even though Easter's always on a Sunday, and I'm going to assume that that's what the Egg Festival is based off of. Interesting. What's up, boy? Quit running around. Chill out. Dollar General has occupied at least 35% of the empty land space in our country. That's kind of crazy, right? I really recommend watching. It was a good video. Yeah, not today, I guess. Good to know. really hate for the, my lucky day to be a fucking egg festival. So wasting your energy, dude. Hey, enjoy your WWE 2K23. Oh, it was yesterday. Wait, it's on a Saturday? Interesting. Alright. Well, there's a way to run for Pam. I guess I did waste a little bit of stamina doing that. Should I get uh, some Iridium going? Yeah, fuck it. I might as well have something going while I'm gone, right? Takes forever, so it'll be done by the time I'm gone. And then... Yeah, just hang out. See if there's any dig spots now that it's Sunday. Wait, if what? Wait, what? If Pierre's secret stash in the one cut scene is just Joja catalogs? I think it's heavily implied that his secret stack there is, um, pornography magazines, is it not? In that one cutscene? You know the cutscene. It's weed? I always assumed it was porno. Coping with John Cena career retrospective, watching my 24th favorite human in the world stream funny farm game. 24th? There's like, there's like 5 million people in the world. That's pretty good. I thought it was weed. It's weed? What's bad about that? I want to hate the guy. I want to hate the motherfucker, and it's just... Oh, time doesn't pass when you're just in this menu, stupid doofus. I'd like to think that it's letters to Carolyn from the wizard. I don't think he has... I don't think he has any idea about that, though, right? He makes a big deal about not telling his wife. Yeah, exactly. He makes a big deal about not telling his wife. If it's weed... First of all, you've seen that Carolyn cutscene when you get however many hearts with her, where she, like, goes to the, the greenhouse cutscene. Are right, you gonna tell me that that lady is not on something? So, I don't think she'd care if it was weed. Second of all, yeah. He's like, oh, don't tell my wife. It's clearly pornography mags. She smokes bowls, dude. 
kidding me? Oh, so he knows he got cucked. I don't think he does. I don't think he does. In fact, it's never even confirmed in-game that that's what happens, but the wizard says, Oh, I fear I might have a daughter in this town. And then Carolyn is like, Huh. Abby's hair is, like, naturally purple or some shit like that. And then I want to say, like, Pierre has some dialogue referring to it as well. Pam always on time. She's just on that grind. You love to see it. Also, I see an artifact spot. And also, I should probably pick up some, like, roots as well, because I don't have much food. Clay. Alright, one more day. See what we can get. Good luck. Got a bomb. My goal today is to get more Omni Geodes. Than I did last time. Pierre is the Dollar General of this game. Well, see, like, wouldn't Joja Company be like the... You know what? I don't want this floor. Reroll. Eh, it's better. I don't know, like, Joja would be like the Dollar General, which was got, which is what made me think of that video that I saw earlier. But honestly, dude, if it puts Pierre's ass out of business, I don't mind. It could be Joja for all I give a shit. Okay. I don't know, maybe I'll kill this guy. If you back the slimes up against the wall... Oh, he didn't even split into slimes. I... Honestly, the big slimes might... Oh, fuck off. No way, right? Get out. I hate when they fucking sticky you, man. It's so obnoxious. The big slimes are sometimes even worse than the serpents, because when they split into those little goobers and you don't have them packed up against a wall, is bad news, dude. Is bad news. Yeah, these guys. They're fine if you get them against the wall, but if they're all running around all free, they're bad news. Petition to put Pierre out of business. I like how we all hate Pierre. We might disagree about Sam, Sebastian, Penny, Maru, Shane, because he sucks. We all hate Pierre. And Lewis, for that matter. Fuck him, too. All my homies hate Pierre. You'd love to see it. Ah. Alright, I get extra gems because of that perk. No, don't... Wow! Don't shy guy noise my ass. No, I can't deal with two of them. I need a hole. Just, like, honestly, any hole will do. My standards for the hole that I need right now are not high. I need a hole. It could be a ladder, dude. But a hole would be ideal right now. Just a nice deep hole. So I can just jump on in. There we go. You fell five levels. Oh, that's a good bomb spot right here. A lot of good bomb spots on this level. Holy smokers. Goodness. There's a diamond. Yeah, actually, the diamond's good for money. Dude, if I had a bomb... Hey, hang on. Can I make one? Do I have a copper ore? No, I don't have copper ore, but... But, 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 Please give me enough. Just one? How much do you need to make a bomb? Four? Fuck. Leave me alone. Got me some spicy eel. Iron for the bigger bomb? Wait, wait, wait. I do have the bigger bomb recipe now, don't I? Yeah, you're right. Hang on. I need four iron ore. Holy smokes. Wait, hang on. I think I already got some iron ore as well. Yeah, I have three. Literally just one from this will do. Yas. Big bomb. Drop that sucker. Like, right in here. And then eat a leak. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, so it's worth collecting iron for that purpose. To make bombs. Bombs equal Omni Geodes. Alright, shoutouts to whoever said that. Literal lifesaver. I still... Okay, I get... Okay, wait, wait, I can make another one. I can make another one. I can make another one. Um, 
I guess this is an okay spot for one. It should probably be more selective of where I put them down, but... I mean, hey, I got an Omni Geode, so whatever. I'm not getting any holes. I feel like my luck, despite being really good, just like the last time, another Omni Geode. Or even my luck is going more towards giving me Omni Geodes this time rather than giving me holes. Because last time I was getting holes like crazy. This time I'm getting Omni Geodes. Like, maybe not like crazy, but I mean, five's more than I had last time. No worries, I'm addicted. I already have a ladder. I'm addicted to Stardew. Well, thank you. Yeah, more iron. Uh, I hate this level. I can get out of here as quick as possible. That'd be good. Alright. I always like breaking these, like, gray rocks. More than I like breaking the regular rocks. Because not only do they always bring you rocks... Which can be valuable, but they also, with pickaxes, generally break faster as well. But I don't know if they give you Omni Geos like the rest of them do, but Jesus Christ, I might have like. I have like, what, seven now? <clears throat> Alright. Just got Twitch added in the same ad played two times in a row. I've never had that happen, not on Twitch at least. On TV commercials, I've had that happen all the time. Does anyone else have, like, the local used car salesman who's always on TV and always pumps, like, a shit ton of ads out? Like, a ridiculous amount of advertisements. Either that or, like, some local, like, sleazy lawyers as well. I feel like it's either one of the two. Ooh, magma geodes are good. So, magma geodes can give you things that regular geodes and... Frozen Geodes can't, but Omni Geodes can give you a little bit of everything, but at a lower rate. So Omni Geodes are good for everything. Magma Geodes are better for some specific things that only drop from Magma Geodes, for example. Like Obsidian. I don't know, just to think of something. Alright, I probably should eat something. The small town furniture store ads are always unhinged. I don't know about that one. Usually it's car salesmen or lawyers. And it's always some stupid ass name like Bordis and Bordis. Why is that, I wonder? Why do they always repeat names in lawyers in law law firms? Bordis and Bordis sounds so cool. It's a real law firm in, um, I think, like, the Pittsburgh area. It's a real law firm, except it's B-O-R-D-A-S, not Bordis, T-I-S. Um, stay out of there. Alright. Um, I don't have enough for a bomb, right? I guess you want to know there's two of them? Was it like a father-son thing? I don't know. Why are there always like repeats in law firms' names? My next law firm is going to be Bitch and Ass. That's... Okay. Husband and Husband, maybe? That'd be kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Let's start a law firm together and name it after ourselves. Oh, no. Oh, no, and I've backed myself into a corner. All right, it's fine. What time is it? 6.10. We got plenty of time. All right, now I need to find a juicy spot. Like a nice, rocky, juicy spot. I'm going to have to ask for, like, a little bit juicier than that, even. I'm talking about, like, I want something real juicy. Like, a lot of rocks all very close together. Real juicy. I'll wait. I'll be patient for it. I don't care. I'll wait all day if I have to. A nice, juicy spot where a shit ton of rocks are all squeezed together would be ideal. No, don't even worry about him. Is there anything over here? Uh, 
it's kind of juicy over here. Not as juicy as I'd like, though. And also, I don't want this guy to split. It's fine. Well, you can keep him against the wall. Oh, no, one escaped from the wall. Oh, no, when one escapes from the wall, it's all fucking over. When one escapes from the from the being trapped against the wall, it's all fucking over. Alright, I salvaged it, but holy shit, just barely. Just barely. Uh, this looks good. Yeah, like, right down where that diamond is would be really good. No, guys. Aren't these guys, like, really weak? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Alright. Right here. Oh, come on. Like, real nice and juicy. Like, right here. That's a bunch of Omni Geodes. What am I up to? It's like 10? Jesus. Alright, let's go. Well, now I can't end without getting them cracked as well. I just realized. So I guess today's not the last day. Because I gotta get them cracked as well. I can't have 10 Omni Geodes waiting for me. Oh, and I got another bomb. As soon as I start the next stream. Fuck it. Running out of time. Oh, another Omni Geode. We'll complain. And I got another one there. Oh my god. If I don't get at least, like, three things to donate from these Omni Geodes, I'll call that a failure. Out of 13 Omni Geodes and two regular Magma Geodes, if I don't get three things to donate out of that, that's a failure. An objective failure. Oh no. I think this is, like, just get out, right? Is this, like, just get out territory? At least that guy died pretty quickly. I do still need a prehistoric scapula, though. I, if I get a prehistoric scapula, I'm out. Oh my god, do you see the amount of dinosaurs here? Jesus Christ! Are you seeing this? This is unusual, right? You don't see this many. No, these levels don't have this many, right? Oh, fuck off. This is a lot of dinosaurs. Okay, I already got that. This is a lot. This is a... This is a... No, this isn't right. If I can... They gotta... If I can, they didn't carry a one here, dude. I gotta get out. I'm so low health. Just leave. Just leave. Don't push your luck. Last thing I want to do is have to recover 13 Omni Geodes. Just get out. There'll always be more. No, I'm on a good luck day, specifically. I chose a good luck day to do this because you get more Omni Geodes and more ladders and more holes, but I don't know. Maybe they, maybe more dinosaurs is a lucky thing. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I might as well uh, get another one of these going. Okay. Alright, don't need, don't need. Don't need, don't need. Don't need, don't need. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. I can make bait out of that. That'd probably be worth it. Don't need, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, and now we will get all those identified and donated. Holy shit, five grand. I think you might want a better weapon. Well, I'll tell you what, if I find another, um... Prismatic Shard. First one had to go to the museum because, you know, the stream, the title of it. But, yeah, I'll tell you what. Second one, oh, Granny Evelyn. Second one, I will uh, totally make a galaxy sword out of. It's not the amount of damage that I'm doing, though. It's more like the, like, the amount of damage you take. It takes so much damage. Why is the stream tagged with nudity? I don't know. I don't make the tags of the stream. Somebody changes my tags on occasion. Probably one of my mods. Does it say nudity? Salads are cheap from the saloon. Oh yeah, to fuel up, right? Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Alright, now we wait. It was Margot always messing with the tags. Hmm. Tags are auto-generated based on your viewers' searches. Is that right, actually? What are you guys searching for? 
What are you guys searching for? This is correct? Is that actually right? Hmm. That's crazy. Streamers to watch? Well, it looks like the, the tags on the stream would indicate otherwise. I'm searching for big titties. I often search for comic mischief. I, I think I fit that role. I'm a big fan of tobacco reference. Is that another tobacco reference? When do I reference tobacco? Drug reference. Tobacco reference. No. Diagonal feet pics leaked would be the top tag. You know, what's kind of crazy is that I could literally, and it's like nothing to do. It would cost me zero dollars and be like zero effort for me to hold my feet up to the camera right now. Okay. I want at least three new things to donate from these 13, or else I'm going to execute him on stream with a gun. That I don't need. That is not even donatable. Oh my god, I'm going to kill him. I don't need that. I... Okay, I do need that. Even though it's not like, barely worth anything, I don't need that. I don't need that. I... I don't need that. And I don't need that. Wow, that was very underwhelming. I was really hoping for better than that. The only thing I needed is sandstone, and it's like not worth shit. It's like that's like a common thing. All right. Well, that's one more thing that we needed, I guess. So, not a total failure. If I had a gun on me, I would have shot him in the face. But I don't. All right. Well, we'll finish off today with how many things donated? Fifty-four. Let me check that. That's right. I hate having to count. I need to memorize how many are, are on each platform here. This was seven. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is 18. Okay, so that's 18. This is 20. So 20, 18 is 38. Plus seven is 45. 50. 55, 56. Is 56 correct? Is 56 correct? Somebody else needs to count for me because... No, you have 54? Where is my... Where is it wrong? Oh, I was counting 10 here when there's 9. Okay, I, I see. Okay, so it is 54 then. So it is 54. Alright. Well, hey, that's pretty good. You gonna count for me, Axnil? What the hell is going on outside? Interesting. I can't tell if somebody's trying to, sh like, choke hold a bunch of ducks or what. Anyway. I give up. I think it's 54. Don't worry, good buddy. I appreciate the effort, though. Alright. Well, I'll call that good for today. Let's head back home. I wonder, it, it wouldn't change anything if I refreshed the day... And had Clint break those geodes again. Somebody confirmed to me that it wouldn't change what was in those geodes. It's probably predetermined when you get the geode, what's inside of it. Or predetermined, like, at some point that you're not able to change it. If I had to guess, right? Somebody tell me that that's true so that I don't start going and fucking refreshing the day over and over again. When I have, like, one or two more things that I need from the Omni geodes. Worth a shot? Yeah, maybe tomorrow, though. Not right now. Thanks for being here today. I very much appreciate it. Uh, I'll be live again tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT, 7 a.m. AEST for more Stardew Valley full museum speedruns. Close the game here. There we go. Nice and saved. And we're going to stop the timer at 10 hours. 
I think I pressed it exactly when I was supposed to, but I was not fucking on the right tab. Oh my god. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Let's get started on Bloke Farm. I thought you had much less progress to this point, so kudos to you. Um, we're over halfway, though. What are you talking about? Uh, get rid of this. Uh, well, actually, yeah, let's keep checking for a lucky day. Oh, actually, you know what? Something that I noticed. I went to the museum, um, to go count what I had. And yeah, we have salmon berries, which actually be really good. I might do a round around the town to go get a bunch of salmon berries before I go back to the skull caverns, because those will be huge for helping keep me alive. So let me do a round around town and get a bunch of salmon berries. There's a chance you get the ancient seeds from the seed maker. Well, that's true, actually. But the seed maker, you need like farming level something, right? And it's pretty high. And I don't do any farming, so I don't see a way that I can get a seed maker. I don't really see any way I can get a seed maker, though. It's level 9. Yeah, it's level 9 farming. And I don't do any farming, so I have a hard time believing that I'll get one of those, sadly. Oh, well. Fun fact, lots of minerals end with ite because it's the Greek form Greek for form of lithos, aka form of rock or stone. That's amazing. Can I have $10,000? All right. Let's check the beach real quick. There's a lot of things on the beach that we need to donate that we just haven't gotten yet. And yeah, like glass shards. Oh, a warp totem is very good too. And lost books, whatever, I guess. Game sounds? Oh, shit, you don't have game sounds? Oh, yeah, because I muted the... Oh, you're right. Sorry, because I muted the Pokemon music. Uh, Trilobay we already have. Damn, glass shards and an anchor are two very common things that you can artifact from the beach that we haven't gotten either of. It says you're playing Stardew, but it says ACNH. Uh, is that right? Because I'm pretty sure it should say Stardew. I think you might need to refresh if it says ACNH. Sometimes that happens when it'll show you what the person is playing was the thing that they were playing last, but you need to refresh for it to update. But I wasn't even playing AC and H like yesterday, so I don't know why it would say that. Would it be a good idea to donate 300 wood to access the rest of the beach? Um, I think most of the artifacting spot on the beach is already unlocked. I mean, am, am I saving wood? I don't even remember. Like, if I have 300 wood just sitting around, then yeah, I might as well. But I really don't think so, because I don't know how many artifact spots spawn over there. Usually that stuff is more so for getting, like, the shells and shit that washes up over on the other side of the beach, right? Thanks for the hydrate. I don't think so. I don't think it'd be worth it. But maybe a bunch of artifact spots are over there. I have no idea. And dig spots on the island, all the fossils from the archaeology site. But would it be worth it? I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to go to... Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Ginger Island? It'd be nice to go, but... The bundle... First of all, you need to complete the community center, right? And then you need to complete the bundle to unlock Ginger Island. And that's ridiculous. Like, that's so much time set aside to unlock Ginger Island. When you can do... I already got that. When you can do all that stuff without Ginger Island, I feel like that's just... If it was available from the start, then yeah, it would totally be something I would do. But it's a lot of work to get Ginger Island, and a lot of work that could be put towards, you know, just doing the museum with what resources you have on the regular land. They meant your stream schedule. Oh, my stream schedule. I don't update that. I'm pretty sure nobody... Well, I guess, obviously, somebody uses it because somebody noticed that it says AC and H instead of Stardew, but, um... Yeah, no, I haven't updated that ever since I played Animal Crossing New Horizons, like, every day on stream. Which was a long time ago at this point. And I haven't updated it since. How many lost books do I have left, man? I had a good amount there. You should marry Shane for shits and giggles. No, I wouldn't even do that for, like, for exactly that, shits and giggles. I wouldn't do that in re for, like, recreational purposes or any purposes. I wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't even, like, conceive of the thought. No. Goodness gracious, no. 
Jesus, no. Uh, you've, like, planted the idea of it in my brain. Get out of my head. I'm not a coward, dude. I'm a reasonable person. I think any reasonable person would not want to do that. As long as you don't need to know that stupid archaeology tent thing from Ginger Island, everything's okay. I'm still having nightmares with snake vertebrae. Yeah, I don't think so. Wait, hang on a second. No, I thought I saw a dig spot. No, I don't think so. I never really messed with that tent, to be honest with you. I don't really know much about it, but I'm pretty sure that's its own museum in a sort of way, right? The archaeology tent? Like, that's its own mu museum? I really hope that nobody in the YouTube comment section, and that's a good way to ensure that somebody in the YouTube comment section will definitely yell at me for not doing the archaeology tent. Because it's technically a museum! But no, I'm not doing that. Absolutely not. It's a teeny tiny museum. Yeah, but like... It's not THE museum. If you say THE museum in Stardew, everyone knows the Gunther Museum. They don't think that. But, you know, somebody will probably point next to it and say, Oh! Have you considered this? Salmonberry City, dude. Y'all remember Circuit City? What a piece of shit. What an awful store. You're doing the Pelican Town Museum. Yeah, exactly. And I think that that's the museum. I don't even think I need to clarify it to that extent, right? You can cheese some of the Ginger Island bones, but it's just annoying. I don't think I've, like I said, ever messed with it. Because honestly, by the time that I get Ginger Island, is sort of when like my enthusiasm for this game is starting to, starting to wear down. I think I put so much effort into getting the community center done as quickly and efficiently as possible. And this is something I shouldn't do. That I, like, burn myself out of uh, the game really quickly, trying to, like, really try hard and get the museum or the community center done year one. That by the time I eventually get around to unlocking Ginger Island, I'm like, ah, ah, whatever, you know. I think that's usually what happens. You know what I need to do is I need to do one of the randomized bundles playthrough where I randomize the bundle but make sure that it's still completable by year one. That kind of sounds fun, actually. Although I don't know if I'll be up for a casual playthrough of this game anytime soon after completing this challenge because this is sort of itching my Stardew itch, you know? A little bit at least. Can't wait to graduate from college to waste another 200 hours on Stardew. What's stopping you while you're in college? Come on. That's not the right attitude. Maybe when 1.6 comes out? Yeah, but that's not gonna be a while. Oh, that's Robin's axe. I think you only get like 100 for that, right? I know it's not worth it, to be honest with you. The college? Well, dude, it never stopped me. I gamed anyway, alright? And then I dropped out, and then I became a YouTuber. What's stopping you, dude? Is all I'm hearing is excuses. A frog. <laughs> you see him? Not wanting to fail my graduation test? It sounds like a loser mentality, is all I'll say. This sounds like a big... This, sound, this does not sound like the mark of a gamer, is what I'll say. Alright, also, Dag, you're gonna be playing Haunted Chocolatier when it comes out. Yes, of course. Is anyone who, like, is even, like, remotely interested in Stardew... Not gonna play Haunted Chocolatier. I expect it, even if it, may, even if it was just Stardew Valley 2, I'm pretty sure it'd be a great game. And it's not going to be. He'll probably do, like, a good amount that's different enough to justify making a whole new game. Alright. I don't need all this food. The salmon berries are more than enough. So I'll just sell. And I'll keep this warp totem. Alright, cool. Now we got a bunch of food for the next day that we have good luck and can go to the Skull Caverns. Yes, because I'm fucking broke, Dag. Well, dude, the game doesn't come out for, like, probably over a year now. It's probably gonna cost, like, $20, all right? If you can't scavenge up $20 in one year to play a game that you're very highly anticipated to play, then, like, I don't know. I feel like you gotta, like, I think you gotta, like, work towards that. Not to be an out-of-touch billionaire or anything like that. But I think you can set aside, like, 20 bucks in, like, one year before it comes out. It probably won't come out for two years, right? Maybe even more. You got plenty of time, man. 
You got plenty of time. Like, Jesus, I'm not talking about, like, a $60 AAA game that comes out literally tomorrow. You gotta calm down and quit yelling at me. Oh, also, I have to check my luck. It is very good. All right, good. So, Skull Caverns it is. I guess it's worth doing what in the time? I guess cleaning out the farm a little bit. Well, no, because then that wastes your energy. But, I don't know, I got a bunch of salmon berries, so, like, does it matter? Is Haunted Chocolatier ever coming out? He literally posted, like, an update on it, like, the other day on Twitter? It's very much actively in development. It's not like, uh, Silk Song, for example, where, like, it was promised a couple years ago, and then, like, pretty much nothing's been heard about it in the long time since. What do you mean? You need to have, like, optimism here. What do you mean is it ever coming out? It's, it's being actively worked on. He's also just one guy as well, yeah. You gotta give him a break. Put away like $2 a month until it comes out. You might have more money than you need. Then you can treat yourself to something else. Yeah, I'm not being like what Mark Cuban does on TikTok. And he's like, if you set your money away in a Roth IRA over the course of 20 years, then one day you could be a billionaire like me. No, it's just like 20 bucks, like two years from now, and you can play the game. Silk Song is just an urban legend? Exactly. Haunted Chocolatier is very much like a promised piece of work that is actively in development. Not like that. It's probably 2025? Yeah, probably something like that. Mushroom Caves. Oh, yeah! You're right. Yeah, I should do that. You're right. And also, maybe even save a couple mushrooms if they're not the ones that, like, poisons your ass and makes you shit your pants. Yeah, that was a good knuckle crack. I didn't want to say nothing because, um, I mean, I don't know how well it got picked up, but that was good. That was kind of juicy. It wasn't my best ever, but it was pretty juicy. Loud? Was it that loud? I didn't want to say anything. I was like, oh, man, was, that was pretty good. I mean, brown mushrooms are okay, but, like, whatever. I guess I'd rather have the money. It came through the mic so crisply. That's why I got this mic, dude. That's the only reason. I don't want my knuckle cracks to sound extra cracky. What's up, Suswack? Alright, almost 10 o'clock. What else do you crack? Are you a fellow neck cracker? Oh, I like to, um... It's, it's, it's a finger. Well, technically the thumb's not a finger, but I like to push my thumb up and out of my joint. That's kind of different than just regular old finger cracking. I'm kind of a... A neck cracker, but like not like this. I do it like tilt it back and it sort of cracks. I crack my toes. I'm a big knee cracker as well. You guys ever like like force your like knees together and it like cracks one of them or both of them? Oh, that's good. That's really good. A little late today, Pam. No, I'm not an elbow cracker. I'm also just a regular cracker as well. Any, uh, desert fruits? Any dig spots? I'm not seeing any. Let's just go straight for it, then. So you're big on crack. Yeah, I'm a big cracker, you know. I don't have any bombs, but that's okay. Because we're here more so... Alright, rude. We're here more so for geodes, I'd say. And also keep an eye out for emeralds, because I definitely forgot to donate an emerald. I should upgrade my pickaxe, dude. This is getting a little annoying how every rock, barring these ones, takes three hits. This is a little annoying. I crack my hips because if I don't, I cannot walk. Um, that doesn't sound normal. I don't know. Like, don't, don't, don't take my word for it. That doesn't sound normal. I don't know. Backcracker? Uh, you know, I'm not a backcracker myself, but sometimes, you ever have your friend, like, do the thing where they, like, wrap their arms around, they're behind you, and they, like, wrap your arms around you, and they go, Hoo! and they, like, crack your back? I don't know what it does, and I don't know if it helps at all, but man, does it feel good when they do that. You gotta get yourselves a friend like that, one who does that for you. Get out of here. I should really re-roll these floors, because... These are kind of nasty. 
I was not paying attention. If it's okay, Dag, don't. Can I put you on background while I whale eye anima? While you watch anime? Nah, sorry, dude. That doesn't really fly around here. Um. I'm, I'm afraid you're going to have to put your full focus and attention on my stream. I'm sorry to say. No, I'm sorry. That's not going to fly around here. Yes, of... Oh, my goodness. I do want to remind everybody. Just a gentle reminder. You do need to be 13 to use this website. You do need to be at least 13 years old to use this website. Um, you will be in serious trouble if you do not follow the very strict rules that this website allows. One of which is being 13. I just want to, like, remind everyone. I know? Okay. Well, you know, just making sure that we're all, like, aware. Just making sure. Hey, there we go. Super normal joint cracker. I mean, really, I'm just like a super normal guy, just in general. I crack, like, my normal joints, and I do normal things that everyone does. You know, this certainly isn't feeling like a very lucky day, I must say. This is not feeling like a very lucky day. I don't think most 13-year-olds have that kind of attention span. Dude, I've seen... Th when it comes to video games and the internet, they have perhaps the longest attention span that there is. They will obsess over something on the internet for years. They have probably, like... They, they, they might have, like, the, the highest attention span of everybody when it comes to, like, online. That's, like, the online majority user base. Hi, Dag. I hope you're well. Thanks. Like, genuinely. Foot cracker? If toes count, I'm definitely a big toe cracker. There we go, finally. Well, I got two Omni Geodes, so it could be worse. Dang needs to play some Family Guy clips and Subway Surfers on the screen, because I can't focus. Should I do that one day? Just put, like, uh... That's actually a really good idea. Just some, like, Subway Surfers gameplay up in the top right, and then, like, a Family Guy... Like, epic! You know what this video I saw one day... That was on my recommended feed, and I don't know why, because I don't generally watch Family Guy clips. <laughs> generally. But it was something like, most offensive Family Guy moments, not for snowflakes, in like, parentheses. And I kind of wanted to click it, just out of like, curiosity. Hey, they drop Omni Geo, it's cool. I kind of wanted to click on it, but I don't think I did, because God knows when you click on one thing like that, it fills your entire YouTube homepage with other similar things to it. And I don't know if I was ready for that. Toxic? I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it's just a fair warning to any uh, snowflakes wanting to watch. I think it's, uh, you know, personally, as a snowflake, I'm very glad that they uh, put that warning uh, content label on there. I'm very happy. I used to work with a kid that didn't know the date time, but could name all the locations on a Fortnite map. How does one not know the date slash time? How do you know, like, what day is a school day? How do you know anything? What do you mean? They don't, like, they, could they, like, not read a clock, maybe? That show is made by a snowflake. Yeah, that's actually so true, isn't it? Yeah. Can I make a bomb? What do you need to make a bomb? Yeah, I can't make a bomb. I'm bombing this shit. Oh my god, ew. Look at all that shit. The boring adult version is ordering my groceries whilst watching. Wait, you're ordering your groceries while watching? Like on, uh, like Instacart. I was thinking about using that, actually. Because I think I got, like, one thing of free grocery delivery with Instacart. I was thinking about using it. But, like, I don't know. I feel like an inherent shame in, like, ordering anything that I could have, like, gone and gotten myself, you know? So, I don't know. That's probably the reason why I haven't. Like, I hate ordering food. I, I really do. I did it the other day when I didn't have any food left. After my meal pl plan meals were all gone for that week. And I felt like shit. 
Even though it was like the first time in like months that I did it, I felt like really bad. Because I just have like this inherent guilt of like ordering food now because I'm like, oh man, I know this isn't good like at all to do. Give me a cape carrot. Directly from the supermarket, the markup on those delivery apps is insane. Well, your supermarkets must be pretty cool to have its own delivery service. No, but I, I got, like, DoorDash, dude, and I'm like, man! It wasn't even that bad, I got, like, a pretty good coupon on it as well, but, like, man, I still felt like shit. Okay, we're not looking, we're looking for secret note number 18, I think. Also, I haven't seen any emeralds, but that's okay. Move to England, bro? Ugh. Uh, no. Goodness. What? No. Are you kidding me? Is that a joke? Okay. Is it a threat, more so? Why would I do that? Iceland and Tesco and Asda do direct delivery. Oh, is that why you're telling me to move to England? Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. This is always this always goes badly. Just fucking re-roll the floors. I don't care. Fucking put me back to level one. I don't care. I was only on like level what six anyway. Why would you move to England? That's ridiculous. What a ridiculous concept. It's chill. I don't know, man. I kind of am a big fan of, like, sunlight, you know? I'm a big fan of, like, sunlight and sobriety. I don't really think England's the place for me. Ah. I hate when the first thing you go to a floor, you hear, Wow! We get really hot summers nowadays? Well, yeah, but, like... I'm not moving to England, alright? You're not gonna convince me, is what I'm trying to say, alright? Such a ridiculous request. I'm not doing that. We will never deny a guest even the most ridiculous request. Um, my health? Oh no, that's my energy that's low. Okay. Why well, do these little guys got so much- The little guys got more fucking HP than the big purple slimes do. What well, this is fucked. Oh no. It's okay if they're both coming at the same direction. If they're both coming at different directions, then it's a problem. Pack up and move your entire life now. Yeah, like, it, on top of everything else, dude, I did just move, you know? Then again, I don't think it was a serious request. At least I sure hope it wasn't. Something is waiting for you, level 100 in the Skull Caverns. That's a permanent HP upgrade. I'd love to- I'd fucking love to get to level 100. I'm really not concerned about doing it, but if I ever on one of these good luck days have like a shit ton of bombs- How do you, um, how do you make the bombs that you load with the slingshot? How do you do that? I don't think I've ever done that before, but you know, that'd actually probably be a really good idea. You buy them. Okay, from where? If you want direct delivery to your door, then move. No, I'm not moving, man. I promise I have more good things going on here that I don't really need. Instant Instacart to my door. You make explosive ammo. Okay, so I don't buy it at all then. Time to go to the wiki? Well, you guys are my wiki, you understand? Marlin. See, this is the problem when they're fucking two different directions. This is when it gets nasty. Alright. I also, um... am looking to get another prismatic shard so that I can get the better sword. I would very much look forward to that, but... I don't know. I'm also not going to go out of my way for it, now that I already have a Prismatic Shard in the museum. Combat level 8 for the recipe, then after you can buy, which is cheaper. What combat level am I at? It's definitely been something that I've been getting up. I'm combat 6. Mining 7, combat 6. Well, I'm actually getting like all my skills up pretty considerably, except for farming. That's actually kind of crazy. I get any more bombs. Can I make any more bombs? Yes, I can. 
Well, that's great news. Because I think these guys drop Omni Geodes, do they not? Or they drop cloth. I don't remember. Alright. Try it. Uh, maybe not. Ghosts drop Omni. Well, I know. I kind of thought that, like, everything had a chance of dropping Omni Geodes. Farming level zero? Well, yeah, because I'm a bad dad. I don't give a shit about farming. I'm a bad dude. I mean, that's uh, this game's so good, is that you can play the game the way that I'm doing, and it's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's not the most efficient. See, they- oh, maybe that was a rock that dropped them. I don't know. I was about to say, I just dropped Omni Geodes. I need more iron ore if I'm gonna make a bomb. I'd rather blow up all that gold with a bomb. Wait, I can make a little bomb, maybe? Yeah, there we go. I can just make a few little bombs. Ever neighbors know that you're making- that you're playing Stardew and that you're not making actual bombs? Well, honestly, if it, like, you know, keeps them on their toes a little bit and maybe makes them act a little bit more... Not that they're bad, but, you know, just... If the threat of me exploding the building... Or they're thinking that I'm going to explode the building... Makes them, like, not make noise past, like, 10 p.m. from here on out, then... You know... I could see that as a good thing. Exactly. Keep them on their toes. Yeah, speaking of that loud electric car, that thing just pulled out, and it was like... Meow. It sounds like the battery in it is going to explode. And that thing, like, is active at night. And I'll be hearing that as I'm trying to fall asleep. 12 o'clock noon sharp, last day of the season. Check the bush above the playground. Holy fucking shit. Whatever could that be? Yeah, exactly. Let it be like a silent fear that they have. The threat of me perhaps bombing the building if they don't act right. Maybe they'll be like, I don't want to mess with that guy. He's crazy. And I'll be like, yeah. This did not seem like a very lucky day, all things considered. Yeah, I know Lewis and Marnie shagging is also in one of the buildings. Yeah, I've seen that one as well. I've seen that one. Shagging. That's a funny word. Ah. I'll kill these ghosts and then we'll leave. Okay. How many Omni Geodes am I at anyway? 11? That's not bad. How many is it to trade for one artifact trove again? How many is it to trade for one artifact trove? Is it three, five more? Ooh, magma geodes as well. Five, okay. Make some bombs, bestie. It's, it's midnight, and I probably need to go home now. Five, okay. I mean, considering artifact troves... I mean, if all I have left at the end of the run is artifact troves, that'll definitely be something I want to do. Hey, Amber, thanks for the two months. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. This guy needs to get home. I can't be worried about making bombs. It was midnight. Now, maybe I should consider doing it. Um, maybe I should consider doing it before I go for the next time, but... Right now, not the best time. Topaz, Quartz, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. We didn't actually get anything straight up that we needed to donate, but hopefully we got a few things from these Omni Geodes, is the hope. We don't need to refine Quartz, that doesn't get donated. Alright, I mean, 14 total Geodes is not bad at all, I'd say. Our luck with the holes and ladders was not very good, but our luck with the Geodes itself was pretty alright. Yay, Diagonal is 56% complete. Yeah, no progress yet today, but let's hope that changes here. Trade Jade for Staircases. That's actually a pretty good idea, and I do do that in a normal playthrough. I try to, at least. I think that's on Thursday as well, that that trade is active. Um... The thing is that I don't think it benefits the run at all to, like, get to a low level in the mines. Unless you're going for level 100 to get the maximum HP upgrade. 
it's not really a concern, though, I don't think for this challenge at all. I don't think you're more likely to get Omni Geodes at a lower level, which is really all I'm there for, you know? I don't wanna, why did I even accept it? All right, we'll kill time until um, Flunts is open. Yeah, they aren't super useful. I don't think getting lower would help at all. I think the money is more valuable, really. It takes long to farm the jades? Well, I mean, you know, if you're, like, pretty active in the Skull Caverns, you'll just collect them passively pretty reliably. They're pretty common. And also, if you have a, um, what's that thing called that duplicates the gems? And that doesn't take too long to duplicate, since jade are not that rare. If you have the, um, Crystallarium, yeah, that'll, like, keep pumping them out. I remember that that's how I did it. Just line up a bunch of Crystallariums, load them with Jades, and then, yeah, you can get 100 Staircases very easily using that method. Get to the level 100 very quickly. Now, he does shame you for getting to level 100 using mostly, um, using mostly Staircases. But, I mean, if you can take it, then, you know, if you're, ooh. You know, if you're like, uh, if you're not a big baby, you know, you can take it. I like to eat. Okay. Good to know. Man, I haven't seen Dagno live in so long. Hang on, let me look at your chat history here. Is that actually true? You haven't seen me live since... Last year in April... Oh my god. And then when you were here in April, you said, Also long time no see. Haven't been here in a bit. You're on like your yearly stream. You're on like your yearly stream, man. Welcome. Hey, so like a once a year appearance. And I guess it's only when I was playing Stardew because going through your chat history, you were commenting about Stardew. So you must only tune in if I play Stardew. Well, happy anniversary. Happy to have you here. Not on purpose? Just one stream a year. Alright, that's good enough. I really like the combat in this game, but I'm not someone who wants the combat in their farm sim. You're not someone who wants combat in their farm sim? Well, a good thing is you don't have to. Well, it is sort of an inconvenience if you don't, though, right? Because you miss out on a lot of stuff. I think I have that. Is that like lemon? Yeah, it's lemon stone. I definitely already have that. Sandstone. I have, apparently. All right. Real winners from Clunt here today. That I think I have. Yeah. That I ha I do not have. That's fairy stone. Yeah, definitely need that. I think it's granite. Yeah. Hey, Stingray, thanks for the 2,000 bits. What the hell? That's another new one. Holy shit, hang on, let me acknowledge this. Longtime YouTube VOD watcher, first time live. Finally got a promotion at work, so here's a thank you for giving me something to entertain ing to listen to while I'm working. Hey, thanks. And congrats on the promotion. And thank you for the 2,000 bits. That's amazing. Thanks so much, and I'm glad to uh, have you around. Appreciate it. Yeah, shoutouts to people who watch, like, you- that's also new. Nice. Shoutouts to people who watch, like, that's also new. People who watch YouTube VODs and Twitch VODs and, like, whatever. I appreciate it. Even if you're not here live. And Michaela and Cheese, thanks for the seven months. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing as well. Thank you. That was a pretty good round of geodes. I must say. That was pretty good. That was four new things, and we started at, what, 54? So yeah, the counter should be right. All right, cool. And thanks, everyone, for the support. I appreciate it. Thank you. Branching out, I see. What do you mean? Playing Stardew instead of Animal Crossing? Stardew is still within that realm of, like, safe games. You know, I was watching another streamer today who had the very similar problem that I did in regards to, um... You know what I should do? I should buy the minecarts now. I should buy the minecarts. And a very similar problem that I do in regards to, like, branching out from their safe games, quote-unquote. Um, my safe games, as far as... And what I mean by a safe game is what I, is what I would say is, like, um, 
a game that I know I can play on stream and people will enjoy and I will enjoy. Basically, it's entertaining for me and for other people that watch as well. So am I really branching out a lot by playing Stardew instead of Animal Crossing? No, because it's within that realm of safe games that I like to play, you know? Yeah, it's kind of in the family, right? So I'm not branching out to the extent that I would like, honestly, because um, I really want to be a streamer that just goes live and plays whatever the fuck they want. And people just watch, like, without question. Because, you know, that's my streamer or whatever. I don't know. Oops. I'd love that, because it would really take a lot of the pressure off of me always having to stay within my realm of safe games. Yeah, you could, but you're acting like I'm going to get the same viewership amongst all of those. And you're like, oh, don't think about the viewership. Well, it's the bottom line, though, you know? Yeah, but the Guinness World Record game was, like, funny in just a one-off, you know? It was just, like, a funny one-off. Uh, let me check my luck. I mean, if it is a good day, I guess I could go do another round, right? No, it's not good, though. Let me get a bunch of bombs, uh, made. It's just iron and coal, right? Let's just get a bunch of bombs made for the next time that we want to go. It makes sure that we keep collecting iron, because I guess that's important. Stream Sakura Neko Calculator. I will never. I will never. Good job, boys. Shoutouts to my guys over here. This guy's got a name. You're the only person I watch live. You could play anything and I'd watch. Alright, I'll remember that. Morris making sure his workers don't take breaks. Dude, you can see it like that, or you can see it as Morris is out there with his boys when most, like, store regional managers wouldn't give a shit, you know? Like, that dude is out there supervising his boys when he doesn't have to be. He doesn't have to be out there. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to be a Morris apologist, but I'm just saying, like, most bosses would not be out there in the dead of night watching those guys work. They would just let them do it. Go go home to my wife and kids in my mansion. You know? Oof, are you pro-Morris? Yeah, does that make me problematic? Am I a problematic white person now? White male? Yeah, I like Morris. In fact... I am, I am Mary. I'm gonna install a mod where I marry Morris. Yeah, I think I will, actually. Have we opened the bus stop? Yes, yes, we have. Well, the good thing is that now I can just go to... Where are the places that this thing goes to? Right, not the quarry, because while I have been there... Technically, um, I haven't unlocked it yet, so whatever. I'm appalled at this Morris stand. Well, you know, I really wasn't that pro Morris until I saw him out there when they were repairing the bus and now repairing the minecart. And I don't know, it's just nice to see him out there supervising, you know? It's just really nice to see him out there working with his boys. It just really tickles my heartstrings, you know? A boss who cares. That's what that tells me. A boss who cares. That, that just, you know, I like that. He's a control freak. He's slimy. No, he's not slimy, dude. I'm sure he's a very clean man. He doesn't seem like the worst boss. No, he doesn't, dude. If you have had a boss... If you've never had a boss that's worse than Morris, then you haven't had enough bosses, or you've gotten very lucky, I will say. Because Morris, all things considered, is not that bad. I'm gonna kiss him on the mouth, sensually. Kiss him? Yeah, I think I will. I think I fucking will. Do it? You won't. Well, I need the Kiss Morris mod. Is there a mod out there? Is there a... You know, okay. So, I would sooner believe that there is a... That there may not be a Kiss Morris mod because the people of the Stardew community are 
Well, all right. Yeah, I would never fu fucking. St I hate Morris. He's stupid. But you know, despite that, I bet you there's one mod about a Morris that exists out there because I know the Stardew fandom. It's probably a big titty Morris mod. There's probably a big titty Morris mod. I would sooner believe that there's a big titty Morris mod than there is a, like a kiss Morris mod out there. I'd sooner believe that somebody would rather see him with big badonkadonks than give him a smooch, you know? There's a Mary Morris mod. I, I have no doubt about it, to be honest with you. I'm not going to get big titty Morris mod, though. I don't think I'm going to do that. I want to see Morris in full drag. What would Morris's drag name be? Anyone got some ideas? It'd have to be like something with Joja. Like, uh... I don't know, I feel like he'd be like, uh... Joja Queen? What about like jo Joja Cat? Joja Cat. That's it, right? That has to be it. Joja Cat. Right? Joja Cat, let's go! That's good, right? I like that. And he'll be like, Rrr, some shit like that. I don't know, he's really gotta play it up, you know? Ah, I hate facing these guys when they're coming at me from the bottom. Ladder. That's his name now. Yeah, we gotta make that a mod. Why do you purr so well? Years of experience, my friend. Years of experience. Alright, good. Um, I hate this floor, and I hate everything about it. And I hate myself, most importantly. Yeah, if you wanna, like, go up against the wall there, that'd be fine. This thing does not swing fast enough to keep this guy... Okay, good. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Joja Martini? No, it's Joja Cat, dude. I like Joja Cat. Oh, man, these fucking floors are ass, man. Fuck it. These are the worst floors I've ever seen. I also don't have, like, any of these floors. I have, like, a bunch of rocks all together so that I can pop a bomb in the middle of them. This one looks like no exception. Okay. I don't like this. I don't like it. I want to bomb it. Run. The bomb doesn't do shit for damage. There's a serpent up here. Where did it go? I saw it. I saw the serpent, dude. You're not fooling me. It didn't die. There it is, you son of a bitch. What's my health looking like? Not terrible. Alright, it's fine. Thank god for that crit. This is the worst floors I've ever seen. What do you call your fans? What are we? Uh, I don't know. We've, we've talked about this before, and I don't think we ever come to a consensus anytime. Um... Because, like, I'm not, like... I mean, I'm not, like, a big names guy. If I did have a name for you guys, I would never use it. Because I don't like names for, like, a group of followers. I don't like it. I don't know. It, like, it's not cringe, because I don't like using that word. But, like, it's, like... I, it's just... I, I don't know. It feels culty? Yeah, maybe that's a little bit why. Maybe it feels, like, culty. What's up, Tamar? How are you doing? Yeah, you're just the chatters, dude. You guys, you chat. That's all you do. That's all I need you to do. You're just the chatters. The blokes, maybe. If I were to tell you anything, you'd probably be the blokes. Like, you're, you're my blokes, you know? I like that. The goobers. Well, no, like, some of you are more goober than others. Some of you are very not goobery. So, I don't know. I don't feel like I'd feel like that would be accurate for a lot of you. Hey, it's supposed to be a bunch of barrels down here. 
You can be King Goober? Well, I'm, I'm not a goo. I'm very serious. Run. Okay. I feel like I can get a hole out of this. When there's not a whole lot of rocks, I feel like there's a higher chance of getting a hole for every rock that you break. But maybe that is flawed logic. I have no idea. Eat. Yeah, like, I don't want to be like, what's going on, Dag Nation? No, like, that just sounds... That's embarrassing, alright? To even joke about. That's embarrassing to even joke about. You're just the chatters. And I think that you should revel in just being the chatters. I think that that's fine. I only have two Omni Geodes. A little lame. Okay, that helps. Alright. Every rock... Is, is there guaranteed to be a hole every floor? I guess we're gonna find out, right? I guess not, because unless it's in these three... Man, this, like, once again, does not seem like a very lucky day, despite the TV saying it was. Ah, I knew that blasted TV is so stupid. I eh, don't think it's worth blocking. Fake news on TV once again. Yeah, it's looking like it. It's looking like it. Misinformation on TV. You truly hate to see it. There's a predictor for that, but it's a bit annoying to use. Ah, so I did use that predictor website. So somebody in my Discord linked, a, like, a, uh... Linked a website where... Ooh, where it can, like, predict what the next... What, like, what is gonna be on what floor, for example. Um, just as an example. Like, in the Skull Caverns, are you gonna get, like, one of those dinosaur floors? Are you gonna get, like, a uh, fucking... Are you gonna get, like, a mushroom floor, I guess? Those exist. And, like, what are your treasure rewards gonna be on those floors? If you have, like, a chest on those floors, it'll tell you that. It was kind of crazy, but I almost feel like it's sort of cheating to use because it can tell you another thing that it can do. Ooh, a farm warp totem is very good. It can tell you, among other things, what you're going to get from geodes that you crack, which that is just huge information. If I can just look up to see what is going to be in like my upcoming geodes, that's kind of like huge. So, I think I'm gonna, like, not use that for the moment. I will never say that I won't use it at all, ever. Because who knows what I'll resort to if I'm down to, like, two or three three things remaining. And I'm trying to do anything to get them donated, you know? I won't promise that I won't use it towards the end of this challenge. But for right now, I'm gonna put it on hold. Keep it as something for later. Hey, Blue Sweetheart, thanks for the 17 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Just go down. What are you going to do with the info? If you crack it, you're going to get that nonetheless? If you Okay, so no, because the way that I understand it is that it's really complicated. So your next geode that you crack, of course, can be one of, like, many geodes in the game. And you will have a guarantee to get something if you crack that particular kind of geode. But if you, pr if you crack another geode, then the next... Let's say I go to the Klunts, to, and this is... Okay, I know, I, this is fucking confusing. If I go to Klunts and I crack this Omni geode, but... Wait, what the heck is this? It's, like, not very good. Level 8, oh, it's a dagger. I don't want a dagger. Well, I mean, I don't know. If it's a dagger and it's doing that damage, it might be better, like, DPS than the Obsidian Edge. I don't know, but daggers are risky. Okay, so I go to Klentz to get an Omni Geode crack, and I know that the next thing I get from an Omni Geode is um, a Prismatic Shard, for example. Um, however, the next thing that I get from a Magma Geode, if I go to Klentz, is a piece of Obsidian, for example. You can choose one or the other. Let's say you need both of those. So you'd say, okay, do do this one and then do that one. No. Because as soon as you do the Omni Geode, then the, it rolls to the whatever the next would be in the Magma Geode. So you either miss the Obsidian or you miss the Prismatic Shard, which whenever, whichever one. That's the way that I understand how it works, but I could be completely wrong. 
And that sort of throws a complication in things when you have two upcoming cracks that will give you two things that you need. You have to choose which one you want more. No, you're correct. Yeah, and oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I hate this shit so much. This is so fucking annoying. When you get like three of them and you just like have no chance. If you get them all in a line, then it's fine like that. See what that does. Yeah, I think we just leave this floor. This floor is nasty. Oh yeah, I gotta keep getting iron as well. I like the way Concerned Ape did RNG in this game. It's very classic video game RNG. I mean, this game really does feel like, you know, I mean, I guess it is kind of an old game at this point, but it does feel like a, like a sort of retro game in many ways, you know, and I really like the way that he did it. Then again, I don't know how most games do RNG, so I like the way that Animal Crossing does random chance, you know, but maybe that's just like the way to do it. Maybe they didn't even do anything special, you know, I don't know, though. Sort of, that stuff, like, when people data mine games, that stuff is, like, fascinating to me to see, like, how random odds are predicted, or at least seemingly random things are predicted by the game, you know? That sort of stuff is really cool to me. Only RNG I'm familiar with is Pokemon and Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, Pokemon is kind of cool as well in regards to, like, shinies and stuff like that. You fell eight levels. Youch! Have you guys ever fallen more than, like, eight levels? I feel like falling... I know you can do up to 15, but I feel like it's super rare to fall, like, 15. Like, I think you have to have enough HP to be able to survive the fall, so maybe that's why. But I feel like you rarely ever fall more than, like, five. I fell 12 once. I feel like I've done, like, big falls before, but it's very rare. I, I always thought it was, like, a similar chance to fall 3 as it is to 15, assuming you have the HP to fall both of them. Maybe the more HP you have, the more you'll fall. Because maybe it has, like, a safe amount of HP that you want when you land. How do you get the green dwarf scroll? I don't know. What's the green one? I, I need a number. I think that's 4, right? 4 you can get by... I think any enemy can drop the dwarf scroll 4, just at a very small chance. But you can also get it from tilling soil in the mines, I think. I fell 30? Hmm. Dwarf Scroll 2? Well, I've already gotten Dwarf Scroll 2. That's, uh... What would that be under? Artifacts, right? Oh yeah, that is Dwarf Scroll 2. I don't know. I, I honestly just got it at random, and I was like, oh, okay. Oftentimes, I have to farm for Dwarf Scrolls because I don't get them all, just naturally. And, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. I tried three hours to get it. Oh, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, it sucks. I hate getting the Dwarf Scrolls. They're one of the most annoying collectibles in the game if you don't get it naturally. I mean, I guess that kind of goes for anything, right? Because, like, I don't know. I've never completed the museum in this game. But I've also never made the conscious effort with which to do so either. And so I imagine we're going to get to like 10 things left to donate. And instead of just hoping that I randomly stumble across them, like I have most everything else that I've donated, it's going to get to the point where I actually have to like consciously start looking for that thing. And it's going to get really annoying. Frost bats also drop it. I mean, a lot of things, as it turns out, a lot of things drop a lot of things is kind of what I'm learning by doing this run. A lot of things drop a lot of things, and to get anything, everything in the museum has multiple ways of getting it. Absolutely everything. Everything has multiple ways of getting it. It's sort of like, kind of annoying, but at least it's nice to know that I have a higher chance of getting something. I at least have a chance of just getting something that might be rare just by playing the game. Like that first uh, Strange Doll, for example. That, you usually want to wait until you get one of the secret notes, but I just got it, like, through pure coincidence. Oh, Crab Cakes is kind of awesome. It's speed and defense. No point in using it now, since it's so late, and I'm going to want to get out of here in a second. Um, but, good to have. 
I do have a warp totem to the farm. Also, I have not seen any more emeralds, which is kind of blowing my mind. I haven't seen any more emeralds. But, I mean, whatever. If that's the last thing that I need is emeralds, I'd be very happy. Because those are not hard to get. What's up, Serena Marini and Mom? How are you guys doing? Um, I'd like to kill this ghost. I'd like to kill this ghost. And these mummies, for that matter. But I don't have bombs, so... Um, I really shouldn't have, like, cornered myself here, should I? Really was not a smart idea, was it? These mummies hit hard, too, I'm pretty sure. So, like, if you get hit by these, I might be in some real trouble. Alright, the ghost died. Um, I think get out, right? I'll use the mountain one, because it's a little bit less convenient than the farm. <clears throat> Speaking of rare drops, I remember the first time I got a Prisma Shard, I passed out, and it was one of the things stolen from my inventory. I had never felt devastation so severe. Was that before you could do the item recovery service? Because I feel like that was a pretty recent thing, is the item recovery service. I feel like that was not always something you could do. So yeah, I'd be real sore if that was, like, before you could recover it. I, you, you know what's something in this game that I think is an objectively, and there's not many of them, there's not many things that I think in this game are objectively bad decisions. But I think the fact that you can lose your galaxy sword, you know, the one that you use to get a prismatic shard and then you, you know, do the thing in the desert, that is an objectively bad decision. Does anyone like that? That you can lose your galaxy sword when you die? I think that that's really silly. I think that that's really silly, personally. I don't know, but that's like, that's, if that's the biggest complaint about this game, then I guess all things considered, not too bad, right? You can lose your weapon, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, it, it's happened to me before, I remember. Oh, I got my stupid teacup. It's happened to me before, not in a long time, though. So I was like, oh, maybe they fixed it, but no, I think I still see people complain about it happening. Really, like, really wish it didn't do that. In fact, here's a proposal. What if things on your main... Things on the top bar here, I think should be immune from being lost when you die. I think is a good compromise. Maybe it's already been fixed. I don't know if it's even something that's fixed. I think if something's in your top bar, it should be, like, a high-priority thing that you shouldn't lose. Everything else in the bottom two is fair game. But then you can switch bars around. No, I'm talking about, like, I know you can do this. But I'm talking about the top bar. You see how there's a gap in between the first and the second and third row? If something's on that first row... Well, I guess it does change it if you tab. Well, I guess. I guess you can manipulate it by, like, changing the tab at the last second. But honestly, if you do that, you deserve to keep your shit because you're, like, galaxy brain. I don't really care, Pierre. I don't really care, Pierre. Hey, thanks, James Parkin, for the three months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm glad that you are loving the streams. What are you question marking me about? In the next major update, Concerned Ape is supposed to be removing that so you don't lose any weapons slash tools. Well, you already don't lose tools. I've never lost tools like pickaxes, hoes, axes. That would be a huge oversight if they let you lose those because there's no way to get those back once you lose them. Is it even worth like trying to like, I kind of want to look at this thing. I wonder if it's any good. I kind of want to try it because like that damage and when you can do that attack where you go like Bruh! might actually be pretty good. But again, it's like really risky because you have to be so close. Really risky. Hey, man, you're so cool. Thanks. That sounds like I paid you to say that. Rice shoots. Yeah. I've never played Straw Do. That's oh, a good game. You should give it a try. People ask me, like, is this game worth it? Like, yeah, it, it's worth it. There's no, like, I can't, I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you of the fact it just is, you know? 
Like when it comes to Animal Crossing, people be like, oh, is Animal Crossing worth it? Or, you know, more commonly, is the Animal Crossing DLC, Happy Home Paradise DLC worth it? Yeah, I could actually like weigh the pros and cons of that one because those are $60 and $20 respectively. And, you know, those are actually a good chunk of change for games that I think could be improved on a lot. You know, we could actually, we, 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 we could actually waffle about that for a good long time about whether those are worth it. This one, there's no point in waffling. It just is. There's no point. Just get it. Get the game. There's no, don't even ask the question. You should already have purchased the game. You know? Thanks for being good background noise while I have a mental breakdown. Am I the cause of the mental breakdown? I hope not. Make a 57 minute video essay about it and I'll watch. Yeah, and I'm also going to put a mid-roll every single fucking minute as well. Yeah. I think I will. It's 10 pounds on the eShop. Yeah, so like normally, and it's always on sale as well. Game's always on sale. It's absolutely worth it at full price, let alone on sale. Okay, really good bangers from Clint here today. Oh, dude, he's just killing it. Oh, he is just killing it. Yes, please, keep on, please, show me nothing. Mm-hmm, yeah, you already gave me that. Oh, wow, this guy is really on a roll today. Holy shit, call him Butter, because he is on a roll. Wow. Oh, wow, would you look at that, finally. If I can get one more thing? No, okay. Well, it's better than nothing. Uh, it's better than nothing. What is this anyway? I don't know. Surely I'm gonna get this, uh... Wait, hang on, how many is it before you get the key? I feel like I should have gotten, like, a Gunther cutscene when I got to, like, 50, right? Am I crazy? I feel like I should have got a Gunther cutscene by now. Whoa, that one was almost a trash can lid. 60. Oh, so I'm one away from getting the Gunther cutscene. The one where you can access the sewer, right? Yeah. I don't know what benefit that will provide, but... Maybe some things are... Like, I think those... You know those green bugs that are in the sewer? I think those actually drop... Like, dwarf scrolls and shit. So if I'm, like, really desperate for some dwarf scrolls, I might resort to the going there. So maybe it could have some usefulness. It could have some usefulness. I don't know. Um, goodbye. I, I was gonna be like, oh, sell it to the guild, but they don't pay shit for shit anyway. Uh, check my luck today as well. I feel so bad for missing Queen of the Sauce, dude. I religiously watch Queen of the Sauce. Even though I, like, barely ever cook anything. Anyone got the same problem where they, like, cannot miss fucking Queen of the Sauce, and then you never cook anything? That's my ass. Ah, another very good luck day. We're getting very lucky with our luck today. <sighs> I wish you could have negative friendship points. I would want Clunt to be my nemesis. Where am I at with old Clunt? Damn! He's top four?! I mean, of course, I have zero stars with anyone, but I wonder why Robin? Yeah, I talked to her once at the very beginning of the game, and then never again. Uh, you know why it is, and this is another mechanic I'm not a huge fan of. Um, man, what if this fucking shit happened to you in real life, where it just said your name and then single? Like, what if you just had that, like, hovering over your head? That you were single. Would, that, would you like that, or would you hate that? I don't know. Like, imagine. Like, someone just, like, looks you up in, like, whatever fucking shit. And it just says, Old Dagnal Streamer. Single. Married. It's complicated. That'd be, like, I think mortifying more than anything. Uh, thanks Darth Fluffyface for the five months. I got off work so I can join the stream. I'm glad I subbed you again. It's been a fun time with you guys. Hey, thanks. Been fun having you here. Appreciate it. Yeah, it literally Facebook in real life. It's complicated. In an open relationship. What are the other ones? I haven't had Facebook in years, dude. 
Drink the water? Sure. At least people can't lie about that stuff. I guess it would, you know, stop some people from being like, yeah, I'm single, and it says, uh-uh, no, you're not. Could help reduce the number of people lying about being married and having an affair. I mean, I guess, man, but like... I kind of, you know, I actually had a, I had a discussion with my therapist about this a couple of weeks ago. Where... We were talking about, um... How people, other people, like, uh, you know, they act obnoxious as a front to, like, to distract from their, like, uh, insecurities and stuff like that. So he joked around and said, like, what if all their insecurities were, like, displayed on, like, a big screen that was hovering over their head? And you could see, like, what somebody's, like, net worth was, like where they live, what their job is, etc., etc. Of course, it's like a completely ridiculous hypothetical, but I don't know. We were discussing that as a way of saying like, hey man, just because people act like they're better than you doesn't mean that they are necessarily, you know? Sounds like a Black Mirror episode. It does sound like some dystopian shit, right? Yeah, like a global dox. I could see like their whole name and everything. I would need a really big screen then. Why? Because you your net worth is like one hundred billion dollars. You'd need like a bunch of room fit all the zeros, right? That's what you meant, right? If that's the case, I would like a tier three sub place. I'd even be interested to see my own screen. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, man, what would my screen of insecurities tell about me? Yeah. I'd be curious to see. I wouldn't want it displayed to the public, but I'd be like, hmm, what would what would my what would my shit say? As if I'm not already well aware of my own problems. You should give Pam a beer before every. That's actually a great idea. It would it would be well no because the 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 poop doesn't open until like noon right so I kind of got to get here pretty quickly. That is a good idea if I can go down to, like, the, the restaurant and get a beer real quick before we go on the ride, but sadly I'd miss, uh, I'd miss getting the most amount of time in the mines as possible. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, I didn't make more fucking bombs. God darn it. Rats and blast and gosh darn it. Rats. Well, that's a big mistake. Oh, well, well, already got some geodes. Finally caught another stream. Welcome, Oddly Drawn Muse. The more I drink, the mo more coherently I think. Yeah, isn't that like the same line of logic that people are like, uh, that gets people like DUIs because they think that they're a better driver when they're drunk? I don't really know if I, uh... I don't really know about that. Okay. I mean, dude, if I was here for Iridium... <laughs> If I was here for Iridium, man. Whew. How are you doing, Dag and all? Yeah, I'm alright. How about you? Not fucking bad at all. There we go. You fell five levels. See, at full HP, you still don't drop for shit. Oh no, I got one of the swirly levels. God damn it, get me out of here. If I get to the middle with all those crates, I guess it's not a horrible thing, but... Oh, no. Fuck these stupid-ass levels. And God knows a serpent's gonna fucking spawn in, like, the five hours that it takes to get to the middle. God knows a serpent's gonna spawn. I like these guys. They just chill. Can't kill them? I mean, they. I was gonna say they can't kill you, but they absolutely can if you just, you know, run into them. Be pretty hard, though. Ah, yeah, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, no, that's, like, five serpents. Just immediately, and this guy is not cooperating with me. I, I, I don't know what to do. They're both facing different directions. Get me out of here. Getting very lucky with the ladders today. Holy smokers. I'm very lucky with the ladders. And the Omni Geodes, for that matter, despite the fact that I have no bombs. What the heck is that? Steel level 8 sword. Wait, that might be better. 30 to 45. It's a little bit less and also a little bit more damage. And it has speed and crit power. They, okay, that's just, like, better than every way. What the fuck? Okay, maybe the range is a little bit worse, but... 
What the hell? That was just a much better sword. Just straight up. Wow, okay. I'll absolutely take that. Now I'm not so keen on getting the um, Galaxy Sword right away. Although, if I get a Prismatic Shard, of course I will. Yeah, a new sword just fucking dropped. Just get me out of here, honestly. Hang on, let's give it a test here. I don't, I don't really remember how much the last one was doing against the Serpent, but... I'm hoping that this is equal, if not more. It, sh it said the crit power was better as well, so I'm going to assume that either means that it does more for a crit, or it crits more often. I don't really know what that means. Game's very vague with that stuff. I don't really know. One of them did drop a bomb, though. Oh yeah, I was eating these crab cakes as well. I've been sitting on these crab cakes. It'd be a good time to eat them. Right? Do I still have them? Yeah. There we go. It's gonna, like, fill up my health and energy. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I'm so fast! Oh, and I'm so fast! It's definitely faster to swing, which is huge against these slimes. Like, this is so much faster to swing this thing. That's so huge. Oh, this is such a nice sword. Oh, my god. What a nice sword. I don't think I've ever had this thing before. A steel foul chain or whatever the hell it was. Jeez, I'm faster than the goddamn serpents now. I think it means crit power. Yeah, I think it means how much damage it does when you crit. Which I don't know if that's more or less often or the same as the last sword was, but I don't know. And a spicy eel is huge as well. That's defense and luck. Now luck, we know it's speed and luck. Would I rather the defense and luck? Well, let's wait until we're low on HP so that we don't like kind of waste it, you know? Let's wait until we're lower on HP. I mean, fuck it, dude. I feel like I can, like, kill anything now. Falkeon. Falkeon. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, my dryer's done. It's yelling at me. I don't know why. I took my shit out of my washing machine, and it was, like, sopping fucking wet. So, I don't know. I'm hoping that that shit is actually dry. Not that I'm going to change it right now. I'm just going to let it sit there. And get all wrinkly and shit and moly and nasty. Learned it from Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh, okay. You put your shit in a washing machine? You put shit in a washing machine? Wait, are you talking about, like, physical, like, turds? No. Get a fucking dryer? Dude, that's what I'm saying is going off right now. And also, that's expensive, man. I'd feel real- I'd feel real sore about that comment if I, like, needed a dryer really badly and I couldn't afford one. And you're like, oh, just get a fucking dryer, dude. Alright, I'd be real cross with you right now. But I'm not, because I have a dryer. Hang on, I think I have a bomb. Yeah, this is a good- this is a good bomb spot. Also, like, yeah, like, I could hand dry it, or, or like, uh, ooh! I think that might be... Is that 18, I think? Hang on. Yeah, that's it. That's the one that where you, we can get the other secret, or the uh, other ancient doll. Not ancient doll, but strange doll. So that's the other strange doll, the one that we haven't gotten yet. That's huge. Alright, that's the secret note we've been looking for. That's the secret note that we've been looking for. So we'll have to get that at some point. Literally, whenever we feel like it. It's not going nowhere. Alright, cool. And I got more Omni Geodes. And I feel like I can make more bombs. Yes, I can. Hit it with my... right there. Nice. Yeah, like, I could, ha I could like, hang them outside, but I don't know. I feel like... I, I don't... Oh, Jesus Christ. Christmas me. Um, I don't know, I don't feel like I want to hang, like, my underwear outside. I don't know. Everything else, fine. Not my underwear. I wouldn't want to do that. Mostly, like, mostly not to subject other people to that, you know? And also, I don't even know if that's allowed in my apartment. It's like hanging your clothes outside. Is that even allowed? Alright, I think it's time for spicy eel. Last night, my boyfriend sucked. Alright, hang on. I have to read the rest of that comment when I'm finished here. 
All I know is last night your boyfriend sucked something, dude. Sucked something real nasty and sloppy. I'm sure it's something, like, very innocent and not, like, you know... Hang on, but I can't read it right now. All I know is, man, your boyfriend was going to fucking town on something, dude. Woo, doggy! Oh my goodness gracious was he going to town. Alright, anyway. Um, sucked the wasps infected our attic out of our ceiling with a shop vac. Oh, okay. That's crazy. That's wild. Huh! I really thought that comment was going somewhere else. Oh, doggy. Damn, 102? Pretty good. Oh, doggy, Ms. Molly. Eradicating wasps is doing God's work. You're gonna get someone in here, dude. Some wasp apologist is gonna come in here and say, Oh, no, wasps are good for this reason. Don't fucking believe it, dude. I don't believe it for a second. Not for a fucking second. They're gonna say that it's good because, like, it helps control, like, the bat population or some shit like that. No, I don't believe it. Alex is bullshit. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to be here in this floor, dude. I hate these floors so fucking much. Also, I'm kind of running a little low on health. We love the bees, hate the wasps. I think you can make a t-shirt out of, like... I don't, okay, I'm trying, like, I'm trying to think about it in my head while also trying to focus on not dying, which is kind of hard to do. But, like... I... I save the bees so I can go to the bees. But, like, the bees, in the context of the second bees, is Applebee's. And have it be, like, in this badass font, maybe with, like, a cool skull holding a gun or some shit like that. You better save the bees, motherfucker, so I can keep going to the bees. Like, because the implication is, of course, as it would be very obvious on that shirt, that without bees, there would not be any honey mustard flavored wings at the Applebee's. Which, you know, if that's not a good enough reason to save the bees, I don't know what is. That's why I, that's why I'm doing it for. And, like, you, like, maybe make, like, the second bees, like, the Applebee's logo or some shit like that. Save the bees for the bees, you know. I feel like somebody who has more time and creativity on their hands right now could think of something very funny to do with this idea. But not me, who's under great duress and has the creativity of a fucking... Eradicated fire ant. That was a lot of shit that that one slime dropped. Don't hit me. And don't slime me, most importantly. Without bees, we wouldn't have the critically acclaimed masterpiece Bee Movie. Didn't Jerry Seinfeld, like, apologize for the sexual themes of that movie? How, like, the human wanted to fuck the bee or some shit like that? Honestly, he should have embraced that, dude. He really should have. He really should have embraced that. He shouldn't have apologized for that. That was a silly reason to apologize. I think he was like, yeah, I'm sorry that, like, we kind of made the human want to, like, that lady, like, fuck the bee. Fuck Barry. I'd want to fuck the bee, too. It's only natural, right? It's just, you know, it's just boys being boys. Alright, almost done. Alrighty, I love those levels. They're my favorite. Haha. -ha. Wonderful. All that, and I didn't even get a chance to get an Omnigeode or anything. I guess you get Iridium, but oh boy. Be gone. Thank you. I don't know. Cock a bomb right there. Rats. Oh, I have a ladder. My, like, index finger is starting to hurt because of how rapidly I'm pressing this mouse because of how quickly this sword swings. So, actually, I hate, kind of hate this sword. It's making my little fingy hurt. Hang on. <laughs> if someone gave me one of these things, I'd melt. All right. Ah, these floors. This one is always easy to find a ladder, but it doesn't really give you much. My friend once convinced our teacher that Barry B. Benson was a basketball player. Dude, why are you messing with your teacher, man? They don't get paid enough to fall for your tomfoolery. They don't get paid enough to, like, look a fool for you, okay? 
Give them a break. They don't know Barry B. Benson. They don't watch kids' movies, all right? I bet you all laughed at them, and I bet they cried. I bet that they went home that day and cried because the entire class was laughing at them for thinking that Barry B. Benson is a basketball player. I bet they're crying right now, still, to this day. Be nice to your teachers, all right? Dag, please click the link that Tandem posted. The hell is this? The fuck is this? Hang on a second. What the fuck? Is... What is this? Truck fucker. That's right, I fuck my truck. My truck is my girlfriend and we have sex in splatted white font. The government will not recognize our union, but to me, truck love is true love. Truck fucker. With a strange, mysterious white liquid coming out of the exhaust pipes here. Alright. And that was like, I had to look at that. Like, I just, it was absolutely 1000% critical that I saw that in that moment. It was, I had to click that link. It wasn't, Dag, oh, you should look at that link. It was, Dag, you have to click this link. And I had to see that now. Like, that was absolutely mandatory that I see that. Truck fucker. I treat her right. It made you a better person. Yeah, it might have. Even just marginally, it might have made me a better person. You have to get it. No, I do not have to get it. <laughs> I don't have to do anything, as it turns out. Oh, an auto growl! That's huge! If I did any farming... Damn, can I sell that? That's probably a good bit of money. Those things are expensive. What the hell? That's a huge... Like, it's so sad that it's in such, like, a useless playthrough to get it. But, holy smokers, that's a great pickup. You can buy... I know you can buy them. Can you sell them at Marnie's, though? Because I don't really want it. If I get that, it would be the new prison shirt? Yeah, it probably would, actually. You guys would be like, Oh, where's the truck fucker shirt, truck fucker? You fell eight levels. Youch! Click the link if you like Jesus. Don't click the link if you like Satan. Oh, man, taking me back to the good old days of Facebook. Where it was like... Like, I remember that I would have... I had a bunch of religious friends. I lived in the South, for goodness sakes. Yeah, I was about to say. Not fooling me. I lived in the South, and so I had a bunch of religious friends that would always repost stuff on Facebook that's like, Share if you're not afraid to show your timeline that you have faith in the Lord. And it would be like this low-quality image of Jesus doing something. Very white Jesus. Always white. Always had to be white. Good Lord if he wasn't white. God help you. Um, can I get a ladder or a hole? My mom still does that. I'm glad to see that Facebook hasn't changed much in the years since I've been on it. I'm glad to see, really. It, it does warm my little heart. I hated those posts. Well, I don't know. It's like... Whatever makes people happy, dude. I, I don't know. The way that I see faith as a whole is... Sorry to any faiths in chat. I feel like I just made you like, what? What, what did I do? Um, the way I see faith as a whole is, like, whatever makes people happy, you know? Oh, there's an emerald! Nice! Alright, cool. Uh, we can get out now. Whatever makes people happy, you know? If, if reposting that on their Facebook timeline is, is what makes them happy, then so be it, you know? It's no skin off my screwed. I just, you know... Like, whatever. It's when people make their religion, make their decisions, is where it becomes a problem. I draw a line at making things shit for others. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. All right. Um, Coolio. Well, we did at least get one thing to donate. We got seven geodes, six omni, two, or one magma. 
And we got a new sword, which is, like, huge. Fuck that sword. It sucks. Uh, I can sell one emerald. Donate the other. Amethyst, ruby, jade for staircases. It's not necessary. That, 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 that. We didn't have bombs going into that either, so all things considered, that could have been a lot worse. And then this auto-grabber. I don't have to find something to do with this auto-grabber. You can sell those emeralds for money. Well, I sold one. That's good enough, right? Dude, we're getting five grand. Well, not five grand every time, but like three to five grand every trip, which is kind of good for like, you know, I don't know. It's just nice to have money. Ah, uh, the flower dance. Ah, brilliant. Wonderful. Is Marnie's open on Tuesday? Now that I think about it, isn't that one of her like five, six days off a week that she takes? I'm raking in the pesos, yeah. Raking in the rupees would have been better there. Thanks to the hydrate. No, but actually, is she off on Tuesdays? Because I'd like to see if I can sell that to her. If not, I guess I'll just fucking get rid of it, but whatever. Marnie's never worked a day in her life? Well, alright, look now, Buster. Alright, if... Look, like, one day a week is still working, alright? Oh, that's right, she goes to the workout, she goes to do Pilates with the girls. They do a little girls' night at the community center, or at the, whatever it's called. You're right, they totally do. That's on Tuesdays. Right, that means Robin, Marnie, Tuesday's a horrible day. You know, people give Wednesday shit, because Pierre's is closed on Wednesdays. But, you know, at least his ass, you know, stays open on Wednesdays after you do the community center. Them girls be going to Tuesdays. Tuesdays, man. Marnie, Robin, both closed on Tuesdays. Shit is annoying as hell. I think that might be worse. Prehistoric rib. 60. Actually, 61, because I got this emerald as well. And I forgot to update it. Yeah, so we're going to get the Gunther cutscene tomorrow, I think. The one where he's like, here's the key to the sewers. Cool. Girls and Har- Does Harvey go to the Pi Pilates as well? Really? Interesting. I feel like his hours are the worst in the game as Harvey's, as if he needed any more reason to hate him. She stares at her microwave meal in the microwave for like eight hours in the evening? Wait, who does? Wait, I kind of relate to that. Alright, Gunt. Here you go, my friend. Emerald prehistoric rib. Look at that. Oh, Marnie. Classic. Um, I don't want any of these. Alright. Well, that's 61 things donated. Now we wait for Clunt. Gunther the Gooner. He's not a goon. Dude, I wanted to marry Marnie in my, like, one of my first playthroughs as well before I realized you can't. If there were two more, let's say one male, one female person in this game that you would like to add as a marriage candidate, who would it be? You Sometimes I wonder if, like, Concerned Ape will ever add another, like, townsperson to this game because, I don't know, I feel like we've had the same lineup ever since the game first came out. Ooh, do I need that? No, I don't. Linus? Linus is probably maybe my choice as well. Okay, that's another one. Gunther and Sandy. I think Linus and Sandy, there's another one, is probably maybe my two that I would choose. Linus and Sandy. Although I don't think Linus wants to be married, so I don't know. It probably wouldn't fit the story very well if you could marry Linus. It pro I don't think he would want to be married, because that would require, like, a domestic partnership, which I feel like he just does not want, you know? Alright, 63. What do we got for the rewards this time? Ah, oh, the crystal chair. Oh, brilliant. Nice. Okay, good. Would we start today at 54? I'm making pretty good progress today. Alright, and we can go back to the bus stop, and if we have a good luck day, then we can go straight back to the skull caverns. Yeah, Krobus can live with you. I don't really know if I'll count Krobus. The wizard. Ooh, kind of forgot about the wizard. Oh, whiz. I want to smooch Krobus. Well, like, you know. Can you not smooch him? Oh, man. Can you give him, like, a hug or something? Let's make a bunch of bombs before I forget as well. Wow. 
Wow, 19. Wowee. Alright, check our luck, and then if our luck's good, we can go straight back. If not... Mm, it's okay. Let's go for best. You can hug him. I think that's good enough, honestly. The hen Are you talking about the bouncer in the fucking desert in Sandy's store? Your ass- you, you thought of the most- literally you couldn't have thought of a more, like, irrelevant character. Oh my god. Bad. You're not talking about the fucking bouncer. Leave the auto pattern for what? Oh, in the- yeah, you're right, you're right. No, the- oh, the green goblin in the witch's hut. Oh, good morning, Mr. Dagnall. I hope it's not too early. Yeah, it's like 6 a.m., dude. I'd kick your ass if you knocked on my door that early. I just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for all the wonderful artifacts and minerals you discovered. You've done so much for one person. In fact, I've received a letter from the Office of Regional Secretary of Artifacts for being honored for our coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contributions to the field. And it's all thanks to you. Well, I should let you get back to your work. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. It's an old key. It's been sealed in the museum vault for at least a hundred years. It's a little rusty, but still beautiful. Just like... Chucks it away. Oh, okay then. Like, dude, if I kept donating to the museum, would he really care? Would he honestly really care? Yeah, like, you guys want me to go visit Krobus, but like, what's the point? What does he give you? Can he give you, like, Omni-Geodes and shit? Like, is there anything Krobus can do for this run, other than be eye candy for the horny chat member? Moral support? Yeah, alright. Moral support. Whatever you say, pal. I think you just wanna- I think you just wanna watch some good- some good Krobus goosey. The Karussi. Star drop. Oh, that's true. What? How much is the star drop, though? Can I even afford that? Can I even afford the star drop? Is it 10? 10,000? It's 20,000. Okay, I can do that before too long, then. Also, it's uh, summertime now. So, I guess... I guess um, artifacting's back on the menu. But I think we're still busy with the Skull Caverns, honestly. Wait, that was a good luck day? We had a... Are you sure? I, I I mean, I've been like... I've been very loosely paying attention, but I'm pretty sure I had like a good luck day, but not the best luck day. Horrible, horrible luck. Krobus occasionally sells Omni Geodes. What do you mean occasionally? Is there a predictable way of doing it? The spirits are in good humor, but I think there's one better than that. There's one better than that, I think. Man, I'm just getting horrible now. Occasionally means sometimes. Okay, I'm not asking for the Miriam- I'm not asking Miriam Webster of chat. I'm asking a normal human being who would give me a normal human being answer. Um, like, what is occasionally? Like, is that on Wednesdays he sells it? Is it completely random and there's no way to tell at all? It's just something you gotta check occasionally? These spirits mad as hell. Shit. On Tuesdays, according to the wiki, well... Good timing. On Tuesdays, Krobus sells Omni Geodes, and the spirits are in pretty good humor today. All right, well, if that's the case, I guess we can go stop and visit. Pufferfish. No, go fuck yourself. Yeah, I'll give you a pufferfish if you promise where you'll put it. And the star drops 20k. Okay, well, how much of the Omni Geodes is what I'm going to check now. I'll save for the star drop, but, you know, we got to get a good luck day first. You can access the sewer anytime, right? I'm just gonna get it. We're, we're gonna get like a cutscene with him like fighting with the dwarf, right? Oh, also, there's a thing. Oh, you know, yeah, fuck it. When in Rome, right? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Nope. Look closer. When in Rome, right? Hopefully, we actually get a bunch of fish instead of this shit. 
I think these are only really good if you find them out in, like, the deep parts of the ocean. Yeah, because you're just going to get a bunch of garbage. Yeah, forget it. They're 300 Gs each? Wait, wait, wait. And how many can you buy? Exactly. And how many can you buy? A human visitor? This is most unusual. Yes. Gotta buy anything? Yes, yes, please. Oh, only one Crobus. Crobus. Only one? It's better than nothing. It's worth doing every Tuesday, but, like, just fucking barely. Oh, my goodness. One? <laughs> this place stinks! And also, that's some fucking bullshit that you can only get one. Ah, well, it's fine. Whatever, is worth checking. You guys got to fucking look at your little Krobus there. Your little fucking husband, whatever he is. Alright, fuck it. We're going back to bed. Back in my depression now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I already know, I already know. Back to bed at 8.20 in the morning. We've all been there. Try for the legendary fish in the sewer. It's easy to catch. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. It's not that... It's not really, like, necessary, nor I don't think it's worth very much. I think it's probably the least valuable of all of them because it's so easy to catch. Is it called the Slimer? It's not called the Slimer, right? There we go. It's not called the fucking Slimer. The Luau. Oh, that's today. Oh, no, that's today. Will Pam be driving the bus today? The Luau is at the beach, though, so... I think it'll be fine, because I don't think the Luau starts until, like, noon, so I think she'll be at the bus stop. Oh, what the hell is this tree that's in my way? The Mutant Carp, that's it. Yeah, not the fucking Slimer. Jesus. Will Pam be at the bus stop on a holiday? That is a good question. I don't know. Went to bed on time. Oh, fuck it. I can fish in the meantime. Have the same thing happen to me that happened last time. Too much of bullshit. Only the mutant carp's friends can call him the Slimer. You can call him, like, the Slimester or something like that. I hope you're all having fun. Thanks. I hope you're having fun. I guess we'll have to see. Have we ever come to a decision on whether these, like, little pool, these hot spots of fish here give you treasure more often? Maybe it was just like, oh no, my last piece of bait. Maybe it was just a coincidence. Oh, and it's gone. What's up, Big K? Special K? It's my guy right here. I love this guy. Hey, stop that. Yuck. This. They gave this to me in Gotoro Prison Camp. I've been trying to forget about that. They gave you wet newspaper, dude? Oh my god, he's such a baby. What a baby. Grow up. Suck it up. Be a man. Of course you love the military guy. Dude, he served my country. He's such a baby, I can't. Man has PTSD, man. Wow. Yeah, he should learn to man up, alright? He should learn to just grow up and be a man, alright? <laughs> like, come on. How about you quit being a baby? Kent was tortured? He should grow up. He should man up, nut up. And just deal with it, okay? So true. What a wuss. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He should just man up. They do, in that you get fish more often, but they do not give an increased chance of treasure per catch. Alright, I figured as much. The luau's begun at the beach. Oh no. Please don't make it fucking... The first good luck day that I've had in an in-game year... Cancelled out because of the fucking luau. Is she still gonna come? Is Pam gonna come?
I don't think so. I don't think so either. Oh, 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 the big dog. Oh, the big dog. She don't miss a day. She don't miss a day. Mm -mm. She don't miss a single shift. That's my dog right there. That's my fucking dog right there. She don't give a fuck. She knows I got shit to do. That's my fucking dog right there. She's drunk. You think she's shit-faced just coming out of the luau? Probably. I see two dig spots. Alright, I'll, I'll check them. I'll check them. What does she do? Does she just sit in the bus? She's not outside. Like, what does she do? Oh. Rats. Alright. Well, we got bombs this time, and we have good luck. This will go well. She chills in there and watches diagonal streams. That's some, like, Inception shit. Ah. You know what I don't have this time is that, uh, spicy eel and crab cakes. That'd be nice, because I get luck for that. Are you the type of guy to clap when the airplane lands? No, I'm not the kind of guy to clap when the airplane lands. I'm not the guy to clap in the movie theater. I'm not the kind of guy that claps when the bus stops. No. What do you think I am? It's just, like, do you want... You guys don't clap for me when I fucking go live. I'm just doing my job. And you recognize that I'm just doing my job. The pilot just does their job. Alright, you want me to clap for doing your job? No. I mean, yeah, like, I appreciate it. And you know, like, you know how, like, sometimes the pilots will hang out at, like, the... You know, where the cabin door is when everyone's exiting and, like, you're making your way out? I'll, I'll hit him with a thank you. I'll hit him with a have a good day, thank you, or something like that. But I'm not, I'm not clapping for him, no. I don't think they want me to clap either. I think that that would be, like, kind of embarrassing and weird. If they're anything like me, at least. Perfect. No, I don't want to do that. How do you know we're not clapping? I have it under good authority. It would just kind of be weird, right? Like, who claps for, like, someone doing their job? Unless it's, like, an athlete, then I guess it's kind of normal, right? But, like, I don't know. In some professions, I guess it's whatever, like, normal, but not for a pilot. Just doing their job. Beautiful. Be gone. A mortician? <laughs> Somebody's clapping for the mortician? In a way, you're our silly clown, so should we clap or not? Oh, I don't know, do you clap for your normal clowns? I don't really, like, hire clowns very often. I don't really know how it goes. If my students clap for me, it would make my job a lot more enjoyable. I, I, I guess, man. Like... I've never clapped for a teacher. Well, no, that's not true. One of my teachers, this is actually kind of, a, this was one of the coolest teachers I had. He was a magician. One of my teachers was a fucking magician. Like, he worked part-time at, like, a local, like, restaurant. And he did, like, he went around from, like, table to table doing, like, magic tricks and shit. It was awesome. And, like, he would do magic tricks in class. And I guess I would clap for him when he did, like, a magic trick. He'd pull, like, a, you know... Pull, like, a giant piece of cloth out of, like, his throat or something. Yeah, that was really cool. I clapped for him then, I guess. All I'm saying is, basically, you gotta do some, like... You gotta do some, like, crazy shit if you're gonna get some kids to clap for you, man. I don't know. I don't think kids really appreciate teachers enough to, like, think for... Think about, like, clapping for them. Kinda oh. sad your teacher needed two jobs to survive. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he just liked it. I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe that's the reason. I, I think he just liked it. Like, when I, I met, I went, I went to that restaurant one time that he performed at, and I watched him, and, like, fucking, he was, like, he's so happy. Like, go, I think he just liked it, man. I don't think this says anything about America. I mean, yeah, no, I get you, what you mean, but, like, you know, I, I don't know. This was also back in, like, 2005. Things were a little bit different than they are now. For one, none of you were born. Kind of a big one. 
cool. Who enjoys working two jobs? I, it, dude, it's a crazy concept, but I'm going to hit you with it. Some people like working, and I've even been there before sometimes. Some people just like to work. I worked 12-hour overnight shifts at a factory. Oh, wow, 13 levels. Look at that. I worked 12-hour overnight shifts at a factory, okay? Normal schedule would mean that you would work from two to five days a week. It was weird, all right? It... You know, it's complicated to explain, but you would work anywhere from two to five days a week. I would have people, co-workers of mine, come in seven days a week. Voluntary overtime. Well, it's not voluntary. Of course, you get paid for it, but you didn't have to come in on the weekends at all. And if you wanted to come in when it wasn't your scheduled shift, you could earn overtime. They would come in seven days a week. Now, I need you to understand something. 12 hours a day. Seven days a week is half of your week, over half of your week, dedicated towards working. And you know what their excuse was? Because they liked it. They liked working. Sure, the money's good, earning 1.5 and two times overtime for all those hours that they did. Oh my god, they were probably raking in the cash. They liked it, though. They just liked it doing it. I could never. But it's that's just how some people are, man. Some people like working. What a crazy concept. Especially that shit job. It was not a good job either. But they like doing it. Some people just find purpose, and I really do envy this. Some people find purpose in working. Either it's something that they enjoy doing, or it's something that, you know, just gets their mind off of, you know, their home life or whatever. If their home life isn't very good. Not to mention the satisfaction of, like, making some more money as well could keep them motivated as well. Even if it's not something that's necessary, maybe they do just fine without it. Like, yeah, if you ask me, I'm like, man, I value my free time way too much. But you have to understand, some people are so closed-minded that they can't understand, the like, how other people think. If you think about it for a little bit, it's not very hard to understand why some people just like to work, you know? Yeah, exactly. Working helps some people's anxiety. It makes your mind dedicate its time and effort towards doing something that isn't worrying about things that you can't control. It helps a lot of people. I like streaming for that purpose as well. Now, of course, everything in moderation, if you ask me, but some people, they just like working, dude. You need to, like, accept that that's just how some people are. Some people are happier at work. Yeah. Some people, I know it's crazy, some people like their jobs. And if you liked your job, wouldn't you want to work more? To an extent. I have a healthy relationship with my, well, okay, I, I, I'm working on it, but it could be better. But I have a pretty healthy relationship with my job. In that I work and have recreation in healthy amounts. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I should work more because, you know, I kind of feel bad. But that's because I have the luxury of being able to stop and start working whenever I want. So I'm a bit of a, like a weird scenario, but, you know, still. If somebody's, if somebody's healthy relationship with their job is working a shit ton, then who are we to tell them that they're wrong for that, you know? Some people would probably say like, oh, you know, you're falling into exactly what society wants you to do. Overwork and get underpaid. Well, you know, that might be true. But if there's one thing that I've learned, some people don't care, you know? Some people don't want to hear it. They've probably heard it a bunch of times before, and they're happy doing what they do. Exactly. Some people like just staying busy. Maybe that's all it is to them, is staying busy. Uh, yeah, it's fairly early. I could still eat one of these and probably justify it. Yeah, exactly. I think people are really closed-minded sometimes, in that they don't understand another person's way of life, because their way of life is not how that person lives their life, you know? Like, how could somebody work that much, is how I thought for a long time. But then I realized, eventually I found value in working. And I realized, oh, okay, I can definitely see why somebody would do this, you know? I can definitely see why somebody would, like, work a shit ton. Still never to the extent that that co-worker that I previously mentioned would. That's ridiculous, but, you know, definitely, like, a fair amount. 
I learned to value the working, you know? And even if I don't agree with it, I still understand the value. And I understand that person a lot better now. I don't know, man. That's my line of thinking, at least. My only concern is a person's mental health. If it's killing them to work hours that are working, then that's bad. But if they're mentally thriving, more power to them. Not my business. Not uh, not our business, you know? That's not our business. Like, you might be... It's fine to be concerned about it, but I would never bring that up to someone because it's not our business what their mental health is. Some, saying to someone like, Oh man, you're working too much. You're just gonna kill you one day. It's just, it's just not our business in the slightest what their working relationship is like with their job. Not our business. It's up to them to take care of. Maybe they are not doing very good. I don't know. But we can't tell them what's right and what's wrong. They're adults. The person in question that I was talking about, that coworker who works 12 hours a day, 7 days a week, he was like this biker dude, long gray hair, probably in like his 50s, 60s if I had to guess. I can't do that in my 20s, man. And he's doing it in his fucking 50s and 60s. I have to admire, if you're going to do anything for that person, you have to admire them for that just level of dedication that they have, you know? That person in their 50s and 60s, I guarantee, in many ways, is smarter than all of us. Because, you know, they just have the experience. They've just lived so much longer and learned so many lessons that we have yet to learn, you know? I think they know what they're doing. He's absolutely got it figured out. Well, you know, maybe, but... You know, nobody, I don't think anybody has it figured out. But maybe more so to the extent that you and I do. Because we're young. Okay, I'm at, like, level 60. This is kind of insane. Kind of redonkulous. And it's 910. I'm not getting to 100, but if I had staircases... And I was, like, making it a goal to get to 100, I could totally do it. Please? How much health do these guys have? Do they drop anything good? They are Iridium bats. Okay, and they drop Iridium. Go figure. Bro, I hate these bats. You only see them when you get, like, real low in these caves here, so... They're not really that annoying, just on the fact that I just don't see them enough. How many Omni Geodes am I at anyway? I feel like I'm ranting too much. Eight and two Magma Geodes. That's not bad. Probably hope for a little bit more. Before we leave. Yeah. Give it a try. Nah. Oh, I'm just putting in retirement papers after 30 years of teaching kindergarten. I highly respect her for that amount of commitment. I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, I want to say I 100% agree with you. Like, yeah, there's an enormous amount of respect, especially, like, teachers, you know? Kindergartners, you know, they're hard to work with in different ways that, like, teenagers are hard to work with. And obviously, you have to respect it, right? But there's a big... And this is, this sounds so, like... This is gonna sound... I'm gonna sound like a boomer, okay? You know, we all have some boomer takes, and I guess this is mine. I really don't like... The sentiment of anti-work, you know? Now, I understand workplace rights and work reform, those are very, like, sensible things that I can get behind. But a lot of people... Calling it anti-work is such, like, a bad way of putting... If that is indeed what that's all about, then that's such a bad way of putting that, to say that you're anti-work, when in reality you want work reform, you know? That is such a better way of putting that than anti-work. Because I think some people... I feel like it, like, really splits the people between those who genuinely do not want to work and those who want worker reform, you know? I feel like there's such a huge difference between that. But, like, I don't know, like, the anti-work subreddit. Like, the anti-work sentiment, you know? Like, it's not anti-work if you want work reform. It might mean, like, you like working, but... You just think it could be better, which, you know, can't everything be better? I really don't like that. Because, like, it's it's such a mislabeled thing to say that I want work reform, but I'm not anti-work, you know? I feel like work has a place in our society. I really do. Just not in the way that it currently is. 
A lot of people expect that... Oh, shit. Uh, you know, I should probably get out of here because, like, I kind of... I'm not getting through this floor before it's too late, let's be honest. Ah, uh, thanks for the raid. Wait, who raided? Uh, Lugadundv. Thanks for the raid, I appreciate it. Uh, hope you had a good stream. We love the raiders. Yeah, we do. Now I lost everything that I was talking about. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'm doing a Stardew Valley full museum speedrun. You're speedrunning Kind Kingdom Hearts 1. Wait, actually, I know a good bit about speedrunning Kingdom Hearts 1. I watched someone who does that. That's cool. I hope you had a good time. I hope, um... Fucking... Uh, I hope, uh... Anti-Sora was not a pain in the ass. I hope that, um... I hope Captain... I hope Peter Pan didn't screw you on the Captain Hook fight. I hope that, um... Fucking... Oh, you saw me? Oh, because you saw me in the chat. Oh, okay, that's fair enough, then. Yeah, I hope you had a good time. Oh, yeah, I want to put away that iron as well. All the above. Yeah, there you go. Alright, I'll keep the crab cakes. And then, I got ten geodes. I would have liked more with that many bombs that I had, but I guess I didn't use all the bombs. Level 8 mining. Ooh! Mega bombs! Wait, is that golden coal? Holy shit, five grand. Almost six. Is that gold in coal, or is that, like, iridium in coal? I mean, I guess I have been getting a good bit of iridium, so honestly, even if it is that, that's fine, too. Yeah, gold in coal? shoo -weesh. I got 138. Holy shit, I can make mega bombs now. Alrighty. This is freaking sweet, Lois. Okay. Yeah, I got nukes. Problem is, you're gonna, like, hurt yourself with those more often than you're gonna, like, destroy rocks. It's Taco Tuesday! Yo, I actually got a fucking text message. Um, I got a text message from my uh, my apartment complex. Good afternoon! Taco Tuesday is now Taco Thursday. A taco food truck will be on the property this Thursday, serving dinner from 5pm to 7.30pm. Reply stop to unsubscribe. And I'm like, why are you... Stopped unsubscribed? That doesn't sound like an automated message. But anyway, I guess I'm going to have tacos on Thursday, because that kind of sounds good. That's so lit. Yeah, it is pretty good, right? It's the second time that I get food from a food truck on my apartment complex. It's a pretty sweet deal, honestly. Yeah, taco stream. Oh, that's- well, no, because I'll be- Well, no, dude, wait, I'm gonna be at bowling! Shit! I'm gonna be at fucking bowling! God damn it! Wait, I just realized! I'm not even gonna be there! Fuck. Maybe... Ugh. Damn it. I just realized it's not going to be Taco Thursday. Shit. Fuck. I wanted tacos, dude. Why did, why did it not be Taco Tuesday, man? Why did they got to mess with the formula, man? Why did they make it Taco Thursday? Stupid. Confounded dates. Alright, whatever. Try to sneak out a little early? Or, like, hope that they open a little earlier than they advertised so that I can get some before I leave? I don't know. That sucks, man. I wanted tacos. Stupid. Blast and dag nabbit. Befriend another resident and get them to... Dude, I, I can't even, like... Dude, befriend another resident? I can't. It's just... You're simplifying it to an enormous extent. Get tacos before and then go bowling? Yeah, but bowling's at 6. And they said it's from 5.30 to what? 7.30? Wait, what was it? Was it 5.30 or is it earlier than that? Yeah, oh, at 5. Okay, wait. No, I could probably swing that then. Because I leave probably at like 5.30. Oh, shit. I could probably swing some tacos then. I just have to like eat them as well. It's one thing to, like, get them at five, and I have to eat them before I get to the fucking bowling. Yeah, I can't go bowling today. I'm eating tacos. My like, hands are, like, wicked greasy and shit. Grab a taco on your way out. I guess. All right, Clunt. Give me something good. It's not good. That's good. I believe that's a fire opal. Yep. Cool. 64. Like the Nintendo. That is not new. 
That is new. Alrighty. This is turning out alright. That's, I think, also new. No, it's not. God damn it. Alright. That was pretty good, though. I mean, getting two donatables out of a group of ten, when you have as many things donated as I do, is really not bad at all. Really not bad at all. So, I think you have actually more spots in the museum than there are things that you can donate, which is, sounds to me like it's a little annoying. I feel like you guys get really mad about that. Alright. Well. Go back again, I guess. Or do we try to do something else? I don't know, I feel like we've been grinding the Skull Caverns for like two hours now, because we have. I wonder if it's worth doing something else, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna think about it while I... Uh, use the restroom. The room with which I rest. I'm gonna think about it. See if there's something else that we could be doing instead. What's my fortune teller? Bad. So I'm not gonna go mining today. Let's think about maybe other things that we could do. Just to like, freshen it up a little bit. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna run some ads. Be right back. Hi. <coughs> Fish for treasure chests if he gets the bobber. You know, I was thinking fishing, because if nothing else, I just kind of want to, like, do something else for a little bit. Just be really nice. Let's also check something out here. Hi, fam. Let's go check something out here. Um, What other things can I fund at Joger here? What's some other things that I could farm at old Joja here? Farm? Or unlock, I guess. I love how this place is so quiet. It's so... Well, I guess I can get the quarry unlocked properly. So I don't have to worry about doing the glitch over there again. But I'll need more money. I guess that'd probably be the only other thing that'd be useful. Panning is not useful and the greenhouse is not useful. Alright. That's what we'll do. We'll do a little fishing. See what we can get from that. Hey, Lois, I'm going to the Joja Mart, Lois. Okay, what is that supposed to be, like a Peter Griffin impression? All right, that's about the lamest thing I've heard all day. Woof! All right. Whatever. Why is the water so green? Ew, dude, if the water looks like this, it's a problem. What are we doing? Mines? Yeah, I've been doing the Skull Caverns for literally two hours. I'm sick of hearing the... Wow! From the serpents and the with this from the slimes. So if I have to listen to that one more time, I'm gonna lose my fucking marbles. Oh, hotspot, 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 hotspot. <gasps> oh, also, uh, can I buy like the Omega Iridium rod as well from old William? I wonder if I can get that now. I, mean, I wonder if that would be like a worthwhile purchase. I wonder if I get the treasure bobber. I mean, you needed it to get use like bobbers and shit, right? Bobber. So, yeah, it might actually be worth doing. Is the water green because all I'm getting is seaweed? Like, is there actually something wrong here? And it's gone. Would it actually be worth getting the Iridium Rod? I don't know. Hey. This is why we're fishing, by the way, to get treasure chests. Treasure chests. I should hydrate. Even though I think you guys like making me hydrate right after I hydrate. Because it's like some weird like power fantasy you have or something. I don't know. You know, hydrate is there for the purposes of ensuring that I'm, you know, taking care of myself. Like, I used to have a thing where it would be like a posture check. Oh, make sure you're sitting up straight, streamer. But then people would just spam it, even though I was sitting up perfectly straight. They wouldn't use it as a reminder, they would use it as, like, some way of, like, controlling me, like a sim, or some shit like that. I think it'd be, like, some sick, twisted, like, joke. I think it's, like, a game or something. Green water just means there's gonna be a lot of seashells. Is that true? 
Because, like, this is unusually green, right? Like, this water is not usually this green. So, like, I'm getting a bunch of trash, dude. Okay, something's wrong. Because I'm getting a lot of trash, and this water looks foul. This water looks like pickle brine. Something's wrong. Kind of personal question, are your pits stiff today? Yeah, that is a little personal question, but you know what? I'll answer it regardless, because I think that stiff pit awareness is very important. No, not today, but thank you for asking. I do appreciate it. What the fuck does stiff pits mean? Dude, if you know, you know. If you don't know, then you obviously don't suffer from it. Is it something to do with the Joja route from pollution? Holy shit! Maybe. Because I've never seen this before, and this is the first time I've ever done Joja route. And that is, like, why it's, like, so filled with trash as well. What the hell? Is that actually why? Can someone research that and see if that's why? It will go away tomorrow? Well, why is it here today? That would make perfect sense, though. And, like, yeah, I, I don't know. This is definitely not a usual... Fuck! Amount of trash time. I thought it was a puffer fish, I bet. Isn't it because it's crab... Oh, it's crab mating season? Why the fuck does that make the water green? Is... Are you telling me that crab... Fluid is green? Is crab cum green? I gotta get out of here, dude. I gotta get out of here. This is not good. This isn't good. You made a lot of shells show up on the beach and the water turned green. I guess there was a good bit of shells on the beach, but like, it wasn't that unusual. Ask Willie. Yeah, I bet he'd know. I bet he would know. Just like in the other seasons where there's berries in summer, there's a bunch of seashells. I feel like I would have noticed this, though. I mean, I got like three, four hundred hours in this game, and I've never seen this. It happens every other day in size. No way it's that often, man. And I've never seen this. There's no chance. There's no way. I don't know. This is nasty, though. And I'm getting, like, a lot of trash, which I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but... I don't know. I feel like there's some correlation between the trash that I'm getting and the water being so repugnant. Dag crab fluid is blue. Are you talking about blood? Well, your blood's blue until it's exposed to oxygen as well, so I really no different in that case. Really no different in that case. What would you... What would you like? Would you like to order crab fluids? I sell at a very reasonable price. Aren't like... Isn't horseshoe crab blood like one of the most valuable things on Earth? Are you far from the pier? The closer you are to the pier, the more likely you are to get trash and seaweed slash algae. Wait, the closer I am to the pier? Dude, I'm, I'm like max casting every time, though. So, no. Yeah, like, uh, fucking cra horseshoe crab blood's very valuable for, like, medical reasons or some shit like that. I don't know. They use it in vaccines or something. Yeah, there you go. So, what's a very fair and reasonable price to you, then? Yeah, like, something's wrong, dude. I mean, I'm getting too much seaweed. And I'm making, like, trying to make max, max casts and shit like that, so... Can't get any further away. I don't know. I'm not talking about the blood. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? If, I mean, what are you talking about, then? Crab semen? Dude, quit being gross. What are you talking about? Okay. 
What? Dude. Come on. You can't talk about shit like that. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? You, Dude. Gross. Weird. Weird. Who invited the weird person? Start talking about semen. What the hell, man? Jeez, Louise. Oh my goodness. We weren't... Alright, whatever. You're just really out of left field here. Really out of left field. Yikes. Whatever, though. You asked! I didn't ask shit! What are you talking about? I didn't ask nothing. This person just comes in here and starts talking about semen. See, now it looks blue, but now the sunset. Oh, Joji Coley. Dude, quit speaking not a language that I understand. Look at the transcript. He doesn't say crab semen once. Well, not until I, like, read you guys' gross comments. Weird comments. Does that happen in real life when it's crab mating season? Does that happen in real life? The water turns green? I'd like to see that, actually. Open stream and immediately heard semen and nothing else. Well, dude, you can't hold that against me, man. You clearly joined at, like, a time where we... You can't hold that against me, okay? It's the first mention of it the entire stream. Alright, you can't hold that against me. Like, at all, I would say. No, it just algae blooms. Interesting. Yeah, I guess chat is always making gross and weird comments, though. Eh, what's new? What's new? Wilding out. All right, whatever, I'm going home. We didn't get shit from fishing, so I think we gotta go back to the Skull Caverns again. I'm not picking my nose, it itches, all right? You fucking weirdos. Your nose never itch? All right. Yeah, that was a fucking huge waste of time. If you ask me. I got nine seaweed from doing that, which would be great for farming fish ponds, but... Not good for anything else. Yeah, dude. I hate when I... My nose is giant, and so it has, like, a lot of, like, itching area to it. Basically, my nose is more likely to be itchy than most, okay? And so, as a result, my nose itches a lot. And so I get a lot of people being like, Oh, are you picking your honker? No, dude. I'm just... I got a lot of, like, itching in there, okay? It's just hard. My mom told me, as a kid, that if my nose itched, I was a witch. Dude, if that was the case, man... Jesus Christ. Oh, no, I was gonna say, please be a good luck day so I can listen to the song. I got Pinocchio nose, man, yeah. Maybe it's because I lie all the time, I don't know. Maybe that's actually a good- maybe that's it. Because I'd be, like, lying all the time. That's why my nose is so big. Come on. Dude, it's gonna be fall soon. I don't want it to be fall, because I don't like the fall music as much. I'm a fibber. Yeah, that's right. No, not living off the land. Fuck. You know, this game really does have, like... You know, a lot of people browse the... And this is something that I'm very guilty of as well. This game has a lot of information... To find out, like, basically, a lot of people play this game with the wiki open, but they fail to realize, or they don't care enough, to know that there is basically everything that the wiki can tell you in this game if you know where to find it. Like, the living off the land, you know? I feel like so many people resort to, like, going to the wiki before ever even watching, like, the living, on the, living off the land program, you know? I feel like... And, like, the lost books that you get for the museum and shit, those will tell you a bunch of stuff. The secret notes that you get. People don't wait to get the secret notes. They just immediately want to look up, like, what everyone's loved gifts are. 
You know? That's kind of sad. I wish that I could go back and, like, forget everything that I know about this game. And, like, try to purely learn it through what the in-game resources provide you, you know? Because there is a lot, you know? There's a lot. I know it's faster, but, like, you know... Ah, the new rods. They're the best money can buy, and you can customize them with different kinds of tackle. Does he sell the tackle, I wonder? I'm not giving her a fucking starfruit. I'm giving my fucking... I need truffle oil. Don't ask. Ah, yeah, that one. Yup, he does. Does he sell the, the treasure bobbers? Because if so, that's kind of huge. Kind of ginormous information. Holy shit. All right. I wish I could forget everything about this game and do like a completely organic wiki list playthrough. Because this game really does do a good job at telling you everything that the wiki does. Albeit, you have to actually play the game to figure it out, you know? If speed is your thing, then yeah, it'd probably be a little painful, but I don't know. I think that it's fun playing games slower sometimes like that. Stardew isn't like Terraria, where you pretty much have to have the wiki open. Yeah, I'd argue that Terraria, you're going to be very lost if you don't have the wiki open. Like, I, I, I'm in like my like fucking 10th, 15th, 20th playthrough of Terraria, and I still check the wiki for a bunch of shit. Just because every playthrough you encounter shit that you've never seen before, you know? A new weapon, a new enemy, or something like that. Or like, you need something, and you're trying to figure out how to like find it, where to find it. Who drops it? What are the chances of it dropping? Stuff like that, you know? Good yelling outside. Ah, oh, it's one of you. I'm with you on that one. I knew everyone's loved gifts from the wiki, and I felt like the secret note went to waste. Exactly. You get the secret notes, and you just immediately like, oh, Shane's love got... I already know that. Fucking chuck it aside. Yeah, you feel bad, right? Because you're like, man, Concerned Ape put those in there for a reason, and I just completely under, like... I just completely, like, you know, did it my own way, which I guess is okay. However you enjoy the game is fine. I love Terraria and whoever made the wiki. I heard it was a guy called, like, Robert in Nebraska, and he's done, like, everything for the wiki. Like, he literally, it's just him. It's, it's Robert. It's old Rob in Nebraska. He's in, like, Omaha or some shit like that. I heard it's just one guy. Literally just one. Kind of crazy. Shoutouts to that guy. Made a great wiki. I don't have the patience for waiting for all the secret notes and everything. Well, you don't now because you're like, you played the game too much and you know like how to get the instant gratification from everyone's favorite gifts and stuff like that. I'm talking about like a brand new game. Like you forget everything you know about this game and you go back to the very start, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, now we all use the wiki because we've already played through the games multiple times, right? We already know now. I know who all the love, what all the loves gifts of all my villagers that I actually care to give gifts to are. I don't need to know about the secret notes anymore. Yeah, go give Rob some love. I love that guy. Good old Rob. On the physical game booklet, it has X marks on spots where you can find the legendary fish. Hey, yeah, I guess how do you find the legendary fish? Because that's something that I even don't remember, is how to get the legendary fish. That should be the next thing I do in this game, is catch all the fish. Because I don't think I've ever done that either. In reality, I don't think I've ever completed something in this game other than the community center. Never the museum. Never caught all the fish. Forget getting perfection. Oh, nice. Another farm totem. Forget getting perfection or anything like that. Any of these collections I've never completed. I've never shipped every crop. I've never gotten every artifact, mineral. Not cooked fucking... I never cook anything. I, okay, I've completed the secret notes, but like, you know, you just... You get that without even trying. Do that without even trying. Alrighty. Good to go. What's up, Sage? How are you doing? Yeah, that'd be fun, maybe. Get all the fish. Not to mention, like, that one's way more straightforward than this, you know? Like, it is still, like, chance and odds, but not nearly to the extent that this challenge is, you know? It's more in your control, I feel, than this than this one is. Help. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh, a hole. Three levels? There's always three. I hate falling three levels, dude. Always three. Um, oh, yeah. We can make the mega bombs now. Oh, you MFers, you told me it was gold and coal. Somebody enthusiastically, I remember the comment, I was like, oh, is that just gold and coal? And someone's like, yeah, yeah, it's just gold and coal. And you lied to me. It's solar essence and void essence. Your ass just lied to me. I just, oh. Someone lied to me. Why are you in the desert mine with so little supplies? What the hell supplies do you need? You need a pickaxe and you need a fucking bombs. That's it. You don't even need bombs. Just bring your pickaxe and a good sword. The heck do you need? That's alright. I'm not mad. But I am like... There's like a 50% chance I'm disappointed. What do you mean, no supplies? What kind of supplies do you need? I bring coffee and food and staircases and bombs? Yeah, okay. This, this is a normal playthrough. I'd agree with you. Because staircases, right, you want iridium and shit, so you want to get down to the lower levels quickly. Now, I need you to remember that this is not a normal playthrough, okay? If you look at the stream title, it'll say full museum speedrun, all right? So you, I'm not really worried about iridium and stuff. I'm really worried about omni geodes. It's the big thing, and you can get those on any level. Do I need coffee and all that shit? Yeah, that'd be great. Do you want to make me a farm that has all that stuff readily available where I'm growing coffee beans and shit like that, and I can brew my own coffee beans with kegs and stuff? No. It's not that it's not a oh my fucking god just eat shit eat shit and die like dude you have to understand this is not a normal playthrough and this is also like if you're trying to make like a level 100 run specifically like yeah you might need like coffee and that shit jesus fucking christ oh my god jesus louise lord <sighs> so fucking annoying those things these invasions, honestly, they need to nerf these. They're so fucking obnoxious. They don't happen that often, but they're, like, so strong. Thank you for the spicy eel, though. Yeah, but you're gonna die? Well, if I died, wouldn't you think I'd be saying some shit like, Oh, fuck. I died. Oh, no. I really wish I had, like, some supplies. So far? All right. Dude, I'm going to be level with you here, okay? You're really agitating me. I have been streaming for two hours and 30 minutes now of pretty much consistently being in these skull caverns, and I haven't died once this stream, okay? Please stop telling me how to play the game. I haven't died once today. All right? God, I hate when people tell me how to play a game. Sorry, I was just trying to have fun. I will stop. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have fun. And not take things too seriously. Don't jinx yourself. I mean, I'm literally more prepared on this run than I have been on any other ones. I have bombs. I have a shit ton of food. 64 salmon berries, dude. How am I going to die with 64 salmon berries? Crab cakes. The fucking Neutralife bar. How are you dying with these things? Purple mushroom. I was gonna say it. If you're dying with all this shit, you're not very good at the game. There's a timeout chair with your name on it. Yeah. Anyone else want to tell me how to play the game? Do you like pumpkin spice or apple cider? No. Can you tell I'm not really a fall guy? No, apple cider's okay, but I wouldn't go out of my way to drink it. Um, pumpkin spice? No, I don't see the hype at all. Ah. No, I don't see the hype of pumpkin spice at all, personally. I was just curious. Yeah, sorry. I know it's that season. My season is ending. 
all the uh, hot girl season is over. It's now um, Halloween girl season. That's starting up, yeah. All the Halloween decorations at the Walmart and the Home Depot are all coming out again. Yep. If you can read this, come to the secret woods. How about you go... Wait, that's a bear. I almost told a bear to go fuck himself. Alright, here's, here's the juicy stuff right here. Ooh! It's Cinderella shoes! What the hell are those? It's crystal shoes? Three defense, five immunity? What the hell is immunity, man? I never know. Is that like... Is immunity when, like, you get hit by a slime? And then you get slimed? If you... Wait, so if you have more immunity, are you less likely to get slimed by, like, the slimes, for example? Is that what that is? I think so? Interesting. Okay, I've never, like, bothered caring to learn what that is. But I guess I figured it out. I guess I figured it out. Uh, maybe heal before you do that. Let's not be silly now. Okay. I right-click to eat the food. Whatever, that's like a fucking full heal just in itself. Hey, I can't read chat when I'm fighting these guys. I'm sorry. I apologize so much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, good. Uh, I actually think I'd prefer the spicy eel over the defense, honestly. I think I, I think I prefer the... Yeah. I found a bug. When you, um hover over these, it'll show you whatever one you last hovered over. So this is defense, but if I pause when I'm hovered over speed, now they'll both say that there's speed. Found a bug! I'm probably the only one to have ever found that. Because, like, who honestly cares, dude? Get over it. Fix your fucking broken-ass game? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's so, like, foul and crass as you put it, but... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, come on, you are kind of right. This is a bit embarrassing, right? This is a bit embarrassing. Fuck it, spicy eel again. I, I'd probably rather have luck, yeah. I'd probably rather have luck. Refund, right? Yeah, like, I think I might have to, right? That's like, what are we doing here, man? Are we professionals or are we amateurs? Unfucking playable, really. Is a statistic that affects your chance to be afflicted with any debuff. It has no effect on the length of time that you're invulnerable after getting damage. Each point of immunity reduces the probability of being debuffed 10%. I mean, honestly, dude, I'd rather the defense than if that's the case. I'd much rather have defense than immunity. Like, I mean, a little bit of both is nice, and that's why the boots that I have on are good. But honestly, I would much rather defense. Don't let them hit- do these things hit you so hard. Don't let a mummy hit you, man. They're so slow. Come on. Let's not be silly now. Eat the Nutri-Grain bar. I'm getting a lot of Omni Geodes, I feel. Yeah, 11 already, and it's like halfway through the day. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll even say it. I'm just gonna say it. That is super duper. That is super duper. That is stupendous. By golly, that's... That's... That's tremendous. That is just... Fantastic. I had a bad weekend, so Dagnal Stream was just what I needed to make it worse, right? That is marvelous. You know, that happens to me. You know what I say? I say, Eureka. You're right. You're right. I do be saying some shit like that. You're right. Don't hit me. Yeah, these little bastards is what immunity would be good against because... Fucking... Their slime debuff is like the worst shit ever if you get like a bunch of them around you. Stupendous! Tagnal, who's your favorite drag queen? I don't know, man. Just start listing some. I'll just tell you like by their names purely who I like the most. Just purely by, like, the names. This is what I'm talking about. 
purely by the names only, I'll tell you which one's my favorite. Actually, wait, no, I do have a favorite drag queen because I have one from my hometown who's pretty famous. They're on like Ru they were on like a couple seasons of RuPaul. Um Alaska Thunderfuck 5000, often just shortened to Alaska, is uh that's from my they're from my uh my hometown. So like I got to I got to go with Alaska. Yeah, exactly. How fucking cool, yeah. Alaska's awesome. Alaska's cool? Yeah. What? That's crazy. Yeah, and I'm not from Alaska either. So a little bit misleading, but I guess I'll forgive him for that. Wowee, look at that. <laughs> They're so scrunkly when they don't got their shells. Anyone else who's getting a real scrunkly energy from these guys? Give me your fucking crab cakes. Hey, crab cakes! Just like something that like a creepy old like diner employee would say to me. Hey, crab cakes, welcome back. Good to have you back. I thought Pam. Yeah, Pam would do that. Mermaid show. See, like that as well. Like the mermaid show would be cool to figure out on your own, right? Instead of just Wikipediaing, how do I get the mermaid show? What the fuck? Run. Ah, and is that the other? Um. Oh yeah, I haven't gotten the other stupid strange doll. I guess we we have all the time in the world, but still. I haven't gotten the other strange doll. I forgot. I thought you were joking about the name until I looked it up. Oh no, I'm not joking. I mean, really, is it so egregious to think that somebody, a drag queen, would be called Alaska Thunderfuck 5000? Is it really that out of left field? I feel like that's right up the alley, right? I feel like there's more egregious drag queen names out there than that. I was worried that it was going to be the other Pittsburgh queen that we don't talk about. Uh-oh. Oh, that's, I think, the other strange doll. Uh-oh. Wait, what happened? This sounds like some drama. Sounds like the drama llama visited town. What the heck happened? The other Pittsburgh queen that we don't talk about? What are you talking about? Uh-oh. T. Yeah, what's going on? Like... What kind of... Uh, fill me in. Now, you can't just say that and then, like, not say. Like, explain yourself. Like, come on. Not cool. Here. Just drop it. Just drop it. Just drop it. Fucking, I didn't drop it. Here. Just drop the ball. There we go. That's pretty good. I want to kill the ghosts because they drop Omni Geodes. Which... 13... There we go. I'm back, don't worry. I was actually getting kind of worried. Whoa, rain totem. I don't think I've ever had one of those. I, I legit have never had a possessed a rain totem in this game. I don't think I ever have. I don't care about fighting your minions. Like, legit. I think that might be the first rain totem I've ever possessed in this game. At least I can't remember ever grabbing one or finding one. How do you even get them, like, normally? Sharon Needles, huge racist, Nazi, groomer, also won drag race, used to date Alaska. Oh. Oh. Interesting. That really make them good over in Western PA, huh? Oof. You can craft them? That must be like a high level of some skill to craft them then, right? Because I definitely don't remember ever doing that. Hey, another prismatic shard. Now, is it worth getting the Galaxy Sword? Because honestly, I, I'm still fucking with this sword. I'm still fucking with this sword. I like it. But, you know, it's probably worth upgrading, right? Probably is. Let's see. Any more bombs? I can make a Mega Bomb. Oh, shit! I can make two, three, four, five, six, seven? What the fuck? Wait a minute. I'm able to make seven. What the shit? All right. Well, I don't know if I'm going to use all those right now. I kind of want to try at least one, right? 
I gotta try at least one. Because these things are, like, huge. Hang on, what was that note? No other reason to clear it out. Ah, Penny's handwriting, okay. No beer! I like how it says no beer. He fucking loves beer. What is she talking about? Oh. Alright, here we go. That's a good spot as ever. Is that... Okay, good, that was enough range. I thought I was legit still in range there. Y'all ever see Dagnal stream on my homepage? Wait, was I on your homepage? Twitch isn't, like, promoting me or anything, right? Nah, they would never. I'm not a huge streamer. And I also don't wear a shirt that goes like this. Did he just say that? Yeah. Yeah, he did. She doesn't like her mother drinking alcohol. Oh, is that Pam's? I thought it was Shane's loved gifts. Oh, interesting. Oh, he said it! Oh, man. Alright, I gotta skedaddle here soon. This is like the worst floor I've seen yet. I do have a farm warp totem, so like I could literally go until like 1 o'clock and be just fine. So, I might just do that. I might just do that. Or, alternatively, here's what I can do. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll do this. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to um, sack my thing. And then get that sword. Because, like, I don't know. What else do I do with it? Sell it, I guess? You're huge to us. Thanks. Yeah, that's much better. Oh my god. Wait, 60 to 80? Oh my god. Wait, was it even a contest? What the hell am I talking about? Of course. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, real quickly, uh, we have a secret note that told us how to get the other strange doll that I needed, which was down here by the bench. It's this one right here. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's the other strange doll. And that, in itself, is something that I can donate, of course. All right, fuck it. I'm not using the farm totem, either. All right, cool. So that's both strange dolls done. And hopefully some more things from those omni Geodes that I got. That is a strange doll. He's got, like, a little shirt on. He's a little cute little fella. All right, that's fine, though. We'll have plenty of time. Plenty of time. I don't think a rain tone is going to be that useful for me, so hopefully they sell for a whole lot. Uh, because goodbye. Well, first of all, quick stack everything that you have in here. There we go. I can make a bunch of iridium shit. I wish that you could go from a copper something to an iridium something. Like, I hate how you have to go through all the stages of it. I hate how you have to go through all the stages of it. Kind of annoying. Because I'd really just love to go straight through all of them. Well, dude, I mean, if this is the case, I should really save my void essences and solar essences, right? If I'm going to make a shit ton of bombs out of them, yeah, fuck it. I'll keep crab cakes, absolutely. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Don't need that anymore. Four diamonds is really good. Quartz, purple mushroom, ruby. Don't sell strange doll. Get rid of the shoes. Get rid of the sword. Bombs here, Omni Geodes here. Alright, good. No Magma Geodes that time. Weird. Whew! Level 8 combat. Oh, now I get the explosive ammo! Oh, now that is very interesting indeed. Ooh. Mm. I just spilled cold water down my shirt. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, it's so fucking cold. Oh my god. Yeah, I do have a slingshot. I actually saved it specifically for that purpose of getting that explosive ammo. Look at this shit, dude. Look at this. This is it's in the Dude, that's South America. Oh my god. That's South America. That is the continent of South America. Kind of. It looks like Argentina, actually. That looks like the that looks like South America or Argentina. That's kind of amazing, actually. Do you need a bib? Don't belittle me, alright? Yeah, okay, whatever. I'll use a bib, and you guys are gonna have, like, stains and shit on your shirt, alright? You guys are gonna have, like, stains and shit on your shirt. Then who's gonna look the fool, alright? Yeah, I think bibs are kind of cool, actually. 
That legit looked like the, the continent, I almost said the country, of South America. Kind of insane. Maybe I should move there. And that's what it's telling me. I mean, isn't that like the same shit as like when somebody pulls out like a potato chip that's like green and in the shape of Jesus' head? Like it's a sign, right? And it's a sign. What's up, Kianity? How are you doing? Alrighty. Well, let's go to the beach. Beach. Let's go get a wave. And let's go see if there's any forageables. But that wasn't in the Nikki song. She didn't say that. But I'm sure she meant it. I'm sure that's why she was going to the beach. Beach. How are you feeling today? Yeah, fine. Green? Yeah, you ever pull out, like, a green potato chip? I mean, shit, you ever, like, cut a potato and it's, like, a little green? It's fine. This motherfucker never had a green potato chip. Ninky Minjaj. I want glass shards or a dried starfish. Yes! It listened to me. Let's go. Yeah, grass shards are really, or glass shards are really common. Um, I don't know why I hadn't gotten them yet up until this point. Hi. Hi, Scarlet Woods. How are you doing? Alright, this is open. I can donate this shit. Strange, though. all. And... <laughs> Should I put him next to his other guy? Where was the other guy? Hey, I moved this stupid chicken statue. There you go. Put my... Put my blokes together. Wait. Well, how do you move something when it's at the bottom of the... Oh, because you can move the screen. Oh, there we go. Yeah, put my guys together there. Don't worry. For those of you who are having, like, a, a nightmare over how unorganized this museum is, trust me when I say that I will uh, definitely, totally fix it once I get to the end of this challenge. You have my, like, word, kind of. Like, I might. Just know that if it brings you any, like, relief from your mental turmoil of how disgusting that museum is, is that uh, it's like a 50% chance that I'll, like, clean it up at the end of the challenge. All right? I'm having 84 nightmares I can't wake up from. Oh, calm down. The third homie was forgotten? There's only two strange dolls. Unless you're talking about the ancient doll, but that's like the bastard of the doll world. Nobody wants them. Alright, 15 geodes. Show me something good. Great start. Okay, I think I need that, actually. I was ready to... Nope, never mind. I can be a sarcastic bitch again. I mean, 11 Iridium would be great in a regular playthrough. And I already have that. And, okay, I'm getting mad. Okay, I do need that, I think, right? Yeah, I was about to say, I do not recognize that. I definitely think I have that. That's pyrite, I think. I have so much reorganization to do in that case. Look, man, I if it was my playthrough, not on camera, at the witness of absolutely nobody but myself, I would leave it the way it is. Is that new? No. I would leave it the way it is, and I would have no remorse for doing so. Damn it, dude. Come on. One new thing. Oh, my God. One new thing out of all that. You disappoint me. Oh, no. I do need opal. Did I say I didn't need that? I can't remember. God damn it. My, like, count is entirely off now. My count is, like, entirely off now, because I don't remember how much I had. I have to count every single thing in the museum. Move, Penny! Yeah, pay up, fucking Penny. Wait, no, I did already have that. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I did. Oh, my God, I'm so stupid. Don't be rude to Penny. Her ass is in the way, all right? And the rest of her as well. But mostly that big ass. Sorry, psych, I actually, uh, no, I don't need that, <laughs> stupid ass. Quit selling me things. Alright, let me count, just to make sure my counter's right. It's very easy to get it off. I didn't mean it like that. Alright, whatever, ignore that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 40, 
4, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. All right, we are right. All right, good. Got the level 10 combat. Do I choose Brute plus 15 more damage or Defender plus 25 HP? I feel like 25 HP. I mean, I don't know. Are you like dying often? Why are you digging in the trash? I was looking for you. <laughs> uh, whew. I, I don't know. If you like die a lot, then that 25 HP might be like really good. I don't know. Or if, I don't know, you feel like you're not doing enough damage. I, dude, I don't know. Fucking... If you're dying all the time, I'd say the HP. Take it back? I ain't taking shit back, alright? I'd do it to any NPC. Penny just happened to be sitting there, alright? Jesus Christ, I was smited for my insult. Christ. You know, it's really not smart to be wearing a metal helmet in a thunderstorm. Ever tell you guys about how I used to wear a rubber band around my, like, forehead? You know those, like, big, thick rubber bands that, like, wraps, like, vegetables at the grocery store? I used to wear one of those in, like, thunderstorms outside, and I'd be like, Oh, well, it's not gonna hit me because I got, like, rubber, and, like, it's not supposed to hit rubber or something. Or it's supposed to, like, deflect it away. I did. You're saying, no, you did not, as if it's, like, so unbelievable that, like, a kid could do that, but I did. Why am I keeping leather boots? Is he stupid? The helmet will protect you. Yeah, because, like, reasons, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, alright, Gertrude. That's way... That's so believable, though. What are you, like, yelling at me for? You're screaming at me. Rubber absorbs and deflects lightning. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying. These people don't believe me. Eh. Not Emily? No, I wouldn't do that to Emily. You're right, actually. I would never say that to Emily. In fact, if I, if somebody said that to Emily, what I just said about Penny, I'd probably, like, leave their stream. The fact that you Penny stands are still watching me must means you really like me. Because, man, if somebody said that about, like, my favorite character in this game, I would have left. I would have fucking left. So you guys must really like me. Oh no, it's fall, and I get stupid-ass fall music, and I hate fall. Fall's stupid. I don't like it. If I could eliminate a season, it'd be... Winter. Let's be honest. It'd be winter. I'm a Penny Stan. I feel like... Penny Stans are the same people that, like... Whose favorite bread is, like, white toast. Or, like, white bread. Your favorite bread is white bread. Your favorite, like... Seasoning is salt. Your favorite subject in school was math. You have, like, a favorite, like, shirt, and it's, like, this plain white t-shirt. I want to bully you. Come at me, then. You got nothing. Yo, maths was the best thing in school? Alright. Melvin. Oh, Mel- Oh, Math McMelvin over here. Cake? Thanks. Thanks, Ma. A rare and beautiful event will take place. I don't give a shit. Shove it up your ass. A marvelous- What is he looking for? What, did he just flirt with me? Oh, a lobster. Oh, okay. Says the guy whose favorite ice cream flavor is vanilla. I mean, dude, if you think about it, I like Penny. It's not- I'm not all that far gone from all these examples that I'm giving. I like Penny. But she's definitely not my choice, you know? If Penny's your choice, then you fit all of those criteria. If you like Penny, yeah, a couple of those things might fit you, and yeah. My favorite ice cream flavor is vanilla. But honestly, I might even, like, say, like, a cookie dough or a cookies and cream. Hit it like a cookies and cream, maybe. If I'm getting, like, a little wild. Look, I'm so red when I... Look at this fall. Look at what fall does to me, man. It turns me fucking red. Look at me. I feel like I'm in, like, I have, like, a snake tongue coming out of my mouth. Wow! 
Crazy, right? All right. Probably do um, right, one more Skull Cavern run here. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Mmm, Oreo ice cream is the best thing ever. That is an AI-generated sentence. I don't know, just the way it's written. Something about it. Boom. I love spring and fall and don't like summer and winter as much, as, as much, but still like them. Well, Jesus Christ, you must like everything then. You're just happy all year round. You don't have seasonal depression. You like them all. All the times of year are beautiful and magical in their own way. Oh my god, you're not gonna- Mother Nature will never fuck you, dude, alright? You're never gonna fuck Mother Nature. Mint Oreo is my favorite. Mint belongs in toothpaste, alright? And that's it. Mint belongs in toothpaste, gum, mouthwash. That's it. And notice the similarity between all of those three things is that you don't swallow any of them. It exists purely to freshen up your mouth. That's the only place where mint belongs, is in things that you don't swallow. Mint belongs in my mouth. Dagnall's name is Mint. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. That's so unaxnew of you to apologize for saying that. Mint and Nutella, though? Oh my god, dude. Don't even get me started on Nutella. It's a hazelnut spread! It's not chocolate! It's not chocolate! <sighs> You're sucking copium. It's totally just chocolate, man. York peppermint patties? Oh my god, Jesus Christ, dude. Are you the same guys to, like, eat those chalky mints that you got at those restaurants in, like, the 2000s? You know, like, the restaurants that'll have, like, two things where you pay for your meal? It'll have a thing for toothpicks and a thing for those, like, chalky-ass mint candies that they give you. What are those supposed to do? Jesus Christ, no. Can I have a golden relic or something? Man, these things are fucking... Golden Mask, Golden Relic are so fucking common. I haven't gotten either of them. I should catch a flounder or a sandfish for Penny. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, yeah, this is... Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. Holy shit. I think I saw that guy spawn. This is so much better, this sword. Jesus Christ, I was thinking about not getting this because I liked my existing sword. Good God. The heck is wrong with me? Are those called Buttermins? They're disgusting, and I hate them. I hid something behind the community center. Oh shit, what is that? I forget. What is that? I mean, honestly, like... This will pay for more bombs in the future. Yeah, like a dinner mint. I don't know what the hell they are. They're gross. They're nasty. Okay, I'll just leave. Even though that was a good place for a bomb. Is that the Juno? Oh, I think it is the Junimo statue. I think you're right, actually. I think that's so true, actually. Yeah. Wait. Why does Penny love sandfish? Does anyone know? She likes to lick them when no one is watching. I think she likes to lick them when people are watching. I think she makes... I keep seeing these guys spawn. I think she likes to make it a spectacle, honestly. I think she likes doing it. I think Penny's like the weird one, you know? The one that like everyone's kind of friends with, but like, you know, they're kind of like the weird one. Queen shit. Yeah, she likes licking sandfish. That is a weird one. Why does she like that, though? Ooh, hole. Emily? Ah, uh, I hate to say it, but you're right. Yeah, you're right. She is the weird one. Emily is the weird one. You're right. She is. I'm literally talking shit about Penny, but no, like, literally. that is that not, like, Emily's, like plot line is that she's kind of weird and like nobody kind of likes her because she's kind of weird 
And she doesn't get along with her sister because she's weird and shit? Yeah, wait, you're right. God damn it, you are right. I got another farm totem. That was a Pepper Rex. I do still need a couple things from Pepper Rexes. Um, prehistoric... Uh, there's something I need. I'll know it when I see it. What's up, big PR? What's up, my guy? That's not it. Emily is a crystals girl. Yeah, but she's cool, okay? Alright, I like her. I just think she's neat. I bet Emily's the kind of person that prefers taking alternative and homemade remedies rather than going to the hospital. Dude! She has a doctor's visit scheduled in the year, alright? Every NPC does. They're clearly not fans of alternative medicine for the purposes of ignoring modern medicine, alright? She clearly, like, she does, okay? She totally does, because she has a doctor's appointment. I don't remember where in the year it is, but it always annoys me, because I couldn't find her when I needed to give her a gift, alright? She totally goes to Harvey's to get, like, her flu shot or whatever. She's so defensive? Well, dude, someone's coming for my wig! But does she bring her parrot to the vet? No, that'd be kind of weird. And also, why would she be going to the vet? Wait, there isn't a vet. I was like, wait, I was like, why are you calling it the vet? It's Harvey's office, but wait, I was like, never mind. There isn't even a vet in the game, alright? Except for Kent. Didn't she kill a bird? No, she didn't kill a bird. The bird flew into her house, and then she brought it back to, like, health, alright? Fuck this fucking floor, I'm gonna puke in my pants. No, she cured a bird. She saved a bird. That bird would have fucking died without her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So conveniently we remember now. Yeah, okay. How quickly we remember. That had to jog your, like, memory. In your old age, fuck it. You know, that, you know, thoughts are fleeting. Memories are short. Can't even remember what you had for breakfast this morning. Yeah, she nursed her parrot to full health back ju by herself. Exactly. I woke up this morning and my shoulders hurt. Which sounds like the start of a Jerry Seinfeld joke. Parrots have very long lifespans. Yeah, there's parrots that are alive that are older than like you and me and all of us. There's like 50 year old parrots out there. There's parrots out there that remember like 1980s. That's kind of crazy. I guess there's people too, but that's not nearly as interesting. There's people out there that remember when they asked you in restaurants, smoking or non smoking? Yeah, I saw the darndest thing the other day at this bar. They had a sign outside the bar that said, This bar is now non smoking. And I don't know laws and shit. What's that called? A lawyer? Yeah, I don't really know like that, but I'm pretty sure indoor places haven't been able to allow smoking in, like, years? Unless I'm crazy? I don't think you've been allowed to smoke inside of a building for years, at least in the United States. I don't know, though. Maybe if you have an exception... You can. Rats. You should go to France? <laughs> no. Although, are you saying that, like, they always smoke indoors in France? Well, yeah, when, like, you know... Isn't that, like, you guys' breakfast out there? No vape tricks allowed. Michigan, it was 2010. Yeah, I feel like that was around the right time. I feel like it was even earlier than that. I went to a bowling alley that allowed indoor smoking. I feel like that place is, like, lawless. Bowling alleys are, like, pretty lawless, all things considered. I'm not surprised. 
The casinos, yeah, and casinos as well. Like, they're lawless facilities, but most places don't allow it. Put it there. Put her there. I'm not getting many holes. Am I getting Omni Geodes? Not really. Not to the extent that I would like, at least. Oh, I don't have copper. Um, here, eat cave carrots. Do people smoke at your bowling place? No, but they definitely drink. But, you know, that's allowed, so whatever. No, not really, though. Not in my bowling league, at least. I got back from the gym, so now I'm watching the stream. Holy fucking shit. What'd you do? 15 lat rows? 30 minutes on the treadmill? Maybe the elliptical? Sorry, I'm just making conversation. I'm doing the thing. We're like, I'm, what's it called? Small talk. Sorry, I'm doing the thing. When I lived in France, bowling was two euros on a Monday, and I got so good. It was like your average. Ah. I benched 673 pounds. That's kind of crazy, actually. When I was in high school, I benched... No, I squatted. I don't want to tell you what my bench was, because it's kind of embarrassing. I squatted... I was in the 200s, like the mid-200s. For reference, that's basic... Take, like, a house, okay? That's kind of... No, maybe not a house, but, like, a car. That's like taking a car and putting it on your back and, like, squatting it. It was really impressive, actually. I was quite impressed with my... There's no way I could do that anymore, because, you know, I'm not in that kind of shape anymore. But, like, it was really impressive, actually. I would thrash you at bowling. You wouldn't thrash your fucking little... Th I don't know. You say a car is 200 pounds? Yeah. That's like taking... It's like, yeah, exactly. It's like squatting a car, dude. What do these give you? Speed and defense. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Yeah, well, did you lose your school's yearly 5k run by 6 minutes on merit? Dead last out of everyone in school, 849th out of 849 people. Are you trauma dumping? Are you trauma dumping? Like, is this like a personal experience of yours, and you just... Or are you saying that I, I did that? I don't know, man. That's a little too specific. That's not something that you just be like, Oh, no, like, I, I didn't do that. Like, no, you... Hey, man, it's okay. Like, it's all good, brother, man. Like, you don't gotta worry about it. Like, it's alright. No judgments here. Oh, shit. Whole city. I want Omni Geodes. Thank you. Thank you. Someone's gotta lose? I mean, I guess so. Pick a hole? I like that hole. Eight levels out of that. You'll get through it. It'll be alright, man. You just gotta do a little bit more on the fitness gram pacer test, alright? And you'll be just fine. Just put in the work, and you'll be just fine. Move! I'm gonna get something juicy from all these crates. Something juicy. I gotta say, I'm really underwhelmed by the amount of juice that I got from all those. I'm very underwhelmed. Don't remind me of the fitness gram pacer test. Oh, relax. It's not- it wasn't that bad, alright? You guys so dramatic- You know what was the worst gym activity? Fuck the fitness gram pacer test. Oh, fuck. Well, I do- this is a lot of fucking dinosaurs, dude. What the hell? Alright, well, I do need something from these guys. I can't remember which one it is, but it's- it's something. You know what was the worst gym activity? Not the fitness gram pacer test. The fucking wall sits. Y'all ever do wall sits? Because they're worse. They're much worse than Fitness Gram Pacer Test is. Damn wall sits. Okay, don't need that. Fuck wall sits and fuck planks as well while we're at it. 
Wall sits and planks. No. Those are fine? No, they're not. They're torture. They're torture on the highest level. I better get what I need from these guys. Hang on, let me actually just... Let me, let me look. Let me look at it. Alright, it's... What do I need from these guys? Still? Pepper Rexes? Uh, let's see here. You guys know the people that do, like... Before they, like, turn a page in a book? Why do they do that? Oh, it was a rib that I needed, but I got ribs now. Okay, so I actually don't need anything from these guys. Yeah, because I got a rib earlier. Okay, never mind. I don't need anything from these guys. Forget I said anything. It's fine. Like, really, just for, just forget it. It's, it's like, whatever. It, I'm kind of embarrassed, really. Kind of, like... I'm kind of embarrassed. are easy once you get the pattern down. Ah. It's okay. To get a grip on the page to make it easier to flip? Yeah, at the, like, risk of, like, well, not the risk, it's literally, I don't know, like, hands are gross, dude. I don't care how much you wash them. Like, a hand that has gone unwashed for five minutes is gross. You can wash your hands every ten minutes and they still get gross, you know? And also your skin is dry as hell. Like, that's just... I, I don't know. I don't like licking my hands. I don't even like touching, like, things when my hands are gross. I don't know. I don't like it. Let alone, like, it's just, like, disease and shit. I don't know. Why would you do that? What, to make a page turn easier? It's not worth it. Alright. What's this? Ah! The shag bush! Yeah, alright. Alrighty. I love the shag bush. I just don't read. I mean, yeah, it's not a problem that I encounter very often in difficulty turning a page, but... Because, you know... I mean, I don't know. Like, I want to be like, oh, yeah, I don't really read either, but I'm not, like, bragging when I say it. But also, like, I do read a good amount. It's just, like, not books, you know? When people say, like, oh, I don't read... Well, that doesn't mean that they don't, like, know... That they're not, like, well-educated. Or that they don't, like, know how to, like, you know, speak good English or write good English. It just means that maybe they just don't read books. And that's the case for me, you know? Like, I don't... I read, like... the I read the fucking, like, wi random Wikipedia articles, like... I'm doing the thing where I just say, like, like. I literally did it in the... I literally did it as I was bitching about it. I read Wikipedia articles for the most random shit. Like, 11 o'clock at night, and I'm not quite tired enough to go to bed, so I'll wind down and read Napoleon's Wikipedia article. So just because I don't read doesn't mean I don't read, you know what I mean? List of unusual deaths. Yeah, there's so much stuff on Wikipedia. That's fascinating to read. Six levels. Oh, dude, it's a good bomb. Hang on, one more. I gotta, get, I gotta squ squim me in another bomb here. Oh, dude, 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 no, 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 dude. This is so many rocks, dude. You gotta fit in another bomb in here. Ah, make a bomb. Big bomb. Chuck it down. Fuck it. If it hits you, who cares? So many rocks. Yeah, I was about to say, dude, I can get a shit ton of Omni Geodes from that. Oh my good lord. I got six just from that one bomb spot. Good lord. Alright, go home. Alright, we're good. Thanks for the hydrate. Alrighty, that was... that Because of that one level, that made that like a very, very respectable trip. I got 19 Omni Geodes from that. Good lord. Alright. Do you guys think that we trade those for artifact troves or do you think that we start there do you think do you think we start doing that or do you think we we keep cracking them i don't know i think we keep cracking them but we might be getting close to the point where it might be more worthwhile to trade for artifact stones i still have a good bit of minerals left and because of that i think it's probably worth it to keep cracking them because i do still have a good bit of minerals left I know it's it's painful to put it in there, but I don't need it. 
sorry, I know. You're literally shitting and crying right now. I know, I know, I know. I think we're... I don't know. I, I'm gonna crack them, but we might want to start considering buying artifact troves soon. I don't know. Watch Clint give you one thing from them. I mean, we are getting to the point where, like, we're running out of minerals, you know? We are kind of running out of minerals. Like, I have a list here, but... This was, of course, at the start of the stream. We found a good bit since then. Like, uh, Tiger's Eye, um, Bearite, Eremite, Dolomite, Esperite, Fluoropatite, Geminite, Kyanite, Necoite, like, Celestine, Marble. How have I not found Marble? Hematite, Jasper, Ghost Crystal. Like, we still have a good bit of minerals that we haven't gotten yet. So, I think we still crack, but we might be getting to the point where... We might want to go for artifacts instead of minerals. I don't know. I can collect them. Oh, yeah, I can. Can I? Artifacts. Okay, so here's the artifacts I have remaining, which is what you would get from the artifacts trove. And here's the minerals I have remaining. It's actually a lot less than I thought. But it's still a decent amount. I mean, this looks... This looks worse than I thought it was. I honestly thought I had more artifacts than that. But like, this is a Nautilus shell. This is a Dwarven Helm, which you get from Geode, so that's still worth cracking. I thought this was an Ancient Sword, which I have gotten already. Wait. Dude, this isn't right. I have gotten some of these. I've gotten an Ancient Sword. I, I can literally show you it in the museum. This is a prehistoric scapula. That's a Dwarven computer thing. Dried starfish, nautilus fossil, skeletal hand. Okay, that's really weird. I have found this. I remember it. You sold it? No, it's in the museum. I literally can show you it right now. Oh, wait, those are ones that I did so sell. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Why would you why would they put it here if you're selling it? You wouldn't want to sell these. That's really stupid. If that's the list of things that you sold, why would you sell artifacts? I mean, I'm doing it because it's just extras and it's not a serious playthrough, but in a normal playthrough, why would you sell artifacts? Why is having it in your inventory not enough? Because you have to ship everything? Well, that's dumb. I think maybe that's fine for, like, crops and stuff, but what's the point of that with artifacts? You're not supposed to ship those. You're supposed to put them in here. Because it's an achievement. Well, I guess. But that really makes it inaccurate to show what I have donated. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. You know what I mean? This kind of makes it a pain in the ass to show what I need still from that tab. I have to actually go into the museum itself. Yeah, Dwarver's Helms as well are not very rare. I mean, there's a lot of things. Like the dried starfish from the beach is like a pretty common item as well. The glass shards that I only literally got like... 20 minutes ago are very common as well. So there's a lot of things that are rare that I got. Like, yeah, here's the ancient sword right here. But the thing says that I haven't gotten it. You just need to collect them. See, that's what I thought. But I've collected the ancient sword, but I, you know, I guess I haven't sold one, so I don't know. I look like I, I was about to say, I feel like I have more artifacts than that tab was showing, which was making me a little suspicious. I don't know. Yeah, and wait, no, I haven't sold strange dolls, and yet they're here, so that can't be the case. That can't be the case, because I've sold strange... I haven't sold strange dolls. Yeah, total found, not sold. I have found this, but it doesn't show up. How weird. But it's it's in the museum. You, you saw it. I literally just showed it to you. Bug? I don't know. All right, 19 geodes. No, not something I need. Not something I need. Not something I need. Obsidian, right? Yeah. Yes, something I need. Very good, 69. Oh boy. Not something I need, right? Not something I need. Whoever said that I'm going to get one thing from these, I hate that you're probably going to be correct.
Oh, it's looking pretty jover here. Oof. I know, you can read it if you need them. If you have a rover, it'll say Gunther needs this or something. <clears throat> who who did that? Who manifested that? Who manifested that that was going to happen? I want them timed out for one hour. Which is not much of a punishment, because I'm going to leave like in a second here. All right, well, whatever. We got one thing, and I guess it's only fair that we ended off on 69, right? Because it's funny. So you guys don't understand about the old, um... If you, if you were like me, and, like, a lot of people were joking about the 69, like, what's the deal with this confounded number? Well, see... It's, um... You just sold something you needed. You got two, you sold it, though. You needed the funny blue rock. You can buy it back from... What? The funny blue rock. Alright, I want you to point to me... I want you to point which one I sold. Okay, tell me the row in the column to tell me which one I sold. Is it this one? Oh, I think it might have been this one. The Celest Celestine. Is that it? Is it this one? I mean, even if I did, I can refresh the day and I'm going to get the same shit anyway. Is it that one? Alright, let's see if we can buy it back. Hey. What's going on, big guy? Yeah. You have to refresh. God damn it. Oh well. Isn't it in the museum already? Uh, it's what I thought, but it said collected one, and if I sold that one, then it's pretty obvious that uh, I sold it. I thought it was too, and that's why I sold it. I thought it was in there too. I was like, oh, I recognize that. But admittedly, it looks very similar to... Yeah, see, it's here, and now it's grayed out. It looks very similar to Slate, and it kind of looks similar to Opal, so I think that that's what I was confusing it with. It had a description. The description will say Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. What's up, Miku? Mikuni. Mik Uni? What's up? How you doing? Yeah, whatever. You can just refresh. And you'll get the same... We'll get the same night... If, if anyone's curious why I don't just refresh the day until I get whatever I need. Because the same... You're going to get... It's predetermined what you're going to get here. I'm going to get the same 19 things I did here that I did the first time, so. It's fine. It's fine. Relax. Alright. Yeah, and I guess you can't buy it back. You could probably buy it back if you stayed in the store, but since I walked out, it probably was not good anymore. I don't know. Which favorite season in Stardew based strictly off looks? Probably summer. Probably summer, if I'm being honest. I, I like summer in real life, so I might be biased, but... You see that little piece of dust that just flew by my camera? Oh no. My dirty ass. I don't know. I'd say spring, but you always start the game in spring, and so it kind of looks like the default season, you know? That looks like the default season. This guy is summer-pilled? I'm normal, dude. I like summer, okay? I'd say spring, but it's like, it's, it's boring, it's basic. That's how, like, the game just is by default, you know? My favorite season is not crab cum season, and that is a disgusting comment, and I should time you out for an hour for saying that. Which would be the rest of the stream, plus. Never understood people who prefer summer over winter. Um, well, I personally live in a absolute hellscape in the wintertime, because we, we get what's called lake effect snow. And what that is, is it basically means that we get pounded with snow um, eight months of the year. 
So the four months of the year where the weather's quite pleasant and nice, uh, you really have to like cherish and value that. Now, if you live in, I don't know, California, and you don't really get snow, and honestly, your winters, all things considered, are very mild. Yeah, I can see why you'd like winter. But not where I'm from. Winter in PA fucking blows shit, as you say. Yeah, and then you're right. I hate being cold. I would rather be hot than be cold. That's the one that I... That's the one that I need to donate. Exactly. I'd rather be like, hot and sweaty, than be cold and miserable. I have no, like, motor functions when I'm cold and miserable. Like, I feel like my entire body gets, like, a motor skill debuff. To put it in gamer terms, so that you all understand. Alright, very good. That's 70 things donated. Yeah, and, like, Minnesota. You gonna call somebody crazy for not liking winter in Minnesota, where it gets, like, minus 25 degrees in International Falls? You kidding me? Alright, Triple shot espressos are pretty good, actually. I'll take those. I love this nudity entertainment. What do you mean, nudity? I feel so slow and sluggish in the heat. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just fucking built differently. Alright, there we go. For real this time. Alright, we should have 70 things donated. I'll count just to, like, double, triple check, but I'm pretty sure it should be 70. Alright, let's see here. I'll give her a little checker rooney. You guys like that checker rooney? Let's see here. 5, 10, 12, 14, 16. I scared myself. Uh, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 40. 4, 45, 47, 49, 51, 53, 55, 57, 59, 61, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Alright, 70. Out of 95, a mere 25 things remaining. A mere 25 things remaining. Pretty good. Another good day of progress. We started at 54, so we made 16 pieces worth of progress today. We're not really slowing down, which is nice. That's nice to see that we're not slowing down. It's nice to see that we made like 24 things of progress on the first day. And then, well, hang on. I, I've actually been keeping count here. Um, so on the first day, we made 24 pieces of progress. The next day, we made 12. On day two, we only made 12. The next day, we made 18. And then today, we made 16. So, 12, 18, 16. I mean, we're not really slowing down, despite the fact that there becomes less and less things to donate over time. So I'm actually very happy with the progress that we made today. Even if it's, you know, not the same as, like, what it was on day one. That's very understandable, you know? I like it. I think, I think it's going well. Hopefully that amount of progress keeps going as we go into uh, day four, but we'll have to worry about that on Thursday. I'm going to be streaming early on Thursday at noon Eastern. <laughs> oh! Holy shit! Look at this guy go. 13, 24, 40, Zero, zero, and we're at 70 of 95. Now I'm clapping. Yeah, that's right. All righty. Woohoo Thursday. Woohoo is every day, man. All right. Thanks for watching today. I appreciate it. I will not be live tomorrow. I'll be back again on Thursday at noon Eastern because I will be busy later in the day. So, you know. A busy guy. I got like things to do, and I got friends. I'm gonna go like go out with friends. Go have a brewski with my friends. You do some bowling. You guys have friends. You don't have friends. You really, you really don't have friends. Like none, not at all. Like. You go to, like, work friends or, like, school? Like, not at work or school?
What do you mean? How do you not have friends? You know, you, you just, you talk to anyone? Really? Really? None. Do you, do you even try? You haven't left the house? How long? A week. Man. I mean, like, wow. No, they don't count. Online friends don't count. No. This is like what it looked like when I first turned on the camera, and then now it's like this. Whatever, I'll just do it like that. Yeah, a shadow diagonal. I'm a Krobus. Uh, anyway, uh, that was disgusting. Don't- that was not good. Oh yeah, you know what? Somebody suggested something good. I should move the TV forward so when I check my luck for the Skull Caverns. Which actually... Well, I can't do anything because I haven't started the timer yet, doofus. Uh, and also we're at 70 of 95. We're at 70 of 95. I went too far. I went too far. Alright, here we go. 70 of 95. And what we have remaining is... A good chunk of minerals and a good chunk of artifacts. Like, we kind of got like... Well, hang, I, I should really go to the museum and like check what I still need here. So I can cross it off in my notebook here. Let me go do that real quick. Um, but yeah, we got the 70 yesterday. Not yeah, No, not yesterday. I didn't stream yesterday. We got the 70 on Tuesday. Um, which is pretty good, actually. Pretty good. I'm not expecting... I would be surprised if we even get to, like, 80 today. Because, to be honest with you, of course, the less things that we have left to donate, the less things we're gonna find. Like, I only have 25 things left here. So I'm not gonna be expecting to get things at, like, an insane rate that I have been getting for the last few streams. So... I'd kind of be surprised if we even get to 80 today. I already sense that the Omni Geodes are giving us less and less every time, but we'll see. Ooh, Diagonal on the Stardew, what will he do? <laughs> now you're talking to me like I'm like a zoo animal. Like you're like knocking on the glass. What's he up to? What's he gonna do? He gonna throw his poop? It's so crisp outside, I love it. Yeah, I cracked open my windows. It's nice outside. Thanks for the happy partner anniversaries. Yeah, two years ago, I became a partner on Twitch. And I, uh... Yeah. And I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's cool. It's nothing... I want to be, like... I want to be, like, demeaning. And I want to, like, be self... Um, what would you call that? Self-loathing, maybe? And be like, ah, why, whatever. Like, I don't fucking... Why, what did I do, you know? All right, anyway, um, so here's what we got last stream. Started, what was the first thing that we donated last stream so that I can start crossing these things off here? Did I ever cross off, like, a fairy stone, for example? Uh, ooh, no, I didn't cross off a fairy stone. Is that sandstone? Prismatic shards, sandstone. I think sandstone I do have crossed off here, do I not? I think that's sandstone. Is that sandstone to the, right here, where right where my mouse cursor is? I think it is, right? Okay, so last stream we got a fairy stone. Cross that off. We got whatever this is. See, this is the thing. When you put them in the exhibit, but they're not, like, along the edges, you can't tell what this is. Like, this is- I can't tell what this is because I can't read it. What is this thing right here? I know those are star shards to the right of that. I can't- I can't read it. Like, I have my mouse cursor hovered over it. For some reason, it still thinks I'm trying to read the dino egg. It's- it does look like a poisonous potato from Minecraft, doesn't it? Alright, well, whatever. I'm gonna cross off star shards, because I know that that's to the right of that. That's hematite? Okay. Alright, good. I'm gonna trust that you're right about that, because I don't know the difference. This blue one is... What's the blue one? 
I want to- I really shouldn't be running the timer while I'm doing this. I should have done this before stream, but whatever. What's the blue one? Kyanite. You can check the minerals tab if it's not bugged. Well, we didn't we see the other day that, that it was bugged, right? Although I guess I can see... Okay, so like this maybe is then... Okay, so that's barite. Okay, okay, that is a good idea. That is a good idea. Okay, then to the left of barite is emerald, which that's easy, and I'm kind of embarrassed that I only just got around to donating emerald. Uh, that's a prehistoric rib to the right of that. Time loss? Oh, boo-hoo. Prehistoric ribs. And then to the right of that is this, Aronite. Aronite. Got it. And then down here, that is a... It's not a thunder egg. That's a Neko... Dude, it's Nekoite! And then to the right of that is fucking Esperite. Got it. Okay, and then to the right of that, I think it's a fire opal, right? Yeah, fire opal. I think I got a regular opal as well. Do I not? Yeah, but I also have glass shards and the other strange doll. I remember I replaced the chicken statue with the other strange doll. So I got the other strange doll, and then we got glass shards. Which I don't know how it took me so long to get glass shards. Alright, and then it's opal. Oh. And then it's, what is this one? Celestine. Celestine, Celestine. There it is. And then, finally, we have a dwarf computer. Is that what that is? Dwarf gadget, that's it. All right, then dwarf gadget. So here's what we have left here. Um, as far as artifacts go, we still have an anchor, an ancient seed, an arrowhead, a bone flute, a chewing stick, a dried starfish, elvis jewelry, nautilus fossil, uh, prehistoric scapula, rusty conch, skeletal hand, and then for stuff that you get from geodes, or sorry, we also have a golden mask and a golden relic. As far as stuff though, oh, and a dwarf scroll one and a dwarf scroll four. And a rare disc. But rare discs are probably from... Well, no, you can get... Okay, yeah, I'll count rare discs and a dwarvish helm, maybe. Um, and then for minerals, we have... Tiger's Eye, Dolomite, Fluorepatite, Geminite, Lunarite, Ghost Crystal, Jasper, Marble, and that's it. So actually, more artifacts than... More artifacts, I feel, than minerals at this point. So maybe we should start saving our Omni Geodes for artifact troves. That being said, we do still have some stuff that we need to get from Geodes. But maybe we should get, like, regular Geodes and Frozen Geodes and Magma Geodes from the uh, regular caves. Maybe that's even what I'll do today. It, like, in what I mean by that is literally this in-game day, not this entire day. Just to see if I have any better luck with that. I don't know. Thanks for the partner anniversary wishes. Basalt. Boo. I'm the number one basalt hater. What's your problem with basalt, dude? It's kind of cool. I like basalt. All right. Hang on. How do you... All right. Coal and, uh, coal and iron. Do I have coal and iron? I do. Or at least I have iron. And then... Well, right. You take the... Uh, I can't make the really good bombs, but I can make these. Let's make a good bit of these. Yeah. That's good. Good. Sorry, I'm hiccuping. I gotta hold my breath. Hiccuping's a skill issue. Oh, what's my luck? Very good. All right, let's go to the regular mines. Let's see how many, like, magma geodes and frozen geodes and shit that we can get. You know, maybe Omni Ge Omni Geodes are good if it makes sense. Oh, I get the, uh, oh, it's blackberry season now. So now I can have blackberries with my salmon berries. Oh, boy. I still have my salmon berries from spring. They're, like, rotten. Oh, my God. They're probably, like, brown. Anyway, um, if it makes sense, Omni Geodes are good for getting everything. But sometimes you get something more commonly from Magma Geodes or Frozen Geodes. So, like, for example, uh, Celestine might be like a 2% chance from a frozen geode, 
but a 0.5% chance from an Omni Geode, with the benefit of Omni Geodes being that, of course, you can kind of get everything from them. So I think we should maybe look for more, like, specialized Geodes. Like, let's see what the remaining minerals that I have are all acquired from, at least from most likely standpoint. So, Tiger's Eye are magma, Dolomite is magma, Fluorepatite is frozen, Geminite is frozen, Lunarite is frozen, uh, Ghost Crystal's frozen, Jasper's magma, Marble is frozen. It looks like most stuff is frozen, but definitely a few things that are magma as well. So let's go for frozens today. Let's go for frozen geodes today. I think that would be a good idea. I don't know, how do you get frozen geodes? Is it just the same as in, like, the skull caverns, where, like, just breaking rocks just gives you frozen geodes randomly? I don't really remember, to be honest with you. I went to Ikea today. I love Ikea. I have a confession to make. I've never had Ikea meatballs before. I claim to be an Ikea fanboy, and yet I've never had their meatballs. I'm actually a bit of a fraud. Ah. Well, at least I can, like, two... What? It's not a one-shot? Well, at least I can, like, handle all the enemies in here. And actually, the enemies often straight up just drop geodes as well, don't they? Am I gaslighting myself? But I'm pretty sure, like, the enemies sometimes just drop magma geodes. Or, uh, frozen geodes in this case. Maybe I'm gaslighting myself, though. Oh, there we go. We got two from a rock. All right, all right, good. So, it's, it's, so it is just the same as getting omni geodes from the skull caverns. Okay. Well, that works, then. Good morning, Darth Fluffyface. I guess, yeah, it is quite early out there in, like, some places of the world. I guess it is pretty early out there. I was like, what? Is, is, I, I know it's, like, early, but it's not morning, but I guess in some places it is, right? That's crazy. I prefer the hot dogs to the meatballs. Dude, if you're gonna go to the Ikea, you've gotta get the meatballs, right? You can get a hot dog anywhere. You can go to Sam's Club. You can go to Costco, get a hot dog. Buck 50 hot dog and sodi combo. That's not why you go to the Ikea, though, you know? It's 9 a.m. here. Oh, jeez, Louise. Swedes are shaking in their buttes right now. Yeah. <laughs> Out the dog. You know what I just can't get anywhere? A vegan hot dog that costs less than a meat one. That's why I love Ikea, because they actually make food I can eat. Okay, I guess that's a fair, en fair enough reason then. Sam's Club has good pretzels. I should try some Sam's Club pretzels. You guys know this stupid-ass fucking establishment called Wetzel's Pretzels and their stupid-ass name? I hate the name Wetzel's Pretzels. Oh, by the way, McZoop. Thanks for the uh, four months. I think I missed that. Twitch is saying I need to let you know that I've subbed to you for four months. Well, you can actually dismiss that message until the next month rolls around. But, you know, I'm glad that you decided to share that with the class. I, 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 I for one, really appreciate that. Thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you. It's 11 a.m. and I have class in an hour and my head hurts. You know, I'd say like, oh, take the day off, you know, don't go to class, you don't have to go to class every day, but that is honestly like kind of how like not going to class starts, you know, is by being like, oh, I don't have to go to class today, it's fine, and then not going, that's a trap, okay? That's like why I ended up dropping out of college, because I started like fooling myself into thinking that missing one or two days of class is no big deal, but then I started missing the entire semester, and that wasn't so good. Yeah, that wasn't so good. So, I don't know, man. Sometimes you gotta grin and bear it. Part of life. I could fuck up a Korean hot dog right now. That's not a very nice way of saying that. It's a bit, like, crass and rude. Like, you know, you don't have to, like, swear so much. I didn't go to school today because it's been a horrible month. But yeah, it's been a horrible, like decade it's been a horrible like honestly the 21st century man like i don't know that direct oh yeah the direct i already started to like forget about it because i mean it wasn't just very for you know what i shouldn't be like that i should be more open and accepting some of you may have really liked that direct and you might have really wanted to share your enthusiasm about the direct with me you'd be like boy howdy i can't wait to talk to diagonal about the direct 
because it was I, I loved it because I love Paper Mario and I love Splatoon and roguelites and Splatoon roguelites and JRPGs with large well-endowed anime girls and Laura Croft who's also largely well-endowed but I, I yeah I'm just gonna be honest with you it wasn't really my thing it wasn't really my Mario fans are eating great I must say, Mario fans and fans of the Mario video game universe are doing fantastic. Of course, you got your new game coming up, your new 2D side-scroller. That's coming up pretty soon. The Princess Peach game looks pretty good. Um, the Princess Peach game looked alright. I, I might play that. I, honestly, I was not, like, all that... Uh, I was not all that uh, impressed with kind of... I like all the Mario stuff, you know? Well, like, it's just not my thing, you know? The direct, it, it wasn't like 80% Mario, but it seemed like the big, big stuff was all Mario. Like, the Nintendo first party stuff was all Mario, it seemed. I guess the new, uh, okay, so here's something that I knew I would enjoy is, and I was expecting to get in the direct, was the next Mario Kart wave. They got Daisy Circuit, which was pretty cool. That's a, that's a classic Wii map right there. I'm kind of excited about that one. I missed that one. They're bringing Funky Kong back. Hey, great heck yak. Thanks for the 18 months. Um, I don't know if I want to read all that. They got fucking Diddy Kong. Funky Kong, and somebody explain to me what Peach Et is, please? Can somebody please explain to me what Peach Et is? It should have been Bowsette. What's Peach Et, dude? What the hell is Peach Et? And I want somebody to- Can you get frozen geodes from this? Probably not. I think this just gives you straight up rocks, right? Yeah. It's a form of toad. It would. It's a form of toad. What's toad got to do with all this? Get out of here. And there's not really many good bomb spots here. I gotta be honest with you. A lot of lacking bomb spots here. Peachette is a form of toadette who also appears as a primary spirit in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Eh? Excuse me. It's from New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe on the Switch. Oh, that game. Haha. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, no, I'm excited about Funky Kong, though. I'm hoping that... I'm hoping that he's like the... Well, no, you're not, he's not going to be an OP character, because he's going to be a heavy character. And all, the, and all the meta characters in that game are all uh, mid-weights, right? I think they're mid medium-weights now. So they don't have heavy characters as meta anymore, so I guess Funky Kong is not going to be as good as he was in the Wii version, so no one's going to use him. Except for people who really liked Mario Kart Wii, then they'll probably use him out of nostalgic purposes. Which, yeah, that might be me too. And I like Paulette! I think Paulette is a good Mario Kart character. I'm happy that Paulette got in as well. I'm happy about that. They should give Funky max stats regardless of build. Oh, yeah, it's Pauline. What the fuck? Oh, I got fucking Peachette in my mind still. Whatever, Pauline. Yeah, you know what I mean. I read Peachette, and I remembered that Pauline existed. Okay, forgive me. Ah, this is unfortunate. Please don't be another ladder, so I'm trapped in this floor. So I want to bomb this. Okay. It's nice. I'm for a little frozen geodes, like a little here, maybe. Hey, like, look like a frozen geodes. Ooh, is that just another glow ring? I'll come by already existing glow ring. Oh, I gotta be honest with you. I might, like, fuck with two glow rings over a glow ring and a magnet, magnet ring. Kind of like magnet rings. They often make me pick up shit that I don't want. Do you know that Gordon Ramsay made a grilled cheese redemption video in a race car? No, actually, I want to watch that. So he finally admitted that that grilled cheese was a fucked up piece of turd. I'll have to watch that, actually, yeah. That sounds good. He's hazelnut. I love when Kent sends me bombs in the- What? Does he? Is that like a loved gift by Kent? 
Is that a loved gift by Ken and is bombs? Because they don't, don't they send you shit that that's uh, that like they like too? What the fuck? That seems a little fucked up. This is a little messed up. He thinks you love. Why well, I do? I would love if he sent me a bomb in the mail. I love that. I need these things. These are great. I always get mixed up if his name is Kent or Kurt, so sometimes I, re I So sometimes you mix up the two names. Wait, how do you... Knurt. Be gone. Alright, I'll watch it later. If you get lucky, you can get a stack of Geo- Oh, I got two Omni Geodes as well. Interesting. You get a stack of 20-ish Geodes from the train. Oh! Oh, really? I'll have to keep an eye on that. Even though the last train that I had was dog doo-doo. That's pretty good, though. Are they omni-geodes or just regular geodes? Because, I mean, either one's probably good, right? A word that starts with a C but ends with... Oh! You call him cuck. There we go. I got two that time. That's good. You call him a cuck. Never gotten anything else but coal from that. They're rarely ever good. You're not alone. They're rarely ever good, are the trains. I kind of don't blame you. I rare like, even in casual playthroughs, I don't check them. It'll say, like, oh, a train's passing through Stardew Valley, and I'm like, eh. Like, if I'm not busy with something, I might check it, but, like... And also, you don't have even have to catch the train as it's going through. The stuff that it litters on the ground will be there the entire day, so... Like, it's definitely no rush. He's cuck, serving Kent. Hi, Dag. How are you today? Yeah, I'm very good. Thanks. No, that sounded really sarcastic. I gotta sound a little bit more genuine here. <laughs> yeah, I'm really good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm fantastic today. You can get run over by the train? Yeah, I learned that one the hard way after I got stuck in the tunnel. The train where it leaves the train station in that tunnel, and I couldn't get out, and I died. And I'm pretty sure I, like, lost something that I really liked. Or really needed. You know what? Too many rocks. I have doth declare that's too many rocks for me. My ass cannot mine all those. It's okay, you don't have to fake it? Well, no, like, I'm genuinely, like, in a pretty good mood today. So, like, I'm not really trying to fake it. Maybe I just am so genuinely dead inside... That even when I do have a good day, I can't even properly convey the emotion that I feel. Good bomb spots. Good bomb spots. Got a lot of good bomb spots here. Uh, nothing really. Oh no, I did get one frozen geode. Okay, that's fine. Could have been worse. Maybe like a little... It was a little like right here. Okay, seems good. No frozen geodes. Got a ladder. Hit a little one more bomb, like, right cheer. There we go. Thanks, J. Kaiser, for the four months. Happy fucking partner anniversary. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Is there, like, a level that is ideal for getting frozen geodes? Oh, I actually should keep those solar emphasis. That's how you make the big bombs. Is there an ideal level for frozen geodes? Probably not, right? Whoa. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I think it's time to head home anyway. How many frozen geodes did I get? Twelve? That's not bad. Not bad. And then two omni geodes as well. Who knows? Maybe I'll get something from those. No, not the goddamn town. Why did you embellish that subscriber's message so... Why did you embe embellish that subscriber's message so aggressively? Uh, dude, I just read the message, man. I just read the message. I'll also, save that. And then trash everything else. Trash, trash, trash. Trash, 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 trash. And then literal trash. Uh, I gotta use the bathroom. I drank like a wicked giant glass of OJ before this stream. Hey! Wait! Can I put that to good use? 
Okay, I remember I used to shove jade in these things, and then I'd be able to buy a shit ton of staircases. But I don't really think that that's useful, staircases, right? Alright, well, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna be right back. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. Hi. Whoa, UFO! Hey, does that mean I'm getting the alien today? Isn't that rare or something? See the UFO flying across the screen? Some, like, one in, like, one billion chance or some shit like that? Sounds right. That's just my ride. Do you guys see this, uh, alien shit that's going on in Mexico? You guys see that alien shit that's going on in Mexico? What's your thoughts on that? Take a chance on me. Alright. What do we do in the meantime while we wait for old Clint to open? I've not seen that. Fake as fuck? Yeah, it, I'm pretty sure it got debunked, like, immediately. But, um, elaborate? I don't know a whole lot about it. So, like, I'm really not the person to talk about it. I'm the first in line. Is that how it goes? I only know the one line from the song. No? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know shit about it, to be honest with you. Like, uh, the Mexican government's like, hey, we found aliens. And then they showed pictures of, like, the aliens that they supposedly found, and I think they're just, like, mummies, right? Or some shit like that. I don't know. I guess I can fish. That song is great. All ABBA is great. It's not my favorite ABBA song. Some people dug a hole here on the beach, and there was some dude who went to the news and was like, they were aliens? It was quite funny. Yeah, and they're just like mummies, right? Oh, you know what I should do, actually? Check the beach for artifact spots. I feel like I've done that in a bit. I feel like artifact spots are harder to find in fall, because everything orange and brown. Yeah, I don't know. Go do your own research about it. But it was pretty, uh... I'm pretty sure it got debunked pretty quickly. Nice! Anchor, finally. That one is also very common from the beach, and it took me forever to find. Kind of like the glass shards. Like, I usually find those within the first spring of the first year. And it took me that long that time. Also, dried starfish is another thing from the beach that's very common. I'm in the depths of despair right now. Uh, chin up, kid. You'll do all right. You'll be fine. Did y'all see the congressional hearing a while back confirming aliens? Some government dude said they had UFO parts. Yeah, a lot of shit about aliens going about right now. A lot of shit about aliens. If you ask me, it kind of seems like a way of covering up some other shit that the governments are doing. I don't know. I feel like the governments shouldn't really give a shit about stuff like that unless they're using it to distract people from... Their uh, illicit activities, if you ask me. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. That's just me, though. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, I already got that. I believe I already have that. Yeah. I don't think I have that, weirdly enough. I think that that's marble, which is very common. But for some reason, took me a long time to get. That's the hematite that we saw earlier. Pyrite? Yeah, commonly known as fool's gold, yeah. Aliens are just a cover-up for all the rights they're taking away from trans people. Yeah, so basically what I just said. And, okay, I mean, what is that? That's one new thing. I mean, at that point, you kind of can't be too upset that at least you got something new, right? Can't be too upset. Look! Hey, I'm over here now. I, I, I finished the main room, and now I'm over here. Uh, okay. Let me cross those off the list so I can keep, like, a... ...running count of how many things I have. Yeah, that was a 4% chance on the beach for that anchor. And then... Yeah, it's a, okay, I'm kind of with you, man. And I feel like we're kind of, like, the only ones out here. I don't give a fuck about aliens. I honestly... I, I don't give a shit about aliens. I really, I don't. Like, I, I'm, like, convinced that they exist somewhere. I just don't know, like, why they would come here, you know? 
I'm sure we're not the only intelligent species in the entire universe, you know? What makes us so special to think that aliens are gonna come visit us, you know? I don't really care, to be honest with you. But maybe, I don't know, I'm like edgy, you know? I'm like kinda edgy and you're like, I don't give a fuck. Sort of like, ass. But like, really, I kinda don't, you know? Yeah, I don't really care about them, to be honest with you. They exist, but I don't- I don't care to see them. God knows what they're gonna do. They're probably just, like, bugs. You know, all the, like, aliens- Oh shit, there's two dig spots right here, and nobody yelled at me about them? Oh, because you knew that they would be shit that I don't need, right? Thanks, guys. For not wasting my time. Um, anyway... I think I just, like, kinda don't care, because... Aliens, at least in the immediate presence around us, are probably just, like, little bugs or something like that. The little green guys, you know, like, the common, like, depiction of aliens is the little green dudes. And they're, like, super smart and they build UFOs and shit. Like, I don't think those are the ones. I don't think those are, like, the aliens that we'll ever see in our lifetime. Maybe they're little intelligent roly-polies. Yeah, they'd be kind of cute, right? I'd squish them beneath my feet. Do you think if I squished an alien bug that the little bug world would declare war on Earth? Specifically me? Oh, no. Sorry if I'm new, what's the partner anniversary? Ah, I got partnered on Twitch two years ago, I guess. Allegedly. I forgot the date ex exactly. I do know that it was in September, but I totally forgot the date. Specifically. I guess it's today. September 14th, 2021 is when I got partnered on Twitch. Allegedly. You'd be a war criminal, and you would deserve it. Yeah, but like, um, what if I could just be like their jester, right? Hey, Garlicky, thanks for the prime. Appreciate that, thank you. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Yikes. What if I could just be like their, like, little, like, jester? Instead of being imprisoned in alien jail, what if I could just be, like, their little jester? Like, tell jokes and do little goofy dances and stuff. I think that'd be kind of cool. Stardew Valley Fair? I don't give a fuck. Thanks for the happy anniversary and for the subscription. What's up, boy? How you doing? Alright, let's go mining again today. Let's even fucking take a sh triple shot espresso. I remember, I used to be really bad, dude. I used to drink a Monster Java... Like... <sighs> I used to drink, like, a Monster Java with, like, 225 milligrams of caffeine every single day. And if I didn't get it, I would be a completely non-functional human being. I remember. I w I've been there before. I don't want to go back. I kicked caffeine pretty recently, and I, I don't want to go back, man. I don't need- I don't- I don't want that. Because, man, if you didn't have one of those, I would have, like, a horrible headache the entire day. Hey, Dwarf Scroll 2! Fuck! God damn it. I don't want two. I also don't really want these rocks. I want, like, a big group of rocks all together. I drink the regular monster daily, bro. I mean, dude, I've been there. I'm not gonna act like- Yeah, you'll be fine, right? It's just caffeine. It's not gonna kill you, but- I, the worst part about that is when you don't have that, and then you have the worst, most killer headache the entire day. That's the worst part about it, man. That's, that's really, like, the bad part of it. Is not getting that, and then having that horrible, horrible headache. It just makes me more regulate. Like, don't get me wrong, a little caffeine, when you need to, like, focus for one day is fine. But when, like, you become addicted to it... Because you need it every day, otherwise you, like, can't focus, or, like, you have a headache or whatever. Like, that's when it gets kind of bad, you know? A quad shot espresso. Ooh, oy. How many fucking milligrams of caffeine is that? Mango Loco is OP? What the fuck is a Mango Loco? I'm not really finding many good bomb spots here. I prefer Red Bulls over Monsters. I mean, aren't they all the same thing, really? I'm not getting shit today. Good luck be damned. I like these little guys. They're cute. 
I took cluster migraines last summer after kicking monsters. Not fun. Cluster migraines last summer after kicking monsters. Not fun. I don't know if I understand what the hell that sentence means, but I think I do, kinda. So, like, you drank monsters all the time, and then for, like, a summer job or whatever. And then once you didn't take them anymore, yeah, you were getting, like, migraines every day. Yeah, that'll happen. The Pacific Northwest got me addicted to Red Bull Italian sodas. What the hell are you talking about? I've never heard of these before. Australian lemonade is bomb as well. Fuck it, this floor's got nothing. There's a couple of floors that were good for bombing, but I can't... There must have been like 45 to 50, somewhere in between. I went to 50. The hell, that was a ghost fish. Oh, it's a ghost fish! I had to cut the caffeine. Took me two days to finish an espresso now. I mean, I don't know, man. I'm not going to tell you, like, what is and isn't a healthy caffeine, because, I mean... I was going to say it's not drugs, but it literally is. It's, it's not the worst thing ever, I guess, you know? When I've been addicted to caffeine, you probably wouldn't even, like, notice a difference from now and from then, honestly. But it got to the point where I didn't even need the caffeine for the energy. I needed the caffeine so that I didn't get a fucking headache, and that was not good. How many levels are there in the mines? 120. Ah, here we go. This would be a little bit better. This is a good bomb floor. And I still didn't. I got an Omni Geode, but like, I'd rather Frozen Geodes. Take a chance on me. You know, I hate having a song stuck in your head when you only know one line of the song. And that's... That's what that is for me. Rats. At least I'm getting iron to make more bombs. Not coal, though. Well, these guys drop coal, so I guess even that's okay. We're, like, regulating our bombs. We'll put the song on. VOD fucked? Yeah, exactly. I don't want to get the VOD deleted. Even though I wouldn't be. It would just be muted for the portion that I played the song. In which case, I mean, that also kind of stinks for the people who want to watch the VOD back. And they see me talking for, like, 3 minutes and 34 seconds going, like... You know, they don't know what I'm talking about. Hi, Dagnal. Dagnal streams so early, it started while I was sleeping. Hi, Dag. Hi. And good morning. Will you get copyrighted if you play it on your phone a few we a few feet away from your mic? Well, no, probably, unless my mic picked it up clearly enough, but... It's not really the best way of listening to music, which is why I don't understand when these bozos are on the bus blasting music off their phone at full volume. Because, like, look, above all else, social decency being, like, the main thing, it doesn't sound good. It sounds like shit, ass. I wish they would stop doing that, because it doesn't even sound good. No, like, phone speakers ever made a song sound good, you know? There we go. I hate that so much. Yeah, because it's, like, obnoxious. And if you really want the world to know what a good musical sense that you have, that's not really the best way of doing it, you know? Like, in all, like it's it would sound ten times better and be ten times less obnoxious, but, you know, they want to be obnoxious when they do that, let's be honest. We're, we're talking- I'm talking to, like, sensible people in this chat, at least for the most part. So, like, I'm not- pre I'm preaching to the choir for the most part here, but... It sounds better when you use headphones, and it's less obnoxious as well. I don't know why you wouldn't use that. I don't really, like, make it a goal of mine to make an ass out of myself every day at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. But, you know, if I did, I would definitely be the kind of guy that would go on a bus and play loud music out of my phone. Because that's a surefire way to get people to think you're a shithead. Just get out. Oh, fuck, it's this fucking floor. God fucking damn it. You know, actually, I found some good floors for bombing, but I think that they were like 45 to 50. Or a shitty Bluetooth speaker? Yeah, it's not good. 
Some guy was blasting a gospel radio station on the bus on a loud ass Bluetooth speaker like, man, you suck. Well, you gotta deliver the good word of the good Lord. Without like making the, without, you know, showing that to everyone. He's just trying to spread the good word. Yeah, here we go, here we go. This is a good floor. All right, and then I got trapped with these ladders. I'm just trying to spread the good word, man. Rats. I once had to delete debate with a friend on this very topic. She seemed very passionately defended people who blast music in public. Like, like she legit got angry. It's a weird, really weird hill to die on. Considering, like, 98% of people who are on the bus and have to listen to that don't want to listen to that. It's a really weird hill to die on. Like, I guess, like, we all have our controversial opinions, I suppose, but that's, like, a weird one. Oh, that one's strange. I don't really get that one at all. Spread the word of these nuts on your face. Well, that's not very nice at all. It's kind of fucked up, actually, you'd say that. See, no, it's just gross, and it's just foul and crass. Hang on, maybe there's another floor below this one that was better. What's up, Space Princess? Thanks for the partner anniversary. Did Cuck Chair Guy ever come back? Oh, what the fuck, man? I don't want this. This is 48. Alright, I better hope 49 is a good floor because I already found 50. Uh, I have no idea, man. People on the whole ass conversations in public- in public on- Yeah, and as well, that's a whole nother thing! Like, that is- Okay, that's bad for a whole nother reason, alright? Because that's someone else's, like, conversation that they're entitled to privacy in having. That's someone else- like, if so, if I was talking to someone on the phone, only to find out that it's being blasted to a bus full of people, like, I'm not talking about nothing embarrassing. Like, my, like, horrible ass rash or anything like that. But, still, I'm entitled to a level of privacy as a chatter on the bus. Is being violated if you're just blasting that to everybody. It's kind of fucked up. That's even worse, I would argue. Secret note. I don't need any more of these, but I kind of like reading them. Elliot is a bit foppish and melodramatic, but he does have a nice chin. He likes crab cakes and pomegranates. I don't really care, to be honest with you. Any true Elliot stan would have known that already. Not any of you guys. Oh shit, am I gonna get exhausted? Um... I only got three today and two Omni Geodes? That's really lame. That's really lame, but like, I mean, I don't know. I don't really want to waste any more energy, to be honest with you. My friend did that with me. I was talking about a guy I was involved with explicitly, and he was blasting it on a speaker to his table full of friends. Made me low-key mad. Yeah, that's not really like, uh, low-key, to be honest with you. Like, I don't, I don't really think that that's, a. Uh... I don't really think that's a low-key thing. I also forgot to sell everything. I can make some mega bombs now, I think, because I got the solar essence. Yeah, that's 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 it's that's not like low key. That's like absolutely infuriating if you ask me. I, I don't know. I fucking I, I, maybe I'm weird. Okay. Let me wait for Clunt. I'm having a lunchable. That's great news. What kind of lunchable? Is there ever been a ham juicier than the lunchable little ham slices that they give you? Oh, son of a fucking bitch. Has there ever been a slice of ham more juicier and more processed than those little ham slices that they give you in the little lunchable packets? Because I have yet to find a juicier ham than that. Why so angry? Because they're setting up the goddamn festival, and I forgot because my ass is stupid. Pizza Lunchable. Pizza Lunchables are so... I don't know if I can say this. Pizza Lunchables are so... fucking mid.
There you go. They're so fucking mid. I haven't had a Lunchable. I want to be very clear here. I haven't had a Lunchable in like 10 years. It might have even been longer than that, to be quite honest with you. It might have been like 15 years since I've had a Lunchable. They might have changed like a lot since I had them, but I remember I did not like the pizza ones that much. I was the ham and cheese slices kind of guy. I was that bloke. Goodbye. You insult me. I don't need friends. They disappoint me. Take a chance on me. Fuck it, let's do some fishing. The nachos one was good. I like anything nachos. I don't really know if I remember that one, though. Final straw? Fuck you, I'm handing in my mod cap. Final straw? Don't forget, you're here forever. Just listen to the song? No! I don't want to get copyright struck. Someone's going to want to watch this later, and they're going to be like, Oh, rats, why is it muted? I don't want to do that. Had one last week. Ham is still superior. Great news. I'm almost 47. I eat a nacho lunchable several times per week. Yeah, I think we should, like, get rid of this notion that lunchables are for kids. You always see them on the Nickelodeon commercials. They're not for kids. Grown-ups can have them, too. In fact, grown-ups have way more benefit of, like, pre-portioned meals such as Lunchables than a kid ever does, to be honest with you. Adults have way more use for that shit than a kid does. It's hard. We got, like, jobs and shit. What does a kid have? School? Video games? What do they need? What do, what do they need pre-packaged meals for? They got plenty of time to whip together something. Adults would have higher stand- you just think that high- adults have a higher standard for food? No, being an adult is- Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit, maybe I'm not getting my shit assessed today if this thing lasts a long time. Um, no, adults don't have a higher standard for food. We have a higher expectation of the food that we're supposed to eat. And so therefore we oftentimes eat healthy, even if it means eating something that we don't necessarily enjoy because it's what we're supposed to do. I think that's generally more the problem. I don't know though. Adults feel free to feel free to debate. Like I dude, if it was all things equal, if sorry, I had to get out of his way. It'd be very rude from the blockage store. Okay, if all things equal, let's say every food was equally as nutritious as anything else, okay? There was a baseline level of nutrition to everything that we ate. And what you eat is entirely decided by how it tastes. Because everything is the same amount of nutrition. What would you eat? I would eat, yeah, I would eat Lunchables, dude. I'd eat, like, chicken, I'd eat dino chicken nuggets, dude. I wouldn't eat, like, vegetables. Those aren't fun. Those aren't cool. I don't like vegetables nearly as much as I like dino chicken nuggets. Are you kidding me? Pasta forever? Yeah, exactly. You eat, like, shit that you enjoy. That's why people eat Lunchables, man. Because we still like them, it's just not what we're supposed to do, because they're for kids, or some shit like that. What about a Lunchable with, like, Nuggies, Mac, and some fruit? That'd be amazing. But I still probably wouldn't eat it, because, I don't know, I don't feel like I could go to the grocery store and, like get Lunchables without getting some looks from people, which is re totally not true. Nobody would give a shit, but, you know, that's what I would feel like, at least. Alrighty. Sandstone. Good. Nice. Yeah, that's new. I It took me so long to find a Dwarvish Helm, and I feel like that is just something that I always get really quickly. But cool. We got a Dwarvish Helm. Alright, 73. We've already made three things of progress today, which is pretty good. Considering I'd said it, I think I said I'd be surprised if we even got to like 10 today. Kill. Cool. I wonder if um, it would be worth. What are the dwarf scrolls that I've gotten so far? It's the. Take a chance on me. Fuck! I need one in four. I wonder if. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? Just to like mix things up a little bit. 
If I even can do this, wait, hang on, I just remembered something. Can I even do this? Let me try something real quick. They gave me a little Capri Sun, too. Yeah, there you go, dude. Yeah, I drink Capri Suns, man. You think I drink orange? Well, no, I would drink orange juice. I like orange juice. How do you get through this barrier again? There's some kind of force field blocking your path. Yeah, how do you get rid of this again? I, f I forget. I don't want a chub. Although, I wouldn't mind some solar essences to make some, like, Omega Bombs. Actually, that's, that's kind of huge. That he sells those. Oh, and there's my star drop. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let me get that. Oh, do you have to do the... Wi oh, that's right. You do have to do, like, the wizard quests. You're right. I'm not doing that. I was like, maybe I can get, like, the dwarf scroll run from, like, all the bugs in there. But, I mean, yeah, but it's probably be a little bit unnecessary. All right, I think let's go to the skull caverns next day that we get good luck, just to mix it up a little bit. What's up, Corifal? How are you doing? Streaming that early? What hour is it in the U.S.? Well, it's actually many hours in the U.S. right now, but for me, it's 12.51 p.m. I'm hardly up bright and early. Although, I was. You guys want to know something. And this isn't that impressive if you, like, wake up every day at, like, 6 a.m. to go to school or work or whatever. But, okay, from the mind of a independent contractor, that being me... I wake up every day, at least lately I have, at like 9.30 to 10 o'clock. Which I gotta say, I'm pretty chuffed with myself about. I'm pretty chuffed with myself about that. Considering I have nothing to do until I start streaming at like 5 o'clock. The fact that I still be getting up early. Which is kind of, you know, something I'm proud of. Is 9.51 in Mexico. You only have one time zone over there? It's a big country. You can till level 80 plus in the mines. Yeah, and then you can till levels 1 through 40 for Dwarf Scroll 1. I know you can do that, but I might want to upgrade my hoe before I do that. Just so I have more... Space. More, more like a tilling power or whatever the hell you'd call it. Can I make more furnaces? It's copper and stone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah, we can make more furnaces. Good God. Okay, I didn't know about five. I, I, that is a lot of coal that I just used, man. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. I did not even, like... That's only, like, a fraction of the coal that I have. Jesus. All right, let's make five copper bars so that we can upgrade our hoe. In fact, we should maybe work on upgrading, like, a lot of our tools because we have a lot of copper. And, I mean, a lot of iron and... Even Iridium at this point as well, like if I really wanted to upgrade my tools. Like gold, iron. I have like enough ore for like all the stages of tools, but I just haven't done it. I should probably do my pickaxe as well for that matter, because mining in the skull caverns is getting quite annoying. Having to like tap each rock four times. So you know what? Fuck it. I think I will. I think that's what I'll spend this entire day doing. That's what I'll spend this entire day doing here is getting ores ready to upgrade my tools. I know it takes a couple days at Clunts, but whatever. There we go. All right, so that's a new hoe, and then let's get a new uh, pickaxe. There we go. I think they changed the time zone to only one or two hours of difference for all the country. I mean, I kind of wish that's what they would do in America, even if it would make it so that, like, even if it would make it so that, like, the sun rises in California at, like, 10 p.m. Or 10 a.m. Lucky you! I'm so used to wake- Dude, I mean, you're acting like I haven't been there, man. I used to wake up at, like, 6 a.m. for my jobs. I used to go to school. I was there. I was there. It's just, you know, become a YouTuber. You don't want to stop complaining about it, come become a YouTuber. Then you can make your own hours. And all I hear is wine, 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 no solution. I'll go to 5 a.m. for school. Dude, I used to get up at like 5.30, 6. Because I had to take the bus to school. Which I don't think I need to tell you is hell. The sun rises at 10 p.m. in California. Okay, look. You never, like, misspeak before? 
is no longer the sunshine state. Yeah, I mean, the days would be just as long. It would just rise and set three hours offset. I was on the bus at 6.15. Yeah, I don't, I don't uh, remember those days very fondly, needless to say. Um, well, I might want to get a gold pickaxe shit after this, honestly. Like, I might want to go all the way up to a gold pickaxe. I don't need to upgrade any of my other tools other than hoe, and I don't even need to do my hoe. My hoe and my pickaxe, so like, shit. Honestly, maybe do five more iron for your hoe, and then five more gold for the pickaxe. Like that, and then 50. There we go. And yeah. Let's basically I'm trying to get both my hoe and my pickaxe to gold. And then maybe even iridium. Like shit, dude. I kinda might as well. Although I don't have enough iridium. I need two more ore. Well no, because I have three bars. So really all I need is 50 minus 15, 35. Yeah, all I need is 35, right? And then that would be how many pieces of coal? Seven? There we go. And money? That's true, but I, I think 24,000. 24,000. How much is it to get something to gold, for example? They waste less energy. Yeah, they do, because you don't have to tap the rock as many times, right? So honestly, this is really probably a very good investment. If I'm going to go back to the skull caverns, this is really a good investment. Good job, me. Why don't I skip the days? Like, literally, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Upgrade to Iridium is 25,000? What the fuck? Alright, well, we can at least both get them to gold then, maybe. We can at least maybe get them to gold then. Yeah, I'm like, literally, why don't you just skip the day instead of waiting around? Alright, and then now... Okay. <laughs> skip the next day and then go get that. Gold 10k? Ugh. It'd be close. I don't think we can get them to gold with the amount of money I have now, but... I mean, maybe we can sell a couple things. Alright, there we go. I'm surprised nobody does, like, a well a welfare check on me, you know? Just, like, making sure I'm alright. Because, dude, I'd be sleeping, like, 23 and a half hours a day. Maybe nobody in this fucking town gives a shit about me. Nobody even bothers to check if I'm alright. We're getting close to the grandpa disapproval. Oh shit, you're right. We are. We are, aren't we? Iridium takes forever, just literally. Well, I guess I can go get my tools upgraded. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Start with my pickaxe. I feel like that's way more important than the hoe. Battery packs. I rarely get this far in a save file, to be honest with you. I feel like I get bored of the game by this point most of the time. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not a boring game, but I feel like by this point, I'm usually, like, getting there. I'm getting there, you know? I think half the town- Well, you're right. Literally, you are right. Half the town does not even know that I exist. Half the town is still question marks. So you're right. I think you can get Ginger Island pretty easily, though, by this point. Dried starfish. Dried starfish. God damn it. Like an ornamental fan. Oh, well. I don't think you... It wouldn't be too hard to get to Ginger Island at this point. If you, like, theoretically finished up the community center in, like, early year two. Then... You can get Ginger Island probably by summer year two. I feel like at this point, I've unlocked Ginger Island and I'm like kind of, I don't know, looking for something to do in the game. Because I've never bothered collecting all like the golden walnuts and shit. I don't know. The collect collection aspect of this game, which is ironic considering what I'm doing, has never really been something that I care too much about. But yeah, I am getting close to the grandpa disapproval. I'm kind of curious to see what he says. I've never had a bad approval from Grandpa. I've never had a bad approval from Grandpa. I'm kind of curious. Getting perfection felt so good, though. I mean, 
I can see that. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's a very satisfying feeling, but is it worth it? All those golden walnuts? All those fish? All those collectibles? All those everything? All that not that like 10 hearts with absolutely everybody as well? I'm at the same point in one of my saves and I've just lost interest? That's just how it is, man. It's just how it is. Like, what all goes into... Like, is anything worth it? Well, I didn't... Don't be nihilist, alright? I mean, like, I don't know. That's up to you, I guess. What all goes into perfection? It's, of course, selling everything. And that stupid clock? Yeah, like, the cl I guess the co clock... Ew, Freudian slip. Keeps your farm clean, right? You get a fun fuck ton of Omni Geodes and Troves from Ginger. It's not worth it, though. Like, I know that, but it's just not worth it because of all the shit that you have to do. Like, you have to complete the community center, which I guess at this point would just be making enough money, right? But then you have to do that bundle for Willy. Which, I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, give me a steel pickaxe. Yeah, bartender. Give me a steel pickaxe. Dagnal doing the dining hall walk. Doing the Dagnal dining hall walk. Lunch version. Yeah, what are you getting from the dining hall? I cheat to get the golden walnuts because I'm not doing all that. So there you go. If it makes people resort to cheating, then is it really worth it? 200 hardwood, 5 battery, and 5 iridium bars. And then to get the batteries, I would need to get lightning rods. And then to get lightning rods, I would need to get what? Farming skill? What is lightning rods, actually? How do you learn those? I don't... Oh, I do know one! Oh, okay. I also forgot I could transmute, because, yeah, that's a feature. Oh, yeah, and then explosive ammo. Hmm. Alright, grab that. Foraging. I it, I guess it is foraging, because I have it, so it's obviously not farming. Farming is the only skill I don't have up a good way. Yeah. I mean, even, like, fishing and foraging. I'm surprised my foraging isn't higher, to be honest with you. I'm surprised foraging isn't higher. Like, that's kind of, like, all I do. That and mining. I used to do a little fishing, but still. Alright. I guess let's fish, I guess, until, uh, Klunt opens. Did it say my thing is ready, by the way? I think it did, right? It must have. It's been two days. I just want to get perfection once and then never have to do it again. Yeah, I guess, man. I guess. You guys know for perfection, though, you have to do that achievement where you do Journey of the Prairie King without dying. You guys do know that, right? You gotta do the journey of the Prairie King without dying. Good luck with that. Hey, there's the dried starfish. Good lord, although it's wet. It's the wet it's the wetted starfish. Finally. <laughs> no thanks. Do you? Yeah, yeah, you gotta. You gotta you absolutely have to. Sorry. Gotta beat Journey of the Prairie King without dying. And then you gotta do Junimo Kart ten times in a row without dying. Yeah, no, it's true. I, 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 uh, I talked to Eric Baroni himself. He said it. Old Eric Baloney. I did. Old Concerned Ape. I know him. He goes to another school, though. Chad, how do you always fall for the bait? You're like fish. Really, you guys are not that far gone from the fish. The vile, disgusting fish. Ah. Actually, I haven't played Junimo Kart at all, despite unlocking it, because I got to the bottom of the mines. You know a game developer? Um, no. No, I don't. Except for game developers that sometimes reach out to me via email, and they're like, Hey, do you want to play our game? Do you want, to, do you want like, a beta test, beta key of our game? And I'll be honest with you, I rarely say yes, because I don't really play many games. I don't have... It's not that I don't have time. It's kind of like all I have, to be honest with you, but... 
It's more just like, I don't really want to, you know? Yeah, okay, I have been asked to play Raid Shadow Legends. That is true. That is true. I, uh... I, I have been offered to play Raid Shadow Legends on multiple occasions. Actually, it happens like every month. They're ridiculous, dude. They are ridiculous. Oh, Red Snapper. They're, they're absurd. I don't know how much goes into like their marketing or whatever, but they are just absurd. What's up, Stick Hero of Jerusalem? Glad to have you here. Yeah, this one's for the Europeans. This one's for the Europeans. I feel like this is your guys. It's Thursday is your day. They reach out to everyone? They do. It's not even me being like, oh, look at me. Raid Shadow Legends wants to get a piece of this fucking action. They want some of these honkers. No, they do it to everybody, man. If you have a YouTube channel and you have like 200 subscribers, they'll reach out to you. Surprised I haven't gotten an email yet? Dude, you might. Alright, give me my thing. Thank you. Alright. Got a steel pickaxe. That's gonna help a lot in the Skull Caverns. And then I think I immediately want to upgrade that to a gold, right? That's ten grand, though. But it's worth it. It's worth it. And then I'll work on the hoe. I guess I can't get them to Iridium quite yet because I don't have the money. That's fine, though. No, I don't want rewards. Unless I can sell them for, like, money. Alright. There's the dried starfish. That one took me... a long time, for some reason. Alright, fast forward until that's uh, acquired. And then... Oh, what's up, Pampster? That'll be good. She's a little late today, old Pampster. I'd watch a Raid Shadow Legends stream. I wouldn't stream Raid Shadow Legends because it's not a game that I would enjoy. If I do a sponsored stream for anything, be it a game or anything... Yeah, fuck it, put the Iridium in there. I'm not going to use it. Then... I, I like that product, you know? I don't like Raid Shadow Legends. I don't... I, I, I would not ever do that. Like, whether or not you guys would watch it, I would be like, Oh, shit. Dude, guys, this is so cool. Guys. Wait, sleep again. Guys, dude, you gotta check this out. Use my affiliate code. And then the affiliate code only works if you guys, like, play it to a certain extent as well. Because they really crack down on people just making Raid Shadow Legends account just to support their creators. And then never touching the game ever again. So now what they do is they make you download the game, Raid Shadow Legends, and they make you play it until you get to a certain level. And only then does it count towards uh, supporting the creator of that stream is really stupid but i guess that's just their way of making sure that you actually want to play it because they actually didn't make the game worth playing first time catching a live stream welcome back after i restarted my dinosaur work computer you guys uh oh man i wish i knew like the model of keyboard i wish i knew the make and model of the like computers that they made us use in school because that's what i'm picturing when you say dinosaur computer i'm it's like a dell okay does anyone know what i'm talking about it's like a dell desk desktop it had like a silver dell like logo in the middle of it and it had like a cd drive it had oh my god they were horrible it was like the 2007 Honda Accord of computers. Yeah, that's actually kind of right. Do you think you'll finish this today? No. No. And they were so loud? Yeah, and you get like a whole ass school library full of them. You can just hear... Mm. I, I don't know. They're probably like Dell... I have to look them up now. I have to look them up. I have to look it up. Generic Dell desk desktop computer. No, these are way too modern. All the images are ones that are, like, new. I need to... Like, where are the ones that I used back in school? 
Where's the ones that I used back in school? Oh my god, okay. Hang on, I'm starting to see some old ones here. Is it like these? These are kind of like it. Oh man. Oh, these are nasty, dude. Yeah, it's like this. This is it. I found it. It's like this. Hang on. This shit right here. These. These, like, nasty old Dell computers. This is, like, what the entire school library was full of. Like, these nasty old things. Oh, and they're gross. People, like... I mean, th this is in, like, pristine condition. Kids would, like, shove, like, gum and food and shit. You see all those little holes in the front of the tower? Kids would shove, like, food and junk and wrappers and shit in, like, the CD drive in the little, like, open flap in the front. And, oh, my God, and they're gross. And you think that they got Windows 8? These things were running Windows XP, man. These things were running Windows XP. Vista, if you're lucky. Oh, no. No, no, no. You'd be lucky to have Windows 8 back in my day. Jesus Christ. Actually, not, because Windows 8 was ass, but still. Someone put a slice of ham in the disk drive once. Did you eat it? Maybe, like, maybe they're just saving it, dude. It keeps it juicy. Or, like, heats it up. Kids are gross. They used to shove a pen inside the hole and break the fans inside? Well, they didn't pay for it, so why should they give a shit? Maybe they should give us better computers! Thanks for the hydrate. You shoved dirt in them? Dude, you can't do that, man. Your parents would have been very disappointed in you. You can't do that. Don't shove dirt in them. Medium rare ham in the Dell computer. Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. Well, hang on now. I gotta try it. Let's see what we get. Bro, how are we gonna play Huda Math if you shove dirt at them? How are you gonna play Cool Math Games, dude? What was sad is those computers were actually better than my computer back home for a long time. I was actually, like, very envious of the school's computers because they were actually better than my shitty desktop that I had back at home. I was like, man, these are nice. Really wish people shop stopped shoving ham in them. You ever go on Brain Pop? The name does seem very familiar. What was Brain Pop? I was a big uh, line rider kid on those computers, dude. I actually had it down to like a a science band. What I would do is on my home computer, I would play line rider. But since I had dial up, I couldn't like stay on the internet for a long time. So what you did was you loaded up the line rider page on addictinggames.com. And then you shut off the internet, but you still had the page loaded. And so you could play Line Rider offline all you wanted, as long as you completely loaded the page before you turned the internet off. I had it down to a fucking science, dude. I remember. I remember typing classes in middle school so useless. I, they weren't useless. I wish that they would teach more shit like that, because it's actually practical to your future. Now, that being said, if they think that I'm going to type like this with my fingers on the A, S, D, F, H, J, K, L key, then they're crazy. I'm never going to do that. I'm going to be like a four finger typer for the rest of my life. But, you know, at least they tried, you know, at least they tried to get my ass to type right. All right, gold pickaxe. Cool. And now let's do copper hoe. And my thumb on the space? Dude, you think I'm gonna put my thumb on the- Wait, hang on. Yeah, no, I don't do thumb on the space bar. I had to, like, try- I had to, like, pretend type to, like, see if I actually did do that. Yeah, you think I'm gonna do that? You're crazy. I'm indexing the space bar till I die. 
Yeah, I, I don't type the way that you're supposed to type. I, I don't, like, at all. I, no. I don't do anything the way that they taught me to. Uh, boink, boink, boink. Do I have enough to upgrade to gold? It's 10 grand for gold. And then what? It's like 5,000 for iron? Man, I'm not going to have enough. Shoo. Shoo, weesh. Although, I guess it doesn't really matter because um, I could go mining for a couple days while that's in the thing because I don't really need my hoe. So, if I get like a good luck day today, or the next day, I mean, then shit, I might just do that. <clears throat> do you do dad typing? Kind of. I'm more like, I'm like, a, I'm, I'm a more advanced dad typer. I'm definitely not like... But I'm, I'm, I have a good WPM, but I definitely don't type like how you're supposed to. I'm not a 20 WPM. I have a good WPM, all right? I've earned jobs off my WPM. Which, admittedly, is not a high standard. They're like, do you have, like, 60 WPM minimum? And I'm like, yeah, I think I do. And they're like, alright, welcome. Um, yeah, I can upgrade it. Well, no, I can't upgrade it to either because of stupid festivals today. Mine is 80 just to flex. Dude, if you have an 80 WPM and you type, like, how you're supposed to type, then I'd be impressed. Then I'd be impressed. It's my fortune today. Bad. Horrible. Yeah, I'll upload this to the VOD channel. What's up to the uh, second channel viewers? Hope you're... Yeah, if you're watching this on the second channel, the second channel people should, like, say something in the comments to... to uh, prove that they were watching in this very specific time. What should they say? They should say some shit like, Oh man, I don't have my hoe. Well, don't say that. That was just merely an observation. They should say, like, oh my god, I'm here. They should maybe say, like, an emoji or some shit like that. Like, what's, like, a... What's, like, the least used emoji? What's, like, the least used emoji? They should say that. They say, oh man, I don't have my hoe. No, they shouldn't say that. That was, once again, merely an observation for a dig spot that I could not dig up. All right. What is that? J.A. Chart? Yeah, that's pretty obsolete. Well, dude, I don't know. You're not in Japan. That might be everywhere in Japan. Plunger? Dude, I be using plunger all the time. It's like an innuendo. Shooting star? I see shooting star decently often. Mouse trap. I kind of like Mousetrap, actually. Dia Lamp? What the hell is a Dia Lamp? What the hell is a Dia Lamp? That was a weird one. I like Mousetrap. Everyone who's in the YouTube... Everyone who's watching this on YouTube right now. On the second channel. You should type the mouse trap emoji in the comment section. That's how I know you were watching at the 14 hour, 42 minute, and 46 second mark. Like, yeah, oh yeah, you might watch for like the first five minutes, but you, know, you had to have been here the entire fucking like 14 hours of this shit. You had to have been here the entire 14 hours. What the hell is that one? Derelict house? What the hell are they- they got like emoji conventions where they come up with these new ideas? For emojis? What's this one? 6.30? Oh, clock 6? I can read a clock. Alright, hand over the hoe. Alright, and then we'll do iron hoe, and then... I don't know, we'll see here. Steel hoe, my apologies. It's not steel, because iron is not steel. Steel is not iron. You need, like, zinc as well, don't you? It's like steel and... Or, it's iron and... Oh, fuck, I should have got the dig spot first. It's like iron and something else. I can't remember. Alright. Well, if we get a good luck day, I'll still go mining. I didn't know there was a tamal emoji. 
Oh, a tamale emoji. Oh, so there is. Interesting. Uh, oh, it's winter time now. Oh, and my luck is still horrible. Carbon. Is that right? I feel like everything's carbon, though. Like, my breath is carbon. Damn it. Yeah, it's an alloy, technically. Yeah, I mean, the hoe isn't so useful in winter, considering half the things that you hoe are gonna be the yams or whatever, but... Oh, uh, I guess I'll still get it. Alright, and then after this first lucky day we get, we're doing like an Omega... We're doing an Omega Skull Caverns run with my new tools. We should be able to blast through it a lot quicker with my gold pickaxe. So that'll be exciting. Who invented the emoticon? I don't know. Some guy probably back in like that early 1990s. Dude, people were probably typing like smiley faces with colon close parenthesis ever since like the typewriter was invented. People were probably doing that since like a hundred for a hundred years. So if you really want to trace it back far enough, I don't know if you'll ever find who first invented it. The heck is this emoji? That actually just does not show up on my screen at all. What the heck is that that you guys are posting? That's a jar? That's a jar emoji? That one just straight up was not like showing up on my screen. It was showing up as like black boxes. Interesting. That must be like a new one. Huh. All right. Incorrect. It was created on message boards. Well, I'm not talking emojis. I'm talking about like emoticons, like a colon close parentheses. Emojis. Dude, I remember back in the days, even before emojis were like the standard on phones. Do you guys remember where you could re like react to like forum posts with like a various set of emojis? Like, uh, like this one, for example. I think I got one. Like, remember when you used to be able to, like, react to, like, forum posts with, like, emojis and they look like that? That was fun. Those were the first emojis. Emojis were not available on early internet in the 90s. I don't know. Thanks for the hydrate. I'm trying to decide what to have for dinner, and I discovered that they sell Mr. Beast Burgers in the UK. Hey, give it a try. Maybe they're better over there than they are over here. Because the one that I had was not very good at all. I used to say raffle out loud when I was like eight. Why did... Why did... Why did LMAO take off and Raffle never did? Why did Raffle get left with the obsolescence of the early 2010s, but Lamau did not? That's kind of fucked up, don't you think? I think that that's a little fucked up. I think all things equal, Raffle and Lamau are both good ways of expressing your uh, appreciation for what someone said. If it made you, if it really tickled you, you know? Easier to write? I argue that Raffle, just by like hover handing it on the keyboard, is easier to write than LMAO is. I, I gotta say, I think Raffle might actually be easier. Raffle just sounds too silly. Raffle sounds like your mouth is full. Well, you don't say it. I'm not saying like Raffle, LMAO. I don't say them, so it doesn't matter. No matter how it sounds out of your mouth, unless you're going around saying, that's Raffle, dude. That's Raffle Copter. My Raffle Copter goes, sweet, 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 sweet. Well, nobody does that, right? I say Lamau. Well, I mean, I guess. Yeah, the old coveted Raffle Lamau. Rolling on the floor, laughing my fucking ass off. Sometimes when I type LMAO, I type LAMP by in instead. It's pretty funny, actually. You know what I hate? Idjbol. What the hell is Idjbol?
What is that? Is this like you gonna tell me to like itch your fucking bulls or something? Some shit like that? You better. This better not be a D's nuts joke. The hell? I'm trying to like think of what that means. When your bulls are just a little itchy. Yeah, dude. I mean, what is it? I jiggle bussy? That's not what it is, dude. Wait, hang on. It's I just belted out laughing. I just figured it out. It's I just belted out laughing. Or busted out laughing. It's I just busted out laughing. I just figured it out. I just bu- I got it. No, you didn't even- I said it first before you said it. I said it before you said it. I said it first. Why did I accept these? I don't care. Catch a link card. Catch my asshole. Alright, here we go. The new and improved diagonal is hitting the fucking skull caverns here. Can this video get to 1,000 likes? Um, might as well cook up some shit while I'm gone, right? Kind of might as well. I have so much gold. Alright, that'll be good. There we go. Do something while I'm gone. Belted? Yeah, like, to belt out laughing. Like, I really belted it out. Usually used in, like, the context of, like, songs. Like, oh, she's belting right now. I don't know. Your stream is keeping me bored while I'm in therapy. Wait, your stream is keeping me not bored while I'm in therapy. How about you, what, you pay attention, dude? What are you there for if you're not gonna pay attention? Okay, first of all, I thought that you insulted me by saying I'm keeping you bored. And then second of all, I was like, oh, wait, that's not what you said. But wait, that's still kind of fucked up. Well, you pay attention, dude. What are you doing? Why are you going there if you're bored? Isn't it supposed to stimulate your mind? Already paying attention, it's online, and I've been here for six hours already? What are you... Six hours? Six hour therapy session? I've never had a therapy session last longer than one hour. That's insane. What are you doing? That's not- that's an interrogation, dude. Yeah, exactly. At some point, you're going to need therapy for your therapy. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, man. That's, uh... I've never heard of six-hour therapy before. I best... Honestly, like, therapy is best when it's like not quick and concise to where like you didn't even get to talk about everything but like an hour max is about the time for therapy you should be getting paid to be there yeah like an hour is the maximum amount of time oh wait that's, i missed another one here an hour max that's enough time to talk about everything maybe but also not to where it's like dragging on like you ever get this is kind of a i i hate when this happens to me but you guys ever get to like the halfway three quarter mark of your therapy appointment and you kind of like ran out of things to talk about oh shit hang on let me get that out of your way there it just gets here faster you ever get like halfway or like three quarters of the way through your therapy appointment and you kind of like run out of shit to talk about? And you're like, ah, so I stubbed my toe this morning. And they're like, oh, okay, yeah. No, never? Well, maybe speaking from a position of privilege then. Thank you, finally, I got a golden mask. I feel like I get that like the first time I go to the desert every time. Took me like 500 trips this time. This day is just getting all the shit that I thought I would get so much easier. 
than I, like, I, I'm finally getting all the things that I thought were going to be so much easier today. It's nice, because, you know, at least I'm still making progress. You gotta piss off Pam so she walks faster. Oh shit, is that actually, like, yeah, maybe I could do that. Alright, but now I got a good pickaxe, and nothing can stop me, except for serpents. Like, how... Okay, now it's two taps to break a rock, which is a lot, lot better than it was before. Let's drop it. See what happens. Ow. They're so big, dude. Can't get out of the way quick enough. If you stick a chair in front of the door to Pam's trailer, she'll get to the bus at 940. Holy fucking shit. That's huge intel. That's another 20 minutes, dude. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but actually, like, that'll add up. That'll add up, dude. Ah, oh, fuck, this floor isn't very good. Go! This floor also isn't very good, but at least the ghosts can drop Omni Geodes. I don't think the mummies drop anything. Well, they drop Solar Essence, which could be used to make more big bombs, which I guess is okay. But... Yeah, so you know what? It's probably worth it to use a bomb to kill them. Oh, no! Oh, shit. I'm hemorrhaging HP. Ah, the ores are a one-tap, at least. Technically 30 minutes, because she gets there at 10.10. Yeah, that's kind of true. She's, like, late most of the time. Yeah, shit, I'll have to stick a door in front of Pam's trailer. Oh, no, not fucking monster. Honestly, it's not even worth it. Just go back to the start. It's not worth it. Yeah, here we go. Nothing? No Omni Geodes? A little purple mushroom. Hey, Retvedic. Retvadic? Thanks so much for- ooh, hole. Thanks so much for the, uh, Prime. Two months. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that, good buddy. Thanks. One more. Do you like strawberries? Kind of mid, to be honest with you. Kind of a mid fruit. They're fine. I think aesthetically... Aesthetically... They're one of the best-looking fruits. But taste-wise, kind of mid, I gotta be honest with you. I don't know. Not huge. Not huge on strawberries. Sad to report. Big grape guy. Big watermelon guy. Big banana guy. Not a big strawberry guy. I'm sorry. Green grapes. Top tier. I'm a red grapes guy. But I can respect green grapes. It's not... You know. I can still respect it. Okay. I want to get like a few dead mummies over here. Next to all these rocks. Yeah, maybe one more. There we go. And then hopefully this hits both of them. And all the rocks that I wanted. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. Give me any Omni Geodes, though. Your top fruit. Yeah, that's kind of got to be watermelon, man. Watermelon or grapes? One of the two. Watermelon or grapes? And probably one more down here. I love strawberries, but I can't stand anything scented in strawberry. Strawberry flavored things are oftentimes the best flavor of that respective batch. Did I get a single Omni Geode from that entire floor, by the way? That was a lot of rocks, man. Strawberry flavored things are oftentimes one of the best flavors of a certain batch of candy. Oh, please don't die. Oh, I didn't even eat my triple shot espresso, stupid. Whatever. Better late than never. Watermelon is always the best flavor of something because it's fucking watermelon. And I like grape flavored things. Green apple is always a great flavor of something and people hate green apple. I don't get it. I'm a green apple apologist. I fucking love green apple flavored shit. Debatable? No, it's not debatable. You're in my stream and I'm the ruler. I'm the king, alright? My what I say goes. 
If you don't like a law, you can't just go around changing it, okay? This is the law here. Green apple is incredible. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Everyone was so outraged when they replaced the blasted lime flavor Skittle with the green apple. I liked it better that way. Hmm. Green grape flavor is awful, though? No, it's not awful. You're... I was gonna call you awful, but that's just not true. I was speaking from a point of rage. I wasn't thinking. Have you ever had black diamond watermelons? Shit is so fucking good. Um, no. In fact, I've never even heard of them, really. They brought back? Yeah, I know they did. Because... Uh, outrage, I guess? I thought it was just fine the way it was. I thought it was a brilliant decision, to be honest with you. It was like the most proud decision I've seen Skittles ever make. And then they got- they brought the fucking green apple, they- they brought the fucking lime back, and then they got rid of the green M&M, dude. As if these candy mazes can make a single good decision. Cave carrot. Alright, good. Black licorice? Black licorice, dude? Help. You didn't just say black licorice greater than greater than emoji. You didn't just do that, right? That's foul. That's that's actually like foul. Grow up? You off your rocker, dude. You're off your fucking canister if you like black licorice and you're under the age of like 79. 94, maybe. You're off your fucking rocker. You are. You hate to hear it, but it is true. Die, 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 die! Oh, you don't. Oh, okay. Well, all's good in the hood, then. It's a desired taste if you hate yourself. Well, hey, don't bring people who hate themselves into this, all right? I do not like black licorice. Come on. Um... Fucking, uh... Fucking clay. Yeah, I hate myself, but I hate licorice more. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Don't rope me into this. It's the best thing since sliced bread. All right. I mean, whatever you say. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Whatever makes you happy. Ah. They try to fancy it up in the UK with licorice all sorts. You know, there's some countries in like, and in, in, you know, I might even be talking to some of the people who this is relevant to since it's actually like a decent time for you to be awake. There's a lot of people who, um, I think it's like a big Scandinavian delicacy to eat like, uh, some like really salted licorice. Like I'm talking about like the whole ass thing is just covered in like a whole ass, like salt lake. Apparently that's like a big delicacy over in like Scandinavia, I think, or like the Netherlands. Have a bunch of fucking salted ass licorice. Yeah, salmiaki. <laughs> pardon me for butchering that, but yeah, there you go. 7.30 and I have 17 Geos, that's very good. I have a Rex. I don't need anything from him anymore, sadly. I don't need anything more from Pepper Rex. I'm through with him. I don't need Pepper Rexes, they disappoint me. Crab cakes. Always take those. Don't- Oh, gosh. I actually might have- Might have killed me if that hit me. Yeah, I know that you can find artifacts from digging and bombing in the mind. It's not guaranteed, that's usually how I find my strange dolls. Well, I'm done with strange dolls. Um... 
And also strange dolls you just get from the secret notes anyway. And, but yeah, dwarf scrolls is definitely how I'm going to try. That's probably how I'm going to have to get dwarf scrolls. Because I have two dwarf scrolls that I still need. And they do not seem to be coming up. So I'll probably have to till the mines, in, till the soil in the mines. Uh, to get dwarf scroll one and four of the two that I need. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm not really here for that though. I'm trying to get, um, Omni Geodes. No, that's that's a that's a fine comment. That's that's not backseating. That's not telling me to do that. It's just, you know. I'm currently ten pepper rexes away from perfection. I feel like I've killed a lot of them. I wonder how close I am to the the goal for the the guild or whatever it is. I wonder how close I am. If you're gonna die, eat the cactus fruit if you so choose. Yeah. Okay. See, that's sort of backseating. <laughs> Although, I might have to take you up on that. Because I am gonna die. I don't know how this shit actually, like, improves your HP, because I don't really think it'd be very good to eat a cactus fruit. He doesn't need to eat, he doesn't get hit. Yeah, exactly. It's like these people don't even watch. What level am I at? 37? I haven't found many holes. Wait, there is a ladder. Wait, what the hell do you mean this area is infested with monsters? What the hell? I can just leave. Alright. I guess because that one, like, that floor always has a ladder guaranteed when you see that pattern. Maybe that's why. This seems like the best bomb spot. Mm, yo, that was really good. That was like three Omni Geodes just in that alone. Dude, This trip's turning out pretty good. I gotta be getting close with serpents, too. What is up with the- they must have buffed Pepper Rex spawns, because they never spawned like how they're spawning here. The only time you ever saw Pepper Rexes were on the floors where they only spawn Pepper Rexes. Now they just spawn, like, all over in regular floors. Or at least they are today for some reason. They don't look like that, but a prickly pear cactus can produce a very nice fruit. Interesting. I'll have to give that a try. I got durians and now cactus fruit on my, like, I have to try before I die list. I want to try a durian out of morbid curiosity. I know that they smell like utter dog shit. Apparently they smell like a rotting corpse. But that's kind of like why I have to try it, right? Durian sounds so scary. It's a scary looking fruit. It's full of spikes. If you could, like... I don't know, I feel like if you could, like... I don't know. Equate, like, a, a music genre to a durian, it'd be, like, early 2000s punk ska or some shit like that. It's a scary-looking fruit. Oh, shit, two more on the geodes just from these guys. Papaya tastes weird? I've never even had, like, a mango, dude. I gotta try, like, well, no, okay, I have had mango. That's not true. I have had mango. I gotta try, like, I gotta, I gotta try my, like, foreign fruits, man. I really gotta, like, culture myself a little bit. Back from having lunch? How's the luck going? It's going pretty good. As far as Omni Geodes today. And... I don't know. I guess it just depends now on... What is that? Immunity ban? Plus four immunity? Honestly, nah. It's now just a matter of what I get from all these geodes that I got, which is, at this point, 24. Ooh, do I... Oh, man, this is a great bomb floor. Holy shit. This is, like, the floor for bombs. Eat a crab cake. Don't die. Do I... Is it worth... I don't know, man. Do I trade these Omni Geodes for artifacts... Because, I mean, I might, I need a lot of minerals and artifacts still. Like, it's kind of tough. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It might be. This floor is just real nasty. Like, it's got a lot of rocks. It's got a lot of shit, too. It's got a lot of shit. Okay, another Omni Geode. 
Is the Omni Geode for artifact troves every day, or is that only on certain days? Does anyone remember? Why do I keep reading these as if I still need them? Is that every day, or is that only certain days? What's up, Valicita? Thanks for the 15 months. And the three more! This is insane! I, I think I got a... I think I got a farm totem, honestly. Kind of a waste. I don't like using these instead of just leaving via the bus, but whatever. Uh, enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks for being here. You should get rhubarb. No, isn't rhubarb like a root vegetable? I don't like root vegetables. I don't know. It's every day. What do we... Okay. And it's five Omni Geodes, am I correct? It's five Omni Geodes per artifact trove. Ah, uh, I'll try it, okay? How about we give it a try and we see how luck... Because that's only... I mean, that's only five artifact troves, dude. That's not that many, you know? Early bird catches the worm. You gosh darn right. It's five Omni Geodes per trove, and... I mean, so that's only five. That doesn't seem like a lot. It's very realistic to get five Omni or five artifact troves and have none of them be anything that I need. Is just my worry, you know? As opposed to 28 geodes, which that got at least like a few things in there that I need, right? Basically, do we think that amongst the things that I still have left, I can get more minerals from 28 Omni geodes or more artifacts from five artifact troves? Is the question. That's very true, actually. I can break the Omnis and then reset the day if I didn't get a lot of things that I needed. That's huge. I mean, it's a little bit cheaty, but I I mean, that's not... It's it's not like a thing that you can't do regularly in the game, so I would argue it's kind of not. I think that that's what we'll do. No, I, I don't think we need to meet, make a poll. I think that's the smartest thing I've heard all day. Squid Ink Ravioli. Yeah, exactly. Reset the day if they're wank or bunk or bullshit. It seems like the way to do it. Depends on which minerals and artifacts you need. Yeah, I know that each some minerals have better chances from non-Omni Geodes. The reason why Omni Geodes are great is because they have a small chance of giving you everything, as opposed to Magma Geodes, which have a higher chance of giving you some things. Which is the same for Frozen Geodes, which is the same for regular Geodes. So, why don't we... Why don't we... Crack them, and then see what we get. Crack them and see what we get. If we get nothing out of 28 Omni Geodes, then... We'll trade them for Artifact Troves. I think that's, that's really smart. In fact, that's probably what I'm gonna have to do until I get to the end of this challenge. That's, that's probably what I do. Yeah, I, I know. Don't forget, I know the tacos are at 5. I know the taco food truck's at 5, alright? I won't be streaming until 5, I know. That'd be like a- that'd be a 5-hour stream. You think I'm streaming for 5 hours? Crazy. Crack them and then whack them! Yeah, exactly. Belize Anniversario de Par- Par- Parciero. Thanks. Grassy ass. Exactly, that's what I'm doing. I'm save scumming in case I get nothing out of the 28. Exactly what I'm gonna do. Also, I could get my hoe upgraded to a gold one now, actually. That would probably be smart. But I have to do that after I crack the Omni Geodes, because you can't do Geodes while you're... It's just really stupid that you can't do Geodes while you're getting a tool upgraded. It takes like 10 minutes to crack all my Geodes. The dude can't take 10 minutes away from working on my hoe to crack some Geodes for me. It always annoyed me. Yeah, I'm an EST now. Oh. You ever burp and it hurts? Is that bad? Does Mayo Clinic say I have cancer? Ow. I mean, I could go over all the minerals and artifacts that I need. Actually, I mean, I could hover over them here, and you can see for yourself. Not a whole lot of minerals remaining 
and a decent bit of artifacts, so... I'm thinking maybe artifacts are better. But, you know, some of these artifacts I don't think you can get from artifact troves. Like, I don't think you can get them from... I don't think you can get the dwarf scrolls from them, can you? Maybe you can. And also the ancient sword, amongst maybe a couple of other things there I have gotten. I don't know why that... I don't know why this page has an ancient sword grayed out, because I, I, it's literally in the museum as we speak. Yeah, I am missing some really common ones. Like the Rusty Cog, for example. I feel like I find that all the time very easily. It wasn't until today that I got the Anchor, which is really common. Yesterday that I got the Glass Shards, which are really common. Today that I got the Golden Mask, which is really common in the desert. I still haven't gotten the Golden Relic in the desert. Still haven't gotten the Rusty Cog, which is very common. I still haven't gotten the Chewing Stick, which is very common. The Dwarf Scrolls are kind of rare. I feel like the Ancient Arrowhead I get all the time. The Scapula I feel like I get all the time. And the Nautilus Fossil, I feel like I get those like all the time. In like every playthrough that I do without actively trying to search for them. And in the playthrough now where I am trying to actively search for them, I get nothing. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing a lot of common things and I've gotten a lot of rare things without even trying. It's really annoying. Or maybe it's better that way, I don't know. Alright, bad start. Real bad start. Uh, I don't think I need that. No, I do need that. All right. Um, I won't count the counter up yet. What's like the minimum things that I should get before we call it good enough to go on with, I wonder. Oh, you can get the Dwarf Scrolls from them. Yeah, I know. Magwin Frozen Geodes would be good. I, I know. Okay, I mean, th I think that's new as well. Yeah, that's also new. I think this is a keeper, honestly. I mean, getting two minerals is pretty good at this point, honestly. Three? You think three? Don't need that. Don't need that. That's true, I could reset and trade the first three. Did I get this amongst the first three? Does anyone remember? Does anyone remember if I got this, which is a new thing, amongst the first three that I cracked? That new? Yeah, it was the third. Oh man. Oh boy, oh boy howdy. That's a tough decision. So you think... Because it's just going to be two, it looks like. Okay, I mean, two things is not the worst. But I can get one thing and then trade the other 25. I think we do that. Do three Omni Geodes and then trade the other 25 for Artifact Troves. Let's see how that goes. That, I mean, we'll see. It's a risk. I mean, it's not because we can just reload. It's fine. But we'll see. Hey, Sim Cetera, thanks for the 22 months. Just had the longest day at work, and I'm glad you're on so early. I can watch on my commute home. Well, make sure you're, like, looking at the road. Where did I get that... Where did I get that, uh... Warp Totem from? I thought it was from there. What? Where'd my Warp Totem go? Hmm. I guess that isn't saved. That's a random chance when you actually dig it up. Well, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. And thanks, Snowy Deluxe. Maybe they're on the train or bus. I don't know. Unfortunately, I'm a public transport girly. Ah, oh, okay, so that makes sense because you just got off work, which means you're probably European, which means you probably have good infrastructure for public transport. So actually, that does kind of check out, doesn't it? Yeah, partner anniversary, Axno. What's your thoughts on that? Alright, so crack the first three, get one new thing. Did I count my counter up? I, I forgot. I might have to put my counter back down, because I think I might have counted that second thing that I got. What do you mean you didn't deserve it? You didn't. Is that right? I might not have. I, I don't know. I think I might not have. We'll have to count after I donate everything. Chat, was the Nintendo Direct worth watching? 
Are you a fan of Mario? Are you a fan of um, JRPGs? Are you a fan of women with big titties? And also JRPGs. Are you a fan of F-Zero Battle Royales? Are you a fan of... <laughs> Bingo. Um... I, I, I don't know, man. Don't know what to tell you. Like, I guess. Whatever. Put it on the background, I guess. Two. Three. Alright, very good. So that's one thing that's new. And then along with the golden mask... I'm gonna have to count. Just to get my counter right. Oh, trombone champ. But, I mean, I don't get excited about games that are already... That already exist on other platforms that are coming to Switch. So many things in the Direct are like... Oh, this is coming to the Nintendo Switch. And I'm like, I don't care. If I wanted to play Trombone Champ, I would have played it already. Dave the Diver, that's a really good game. And it's coming to Switch. Oh boy, but I could just get it now if I wanted to. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43... 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 55, 57, 59, 61, 63, 65, 67, 69, 71, 73, 75, 76, 76. Oh. All right, and now we trade the rest for artifact troves. See if it works out. Crown- hey, I'm- dude, I hate counting, man. I lose track so easily when I'm counting. I- I'm so stupid at counting. I'm literally, like, the dumbest man in the world, I swear. I'm like, oh man, what comes after 73 when I'm doing multiples of two? 75. Stupid. I have to think about it. I used to be so good at math as well, man. They ever do that game where, like, it was like a your teacher would, like, quick draw a flashcard, and whoever answered it first would, like- knock the other person out not like physically but like you know in the sense of the game i don't know man like there's some good games that were in the direct but a lot of those good games were already exist on other platforms you know all right desert trader let's do it but also let me check these spots first because it could be a golden relic yeah, whoever gets it right punches the other kid in the fucking neck. That's how my neck got, got so strong. The old strong neck Larry. Strong neck Steven. The Direct really felt like end of console life cycle. Yeah, and I think maybe some people were foolishly led to believe that maybe the next console... Alright would be announced on the Direct, but they don't do that. They don't announce consoles on the Direct. I'm curious what else they got. Ooh, I could buy a shit ton of Mega Bombs if I kept all that Iridium Ore and didn't smelt it all. Alright, I like rarely ever use this feature, but here we go. Five Omni Geodes per Artifact Troves means that I'm gonna be able to buy five of them. And then we gotta take those back to Clunt and have him crack them open again. And hope that something... I mean, if at least one of those five things I can donate, it's worth it, right? Because we had one other thing through all those Omni Geodes that we could donate. So if we get one artifact trove from those, or one artifact that we need from those five, then that's worth it. Ooh, hope and pray, I guess. Hope and pray. Nintendo went out and that's a new console. It's going to be its own event. Yeah, it's not going to be part of a direct. That's not an artifact. I don't need to donate that. I need- I don't need that. I do need that. Okay. Alright, at least we got one thing that we needed. I also need that, despite how fucking common it is. And that's just a treasure chest, which you can sell for a lot of money. Wait, so not even everything that you can get from that is something that you need to donate, necessarily. Oh. Alright, I mean, I guess it's whatever, because we got two things that we needed, so no big deal, I guess. New reward. Alright, it's 5k, I mean, that's pretty good, right? 
Oh, I got the flute block finally. Why? Because I donated the bone flute? I get that flute block so early all the time. Alright, I mean, I think that that's... I mean, it was definitely worth it to do that. Would that be worth it to do that with all the Omni Geodes I get from here on out? Maybe. Or maybe I should just farm for regular Geodes. I mean, the pearl in the treasure chests are going to be a lot of money, which is nice, I guess. Maybe now I can upgrade my hoe. Actually, maybe that's what I'll do now, is get my hoe upgraded. And then I need eight more G, so I'm going to sell one piece of gold ore to Clunt. We did. I, I think that that was worth it. I think that was definitely worth it to do. And we're up to 78 now, which is pretty good. Pretty darn good. My Switch is running on borrowed time. She's chugging along, though. Oh, shit. Hang on. Okay, good. And then, yeah, gold hoe. The only reason I'm doing the hoe is because... Uh, well, I'll show you when I actually get it. I'll show you. We, If you till the soil in the mines, you can get dwarf scrolls and various other things that I haven't donated yet. Like, I think you can get the rusty cog that way as well. So we'll see. How much does Pearl sell for? I'll let you know in a second here. Ooh! Ooh, doggy! It's a good bit of money. 2500 for Pearls and 5000 for a treasure chest. So 8300 Pretty good. I'm still rocking my Launch Edition Switch. I think I have, not a Launch Edition, but a pretty early version. Pretty early version of the Switch. As my main one, and then my secondary one came out probably a few years after the, the release. Alright, my gold, my gold hose ready. Hey, sorry I missed five hours. I've been streaming for two hours, man. Great news. Alright. Now we wait. I need to do a little fishing. The hoe of gold. I got my switch right at launch and it overheats so much. You probably gotta clean it. You probably just gotta like clean the fan. I like if something's overheating and there isn't like an obvious problem with it, it's probably just gotta clean the fans. Take a little Q tip, get in there. Take a little isopropyl alcohol. Gush it in there. Just give it a little gush. Can we calm down? Is this a Ling Cod? These guys are always kind of tough. Didn't somebody somebody wanted a Ling Cod as well? Oh, that's a Pike. Some compressed air in a can. You know that you guys ever get carded for buying compressed air? Because apparently, I guess people like to huff it or something like that. Do you think Nintendo's next console will also get stick drift? Um. As long as they put the cheap cost of manufacturing over the quality of the product, then yeah. I think that that will be a trend. I mean, I know for a fact it's a trend that is not Nintendo exclusive. I've had Xbox controllers drift before. As long as their company policy is making things on the cheap rather than quality over quantity, then yeah. No, I have no doubt about it. Then again, they did face a lot of lawsuits and shit over stick drift, so maybe they will actually try... I don't know, this is optimistic, but maybe they will actually try to, um... Do a better job at it to avoid that. I don't know. Even if it is just, like, a half-assed effort to make, you know, a fraction of the amount of Joy-Cons or whatever the next console's alternatives is. Drift. I don't know. Yeah, they've had lawsuits over stick drift. Yeah, they have. Not to mention how much money it probably cost them on repairs, because you were able to send them in, at least in America, and in other countries too, I don't know which ones though. You were able to send them in, and they would repair them for free. Now, admittedly, they would take weeks and weeks to get back to you, so maybe they made more money doing that by making the customers be like, ah, oh, fuck this, I don't want to wait, I just want to get new Joy-Cons. They might have made more money because of stick drift, is what I'm trying to say. Like, maybe the frustration that people have had with... The frustration that people have had with Stick Drift to the point where they just buy new Joy-Cons might have made more money for Nintendo 
than all the lawsuits and repairs that they had to do or deal with. So maybe if they found it to be not a big hit to their revenue and maybe even profitable, they might even, yeah, they might even like deliberately make it so that it's shit next time. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past them. Wouldn't put it past any company who's after the bottom line. Because I assume a lot of consumers were like, Aw, oh, man, I got stick drift, and I don't want to wait five weeks to send it to Nintendo and get it back. So I'm just going to, like, go get a new pair of Joy-Cons, which Nintendo loves nothing more than to hear that. So, I don't know. I think that the people who buy the stick, who people who buy the Joy Cons, need to be a little bit more responsible in regards to not encouraging this corporate practice, or use Joy Con repair kits from Amazon. Like, yeah, fix them yourself if it's really that bad. Not that that's on you to do that, but at least it would save you some money and teach Nintendo. They're not getting your seventy bucks for a new pair of Joy Cons, as if they care about you or me or anyone. Alright, well, we got a gold hoe now, which is nice, because it can go, like... Nice. And then if we do that in the mines, then we can get Dwarf Scroll. I mean, shit, I, I'll do it. Fuck it. I'll even try right now to do it. There's one floor in the mines. I can't remember which one it is, but it's really good for farming Dwarf Scrolls if you absolutely need it. There's one level. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's in, like, the 20s somewhere. I think it's in, like, the 20s somewhere. Floor 93? Well, for Dwarf Scroll 1, you're better off on these floors, I think. Yeah, that's a hard-working hoe. It's not this floor, either. I know that. It's like, there's one giant dirt patch in the middle of the floor. And 23, thank you. Okay. Try 95? Well, 95 is going to be like a checkpoint level, right? Where they just either give you the treasure chest or the treasure chest with the pond. Also, these guys, these enemies can just drop Dwarf Scroll 1 as well. But in my venture through the mines, I never ended up finding it. Which is a little frustrating. Usually, I'll get a couple Dwarf Scrolls just from playing casually. My luck is just rancid today. Jesus. Usually, I'll get a couple. And I did, admittedly, get a couple. I got Dwarf Scroll 2 and 3 without even trying, so I guess, all things considered, I didn't get that unlucky with the Dwarf Scrolls. I did? It's a poor luck day? Yeah, dude, you checked the TV! Yeah, it was like 10 minutes ago, man, I can't remember. Oh, also, I get regular Geodes from doing this, so I guess it's not that bad. I don't think getting Geodes from rocks is affected by luck, is it? So maybe you're even better off getting a bad luck day, so that you have to break more rocks, and therefore get more geodes. Because, like, dude, I'm getting geodes like crazy! Not that I really think I need... I, I think all the things that I have remaining are mostly from regular... or er, from frozen geodes and magma geodes. More likely than they are regular geodes. So maybe these regular geodes aren't even that good at this point. Alright, there we go. So this should be the floor. Yeah, this is it. Alright, this is the floor where you can get... I'm not saying you can get Dwarf Scroll easily, I don't know what the chances are, but this would be the floor to farm it on. And this is why you get the gold hoe. It's... I think it's a... I wrote down the percentage. I think it's a point... Point one? Chance? Wait! That's two! Aw, oh, shit, really? I was about to say, man, I, I got the one with the green parchment. Rats. What the hell? Dwarf Scroll 1. Kill soil in mines, any level, 0.16% chance. Oh, and then for Dwarf Scroll 2, till soil in mines, level 1 to 39, 0.1% chance. So, albeit marginally, it was actually less likely that I got Dwarf Scroll 2 than Dwarf Scroll 1. Okay, so Dwarf Scroll run at 1 is any floor, then. Oh, okay. Well, in that in that case, we'll do 93 next, because apparently 93 is also really good for it. What the fuck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. That's what the fuck I'm trying to say. You can also get Rusty Cogs here as well, which is the cue for a Rusty Cog to pop out there. Okay. It's not listening to me. 
I'm new to Stardew, and I didn't know you could till in the mines. Yeah, it's actually good for getting cave carrots if you're like, you know, as you can see, it's really good for getting cave carrots if you're low on health and you need something. Keep you going. In the early game, it's actually pretty good. Why do I keep sounding like I'm picking things up, but I don't actually pick things up? Wait, I got a skeletal tail out of that, but I already have that. I wonder if I get the skeletal hand out of this, because I do still need the skeletal hand. Hey, hang on, I have all this shit written down. Why am I asking you guys? Till in backwoods or beach, 4 to 8% in the summertime. Also, they're dropped by haunted skulls, 1.3% chance. Well, well, that could be interesting. Although, with those percentages, I would have been better off getting it from shit that I've already done. I love clowning on these bugs. I also gotta remember that you can actually kill these bugs. Alright, well, I guess we're going on to 93, because that was a big load of nothing. 93, right? Haunted skull hunting is fun. Well, those only spawn in that little area where you get the golden scythe, right? And they're not that common. They're not that common. So, like, I kind of feel like that would be a pain in the ass. Considering, statistically, you'd need to kill, like, a little bit less than a hundred of them to get the skeletal hand, or at least to expect to get the skeletal hand. Oh, you know what? This is actually a pretty good floor for mining, is, or for tilling as well, for that matter. What's up, Sevil Fang? How are you doing? This is a good floor as well for it. Even if it's not the one I had in mind. Hey, and Magma Geodes is really good as well. Yeah, I think maybe we should actually even farm for Magma Geodes, so fuck it, let's do that. Also, I think I'd rather have the gold than a bomb that is not being used. Sometimes a random floor in the mine has them. What, dwarf scrolls? I'd also rather this than, what, what am I, I hang on broken glasses and mixed seeds, yeah, okay, there we go. I'm good, getting close to ending summer in my Stardew game. I'm happy to hear it. You know, they're actually doing a, uh, did I tell you guys about this? How my apartment complex is, oh, the night market's open. That's not useful, right? I think I've had, yeah, I've, I think I asked that last winter. They're doing an apartment, uh, my apartment complex is doing a competition that judges people's door decorations for Halloween. What do you guys think I should do for my door decoration for the Halloween content? I think you win, like, if you win, I think you get, like, a gift card somewhere. Oh, boy. Which is, I don't know, if you're, like, really gonna go hard, I had, I was thinking about this, if you're really gonna go hard on, like, decorating your door, I feel like you'd spend more money on decorating your door than you would have gotten from, like, the gift card or whatever that they're gonna give you. I can't remember the value of it exactly. Go away. You should do, like, Michael Myers. I, 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 I was thinking about just putting, like, a post-it note on my door. That, like, incorrectly spells Halloween, and then put, like, a smiley face on it. Have it say, like, Halloween, And then put, like, a smiley face next to it. And then just see if, like, anyone who's judging would appreciate that, you know? And then, you know, that's, like, free. I have post-it notes. It would be, it literally cost me zero dollars, you know? I was thinking that that actually might be a good idea. But I don't know. Maybe they wouldn't find it as funny as I do. Yeah, like Halloween. First place. I, I'd give myself first place. Yeah. Not to mention, somebody who spent like $500 decorating their door with these convoluted decorations would be like, What the fuck, man? Spent $500 on this shit down the drain. If, like, I, I think I might actually do that because I don't really care to decorate for Halloween. And also that would be funny. I just wonder what my neighbors would think, as they just see a post-it note on my door that says, Halloween. I wonder what they would think of me. But maybe they don't think of me, which is probably best. Some deep cuts. Hi, how are you? Yeah, pretty good. I don't want torches. I used to light the caves up in this game with torches and shit, because... I don't know, I, I guess I thought it was Minecraft or something. Don't really do that no more. 
All those shadow guys can drop um, rare discs, which is something that I still need. Uh, honestly, yeah, I think you just get out. Your neighbor's a rat. You don't even know my neighbor. Are you my neighbor? Won't you be my neighbor? Oh. I do want that solar essence. Over... I mean, shit. Over a regular old bream. Yeah, have, or like, have it say, like, Merry Christmas. Just completely miss the point of it entirely. That's also a good idea. What are you running? I love these guys. They, like, never hit you. And they're also, like, a one-shot. Squid kids. Alright. Now I'm feeling Dwarf Scroll fucking one or four. I think we got it this time. Oh, son of a bitch, dude. I Didn't I just get this? Oh, wait, no. I think I've had the Rusty Spoon. I'd be real sore if I, like, just found that. After just donating it. What's up, Graven? How are you doing? Do you get four, Dwarf Scroll four, from doing this method, or is four gotten another way? Let me check. Drop by most monsters, 0.1%. Or till soil in mines, 0.2%. Yes, you can. Okay. I'm kind of surprised. I mean... I don't know if I've... Nice! Let's go. Okay, that is something new that I need. Rusty Cog. 90... Or 79, rather. Yeah, I thought you can get the Rusty Cog that way. I thought you could. I'm kind of surprised. I don't know if I've killed a thousand monsters. I mean, I've definitely killed quite a few. But if I've killed a thousand monsters and haven't gotten a 0.1% drop from something that apparently drops from pretty much everything, I guess I've gotten kind of unlucky with the Dwarf Scroll 4. But I know how statistics work, and I know that on the thousandth thing that you kill, you're not going to get a Dwarf Scroll 4, because it's a one in a thousand. Or somebody tries to poindexter my ass. You can get one in four here, I think. Oh, dude, I'll absolutely take Magma Geodes as well. Absolutely take Magma Geodes. Packing for a trip right now, hee hee. That's a bit menacing, but I'm glad that you're going on a trip. You know what I might be doing is I might be going to New York. I've been making plans with a buddy of mine to go to New York City in October of next year. But that's obviously over a year away, so. I can do like a little diagonal fan meetup if I even have fans at that time. Iron. Because, like, it's not realistic to expect that, like, we could do, like, a diagonal meetup in my, like, rinky-dinky ass town. But if I go to, like, New York City, I'm like, I don't know, there's, like, 8 million people there. There's gotta be, like, some... There's gotta be some dagnation out there, right? You guys know how Shane always writes he-he in his written letters? No the fuck he does not. He, Shane is not a tee-he guy. Shane is not a tee-he kind of guy. No, he doesn't. Don't lie. Yeah, that'd be fun, right? Surely a couple of you are in New York City or something. Or the surrounding area. Like one per- Wow, I got a fucking strange doll. Hang on. And what, are the chan what is the chance of that exactly? I got the yellow- I've gotten both strange dolls without even getting their respective secret note now. Is what that means. Um, that's a 0.03% chance to till the soil in the mines to get Strange Doll. That's pretty good. So that's a 0.03% chance, but I can't get the fucking... <sighs> I can't get the, what, 0.1% chance Dwarf Scroll 4? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Love that. Also, it's 12.50. I should probably get out, huh? Like, I should really, like, be out of here by now. I should really leave. I should... I, I should be at the farm right now, hobbling into bed. I'd person... 
in personal playthroughs, I've spent days looking for the scrolls, man. This shit is annoying. I feel like I had one playthrough where I got them all, like, effortlessly. And that sort of warped my perception of how easy it is to get them. And I think I fucked myself, because... Now I'm like, what? Dude, they're not that hard. Bro, they're so easy. Dwarf scrolls, I get them all the time. But no. Every playthrough after that, I've never gotten as lucky as I did that one time. I should really, uh, pass out now, huh? Yeah, I know he's so eepy, but, like, I, I don't know. I don't really... I don't know. How much did that cost me? Like, 700? Something like that? What did that cost? 835? Thanks, Morris. I'll make that back in a snap. I got 30 cave carrots from that. Uh, strange doll, quartz, old fish. Quick stack everything that you can, I guess. Off dust sprites while going for the burglar ring. Hmm. Yeah, see, I feel like I get them from mobs most of the time as well, but... Just not this time, I guess. I don't know. Just not this time. Alright, I also got some geodes to crack. Alright. I'm mean, definitely not going mining today, because I have, like, no energy. What's up, Tim? An absolute unit. Surprised how rare they are. I never had issues with them. Yeah, like, my one playthrough, I didn't at all, and I'm like, what? These are easy. Because that's how you have to, like, that's how you're able to talk to the, the, the dwarf, right? That's how you get the, I think it's called the Dwarven Companion Guide. Is you have to get all the dwarf scrolls, and then the Dwarven Helm, and the Dwarven Gadget, or whatever. I'm pretty sure that that's how you get that, and I feel like I've never struggled getting that stuff. Thanks for the partner anniversary. Oh, it's just the dwarf scrolls. Oh, okay. I thought you had to get all the dwarf items. My ass is all the dwarf items. Which, admittedly, they're not all hard. It's just getting them all together is... Help. Tricky. He's so eepy. No, oh, he's fine. He's aight. How much was it to upgrade something to an Iridium pickaxe? Is it 25,000? I wonder if that would be worth investing in. If I get 25,000. Because, like, what else am I spending my money on? I think I got everything that I need. It's just a matter of getting everything now. Thanks for the hydrate. Like, I don't need to unlock anything else from Morris. I don't, um... I don't need to buy anything else. I got the max bag. I got the mine carts even, even though that wasn't necessary, but it's very convenient. I got the bus up and running. The only thing I need money for is to be able to crack open artifact troves and geodes. I fucking hate Lingcod. I 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 hate Lingcod so much. I hate Lingcod. You can't expect me to do this. Some of you should do a challenge where they try to get all the... Oh my... I thought I lost it. Dude, it's too hard. They made the fish... This fish is not even, like, worth shit, dude. Oh my god. You fuck off. It's impossible. It's not fucking possible. Dude! Wasting my time! Just wasting my time. I'm eating him. I hate the fishing sound effect. Why does it sound like that? I like the fishing sound effect. What, like, you talking about like when you like reel it in? Where it goes like... Mm. I don't know. Are you talking about when like, they go up and down and they go like... Bloop, bloop. Yeah, the dog outside barked and it kind of sounded like what I was trying to do there. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Alrighty. Let's see what we get. Good. No, don't need that. Don't need that. I don't know if these regular geodes can give me anything that I still need, to be honest with you. Yeah, that was just brilliant. 
You know what I could do is I could refresh the day and crack the regular geodes first, and then the magma geodes would give me something else. I could do that. Do I do that? I'd have to wait again, but yeah, you know what? I will do that. that actually sounds like a good idea. Because the way it works is that if you if if I did do the regular geodes first and then the magma geodes, then I think the magma geodes would give me something else. So, yeah, I think I will do that. And you know what? I'll take this time to be more productive and go tilling around the farm, even if it's going to give me snow yams and winter roots most of the time. Oh, yeah, as well. I think that would be very much worth doing. Kind of a pain in the ass that I still have all this shit, but whatever. Eh. Good, right? Yeah, that's epic gaming right there. The way I understand it is that the n the next thing that you get from a geode is predetermined, but it's it's really hard to explain. The next thing that you get from a geode is predetermined, but if you do another geode first, then... Oh, wait, hang on. I can get this meteorite out of here now, finally. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's it's very confusing. And I don't even know if I understand it fully either. Wow, six iridium ore from a meteorite seems really shit. <laughs> that seems really shit. I feel like you can do a lot better than that. Alright, I guess let's keep going around looking for little worms. All fish in Stardew Valley challenge when? Um, that honestly would probably be the next challenge that I would do because I really like fishing in this game. I really do. Problem is, is that there are some really fucking hard fish to catch. There are some really fucking, I mean, not to mention like the legendary fish, which those are difficult, but I feel like there's even some non-legendary fish that are even harder than the legendary fish are. My dream come true. Yeah, maybe just for the axe man alone, I'll do it. Scorpion carp is really hard, the one in the desert. Uh, the octopus is really hard. The one that you can... And the octopus is fucked because you can only get it in a very, very, very tiny part of the year. That being the night market. So if you go three days... I guess you could just refresh the day if you don't get it. So if you don't get it in those three days of the night market, your ass has to wait until the next year. At least I think. Oh, okay, cute. I got the bone flute again. Nice. Good. Beautiful. Octopus is easy because you get it from the traveling cart. Yeah, but I don't think that counts towards your fish if you get it. Like, it, I think you have to catch it for it to count towards this, though. Which, if that, I feel like that's the challenge, though, right? That's the challenge, is to fill your collection up with fish. And if you're not getting, if you're not catching the fish, I'm pretty sure it doesn't go into your collection there. Octopus is summer mornings? Am I thinking of something else? The squid, maybe? Is the squid hard? I don't remember. Yeah, exactly. You need to actually catch it with a fishing rod for it to update the collection. I feel like it'd be cheap if you just got it from the traveling cart. Which is great for the bundle. Like, if you're going for the community center, like, who- Oh, fucking hilarious. I literally only got these, like, 15 minutes ago each. From artifact troves, and now I've gotten duplicates of them. I didn't get them for 15 hours. And then in 15 minutes, I got both of them for a second time. That's hilarious. That's really funny. Uh, I've never struggled with the blobfish. I think there's a squid in the night market that's quite tough, if I'm remembering right. Alright, do the regular geodes this time. I think we'll get different things. So I got a stone from the first magma geode last time. And did I not get that? I'm not getting the same things, am I? Yeah, the midnight squid. Yeah, that's it. I feel like I, ha I did get that stuff. Okay, but I definitely didn't get that. So this is definitely new. Now, I have donated that, but whatever. Yes! Nice! Nice! Let's fucking go! We're up to 80. I said at the start of the stream, if I get 10 things today, I'd be impressed. And I did. Look at that. 
Alright, that was actually really smart. That was a good audible by me. To, uh, refresh the day and do the geodes in a different order. That was really good. I'm quite, I'm quite chuffed with myself, I must say. I'm quite chuffed with myself. What reward do I get for that? Ooh, five warp totems. I'll definitely take those. I used to call you that in high school? What, bone flute? You actually catch night market fish at any time of the year with magic bait. Considering I don't know what magic bait is, that sounds like something that I'd have to go really far out of my way to get. Which makes me think it's not worth it. Like, people have been like, oh, you can go to Ginger Island and get artifact troves, and then artifact troves will give you artifacts that you still need to donate. But getting Ginger Island would be so... Like, I, I feel like I'd be done with the challenge by the time I even unlock Ginger Island. You know Mr. Key? No. I have not met Mr. Key yet. Although he sent me a, a couple of secret notes being like, Hey, go check out what's in the tunnel there. And it's like a picture of his, like, cock. It's real nasty. I told him, Mr. Key, that's quite crass. That's crass and vile. Don't you need wood and hardwood to get to Ginger Island? You need wood, hardwood, battery packs, iridium, which I do have iridium, but, you know, you know what I mean. Not to mention, I have to buy the rest of the stuff at the community center to be able to unlock that bundle with which to actually complete that. Which would take a lot of money that I don't have right now. Alright, we got good luck today. I think let's go back to the Skull Caverns. Uh, oh, goody, Shane, that actually is really great news because I'm going to disappoint him by not giving him anything. And if there's anyone in this game that I love disappointing, it's Shane. Oh, goody, that just, that tickles me heartstrings. Absolutely just chuffs my chavs. All right, cool. I love Shane. Oh, I guess we can't all have good taste. Get trash and gift it to him. You know, do I waste time by going out of my way to gift Shane trash? Or do I just continue on with my day with the disappointment of getting him nothing? I don't know, man. What's worse? Getting him nothing or getting him trash? I don't know. Hey, apparently if I put a thing in front of uh, Pam's door, she gets there faster. Do I have my chair still? My cuck chair? There we go. Let's go test this out. Fuck that bum. I agree. Hey, Space Dust Spuds, thanks for the eight months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. My what? I don't know. What was I talking about? Trash is saying blatantly that you hate him. Yeah, but it's also a time investment. Like, I feel like Shane almost wins if I, like... If I... Is it like this? And she'll speed up? Or do I have to put it, like, further in front? Like, is she even gonna leave her house now? I feel like he wins if I give him the credit of wasting my time. You know? By, like, getting trash and going to the festival to give it to him when I could have otherwise been going on with my life, you know? I live on the cuck chair? Alright, well, we'll see if this is true here. Let's, let's wait for her to come out. I'm coming out. Is that how that goes? Oh. Penny! Oh, no. Okay, well, it definitely worked for her, so I don't see why it wouldn't work for Pam. Sorry, Penny. Damn, she's in a fucking rush. Good lord, lady. Oh, there she is. Oh, the pamster. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at that. She's moving. Holy shit. She said, hey, there's a fucking... There's a, there's a rum on... There's a rum and coke in the driver's seat for you. I'm watching the parent trap right now at the same time of the stream. Are you talking about the new parent trap, a.k.a. the good one? With Lindsay Lohan, and also Lindsay Lohan. Oh, do you have to follow her the whole way there? Oh, I might have to follow her the whole way there for her to get there on time. Although she is still going to be earlier than she usually is, so it's still alright. Yeah, she's still there like 20 minutes earlier than she usually is, so sure. Fuck it. If 
Fuck it. Still need a golden relic, so I think I'll still dig up those worms. Ah, son of a bitch. I, I don't even want it. Even if it sells for like a decent amount, I don't even want it. Taking up room. No, I hate the magnet ring, dude. For shit like that. Pam, Pam, thank you, ma'am. All right. Little 10 o'clock cave entrance. That's unprecedented, dude. 10 o fucking clock. All right. Looks like a good bomb spot right off the bat. How do they expect you to escape that giant ass thing? I mean, yes, that was poor planning to just blow myself up, but still, come on. These things are too big. Uh, do I keep going down or is there more good bomb spots? It looks like there's more good bomb spots on this floor, honestly. Like, right cheer looks good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, not the fucking. I was singing the TikTok song. Alright, that's good enough. Whatever, it's probably worth eating one of these right off the bat anyway. It's a Tommy. This whole cave's gonna come crumbling down if I set off enough of these things. This cannot be good. Oof. Oof! Yeah, fuck it, go down. You fell seven levels. I like it when it falls eight or more, and you're like, Youch! You fell eight levels. Ouch! 